Welcome back to the 2023 World Series of Poker. It is time for the granddaddy of them all. The main event of the World Series of Poker is upon us. It is time for day 1A. My name is Remko Rinkama. Donnie Peters alongside me to bring you three you got levels plenty. of yeah. coverage of the greatest poker great. tournament of the year. We're going to go for six hours today. We're going to chop out those breaks. It's going to be a very pleasant viewing experience. And Donnie, we are starting out with the man who's won the biggest main event to date, a record that might be broken this year, Mr. Jamie Gold. Let's go, Remco. Jamie Gold, 2006, 8,773 entries. That's the number we're all trying to beat. For all intents and purposes, we are um, all in is it okay on it, beating that record. I think it's going to happen. Put but it on the back. Yep. We'll see how Is we that okay? Day one. Yeah, sorry. Sorry to get you, make you go so close to me. All right, the action is underway right away here at the feature table. This is day 1A. This is our horseshoe table. The players have played two levels so far. We're picking up the action here in level three. We'll get to know all these players here at the feature table. But first, we'd like to let to know, let, like to get to know everyone in the chat with us. We are live on Poker Go. We are live on YouTube. Very much appreciated. Everyone tuning in. If you're on YouTube, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna go for 15 days in a row, basically, Donnie. Main event coverage is is is, is rolling now, and we're not gonna stop until there's a winner. Nope, nope. We are not Nobody stopping. There. The only day we're going to stop is the day off. Sorry, is there other than that, does anybody have if the any, main event is being played, no? there zombies. will be I'm a little live. stuck. One, two, three, four, five, three, yeah, I'm just lined up for this. I can move over a little. Yeah, yeah, we can all slide here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Looks a little tight just here get the, on set. Play shit cards in the box. But interesting how they're mentioning the table's a little tight. All summer long, we've heard about how the table's too big. Yeah, we switched out our tables. Uh, we're busy building up the main set, which will have three feature tables. No problem. For the day one coverage of the main event, we're going to use our horseshoe table, the trusted table that we've had for the duration of the summer. We've shown many bracelet events. As we have a look at Matt Matros, he is our second biggest name at our feature table. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Production. Jamie wants to know if we can make some room for him. He said that he squished. So. Race to 3,000. Thanks, Sam. Is it is it possible if yeah, if um he can be in if someone can if yeah, he, he can, can take the last seat? Yeah, can I can just keep, I can just move my cards over no, here. No, no, but if they gave you if they give you they don't can care. he play in the last yeah, position? The last one, yeah. Is that possible? Yeah, we're not gonna go ten handed. If he yeah. can play the last yeah. position, then the we're not gonna be ten handed. Yeah. What? Thank you. Give Jamie Gold some space, Donnie. I mean, this man is going to build a castle. If it's anything like what we saw in 2006, that is correct. We also probably need some room for his bowl of blueberries oh, <laughs> that he had with him that entire run, of course. It's me. I think the uh, the way that the chip stacks grow this year versus what was it was like in 2006, much differently. Much more apt color ups this time around. Back then. Just, I mean, what, 40 stacks of 20 on the table? It was absurd. 2,500. Action now truly underway with Jamie Gold in his seat. He also, Donnie, is bringing a rather large stack to this feature table. Yeah, he's chipped up early on, up over 140,000. Okay, thank you. Did you move it up? Yeah. Once again, I'd like to welcome everyone in the chat. It's uh, already popping off right now. Donnie, the buzz for the main event is visible, and you can also sense it in the room here. We've been here every single day during the World Series of Poker, and it's already it's already different right now. It is it is no longer about the bracelets in the preliminary events. It is all about this tournament right now. It is all about the main event. I want I want to know what the people out there think about how big the number's going to be. Yes. Overall, I mean that's been the talk of the town as we've gotten closer and closer to this day, day 1A, you know, 
eventually, or f sorry, first of all, it was, are we going to beat the 2006 record? Is it going to be 8774? Got very close last year, ultimately fell a tiny bit short, but still a very good showing. Then it was like, you know what? It seems like it's a guarantee in a way, for all intents and purposes. Then it's well, like, are they going to break 9,000? Are they going to break 9,500? Many people out there think they're going to break 10,000. I've even so heard some 11,000s thrown out there. I mean, so. Let's go. And all of the numbers that we've seen at the World Series of Poker from these big field no limit <laughs> events, granted, you know, those other events are much smaller buy-ins than the, the 10K, but, you know, we've seen it in some of the bigger buy-ins as well, just absolutely smashing records with these field sizes. And I expect very much the same here in the 2023 WS Premier event. Well, I like the pull. Look at that. Tell me you want me here or here? Your new box will be here, and this will be I think I'm a 9,400 Thank you. I've, I've said this uh, on the podcast. I'll say it again. I think we're going to break 10,000. 10,222 is my number. I'm locking it in. I'm going with it. Of course, optimism is definitely something that I'd love to carry into this tournament. Late registration, Donnie, open, I believe, for two more levels or two, level, two full levels of play on day two. Yes. So we're not going to know that final number for quite some time, but of course, we'll be you know, tracking it as we go. They usually don't display the entry number on the day ones or at least until much later so if we get that information we'll relay it but it does seem like they're they're well over 800 to start today and then we'll see exactly where they fall once again if you're just tuning in this is the main event oh, a yeah. sentence i have always wanted to say out loud on a broadcast like this Action here on Mitchell on the button, raising it up with Ace Eight of Hearts. Donnie, let's get into some poker action. This event, truly one of a kind, two hour levels, tons of play. And unless you get absolutely set over set it, there's no real excuse to bust on this day one. Yeah, I mean, day one is really about preservation, I guess. You know, you obviously want to chip up and you want to advance your standing, but you also want to take it conservatively. This event, more so than any other poker event in the world, is a marathon, not a sprint. You're not going to make the money on day one. You certainly aren't going to win the tournament on day one A, you know, so take it slow, play accordingly, go from there. Michael Mitchell here in seat number five, winning a pot at our feature table. Donnie, he has $522 in WSOP <laughs> earnings. Maybe he's got some online stuff that's not, not tracked by... I'm just saying, this is a big moment. Of course. Feature table main events. I mean, don't underestimate the spot here. Right next to the man, Jamie Gold. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, also, I want to give a big shout out to Esther Kim. She is the wife of the man, you know, Donnie, you pronounced as the king. King John Reardon III. <laughs> king John Reardon. <laughs> she was standing on the set prior to sitting down at this feature table, not really sure about wanting to embrace this moment. She was a little, a, a, like, a little hesitant. She oh, yeah. was uh, not too happy about the fact that she had to play under the bright lights. John was giving her some words of encouragement. He is also playing on day one A. Oh, is. And uh, I love seeing a husband-wife couple trying to make a run here. As Aziz Alves from Brazil picks up pocket aces, Donnie. I mean, this is just, his name is Aziz Alves. He has ace ace. I mean, it can't get much better than this. I mean, if I was him, I would screenshot that and make that my new avatar for online poker. That's great. He's from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'm yeah. happy we have a Brazilian at this table. Finished runner up in a WSB International Circuit event in Sao Paulo in his hometown for $109,000. That is his biggest score to date. Has not cashed the main event yet. But get, get this, Donnie. He has over 18,000 online tournament caches. What? This man is a How is that grinder. Possible? It's a he's a That's grinder. So many. That's awesome. That's awesome. He'll probably instantly be distracted by the fact that he only has to look at one pair of cards. Oh yeah. Main event is uh, truly one of a kind. Like I said before, two hour levels. You need, really need to stay composed. And uh, even a hand as strong as Pocket Kings uh, might not be good enough to go all in with before the flop. 
Yeah, of course, depends on the action. You know, do you want to go broke with it or do you not? Raise to a thousand. Viala, the Sol Real, Pocket Kings here, raising it up to a thousand. Wugard with pocket fours is going to try to flop a set here. Bunch of playable hands here. Calls a it's a completely different mindset for us, Donnie, having called so many final tables of this WSOP Four where players. basically every hand was a committing raise <laughs> or a big shove. And now we're going to see a lot of post-flop play. So it's going to be a completely different vibe. And I'm very excited about it. Okay. Ace five deuce here, two clubs. <coughs> Aziz Alves picks okay. up the best hand, top pair. He also has a backdoor okay. flush draw. Okay. Checks around here. Eight of hearts on the turn. That backdoor flush draw looking a little bit more active here, coming in for Aziz Alves. I would expect the Brazilian to come out with a wager here. Forty-eight hundred in the pot. Eighteen hundred is the wager. Those kings into the muck. The fours also into the muck. Raise. Set of eights is going to check raise. Six thousand. It's quite a beautiful turn card for Tire Poor with the set being on the turn. Only really worried in this spot about one hand. That's the 4-3. Uh, Kobe check on a book of chat says, Renan Aziz is a beast. I was sort of uh, picking up on that based on his online prowess. He's going to see a river card here. A heart would, of course, be the card that he's hoping for here. It's red, but it's not a heart. Quick bet here. Entire four. One of those tricky spots in the WSP main event early on. You know, if you're Aziz Alves, what do you beat here? Feels as though the main event is the tournament of the year Both. where you're going to make lots of big folds. Oh, yes. Good discipline there from Aziz Alves. Good little pot for Tyra Poor. Donnie, give us some insights into how a player should approach deciding which day of the main event to play. Obviously, you have plenty of options. There's always lots of debate about which day is best. Um, how do you think people should generally look at the starting days of this tournament? Yeah, I mean, this year you have one of those starting flights falling on July 4th. So if you're an American and you want to celebrate the 4th of July, you're likely going to avoid day 1B tomorrow. Um, day 1D is always the biggest. Okay, so that would usually lend itself to, you know, the okay. chance that you have more unknowns at your table, you can possibly win more chips, the action is a little bit bigger, all that sort of stuff. My concern about day 1D would be, are you risking possibly playing 10-handed if it comes down to it? You know, we've seen it before, maybe it yes. happens. Of course, they're going to want to get you to 9-handed as soon as possible, but Nine. is that a risk? I remember last year, you know, a lot of people, there was a lot of talk of, you know, having to go 10-handed, being delayed, getting in, all that sort of stuff. And a lot of people switched to day 1C. So, you know, if you want to just hop in there now, just, just do day 1C. I think day 1C will prove pretty big, you know. And then day 1A, I think, is probably a good day as well. I think it's also worth okay. considering that the day is off. You know, not that you should get be getting overconfident and being like, you know what, I'm just going to play two weeks straight. But 
if it does come down to that, those early days off can certainly pay dividends with how long and how much of an endurance test the WSB main event is. So, you know, if you play a day one C, you get the next day off, then you play your day two, then you get another day off, then you would come back for day three. So I think day one C probably has the most benefit. And then I would probably go with day one A after that. Um, I think day one B will probably be full of a lot of European players, a lot of Brazilian players. And I think those players are very good. So I would I would just want to avoid them as, as best I can early on. So yeah. That's last, my take on it. Last year the WSC was actively encouraging players to not play day one D, trying to sort of spread the field a little bit. Day one A today, always the smallest day. Um, Initial rumors we've heard is the number is over 900. WSOP, of course, not communicating the number throughout the day. And we're still seeing signups as we go uh, here on day 1A. Registration, like I said, open until deep into the second day of play. So no real rush for players to get into the mix right now. But I do always like seeing players that pick that first starting day because to me it seems as though there are many unknowns in the field as I've made my rounds today. And there's also a lot of pros out there today you know we're gonna get a look around the field as the day goes on but there are a lot of big names I think probably a little bit to my surprise you know, seeing some of the people that are opting to play today but I like it I like to see it yeah it's probably a good time to mention for me that Jeff Platt is on the floor to bring us some reports from the field that's we're, right. We're going to get interviews oh, all throughout the night with some of the most interesting characters on day 1A. We'll check in with Jeff in a couple times an sign. hour. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, apologies <laughs> for the typo on <laughs> Matt Matros's name. We're aware of the typo. We are casting okay. today on an extended okay. delay so that we can cut out the dinner break and give you guys basically six hours straight of viewing of okay. this main event trying to make this into a fun experience for everyone to sweat. We're going to take the same approach for the upcoming starting day. So that is also why we're starting later. But please note that is to accommodate for the upcoming dinner break, of course, which would leave you guys sitting on your hands for 75 minutes, <laughs> staring at the wall, which we did not want to do. Um, for people asking about the starting stack, 60,000 chips is what every player started with. Looking at this table, Donnie, there's uh, quite a few players below that point because Jamie Gold and Terpore have been Gold. raking in a few pots just as we see that. Thanks, Gold lays this one down, so back. does Aziz, and Matros takes down a pot here with pocket eights. We have the full broadcasting schedule of the main event available on our Twitter page. Never is, unless you have the nuts, which I did not. <laughs> Twitter.com slash poker go. If you're just tuning in to our feed on YouTube, please smash that like button. Let's get to a thousand likes off the bat here. Four people in poker go chat asking about Norman Norman Chad and Lon McCarran. The big guns are coming out for when the money is on the line. We have 14 straight days of main event coverage, and on the later days, I want to say from day four onwards, it's going to be a mix between Lon McCarran and Norman Chad, and then also for the night shift, which we all love, we're going to have some Ali Najad and Nick Shulman. So don't worry, you won't be stuck with the D team for all that long, <laughs> uh, but we are here trying to warm everyone up for all that's still to come. Toledo here, raising from the small blinds, attacking Kim's oh, big. She's going to defend here with Jack Six suited. Doesn't want to get run over here by her opponent. And Donnie, a big thing about playing day one of the main event is that your table is very, very unlikely to get broken. So you better sort of settle in and pick up on some reads and get comfortable with your opponents because you're going to be battling with them for many, many hours. Yes, of course. I, I think that that focus is certainly going to pay a lot of dividends on the day one, as you said. Unless you're on those fringe tables, you're very unlikely to get broken or moved on the day. Toledo continued for 500 on the flop. Kim came along with a call. Toledo here firing again on the turn, not slowing down, sizing up. 
Kim does give up. And Toledo takes that one down. For uh, Trey and other people asking in the chat, yes, we're going to do a table switch once we hit the first break. Of course, you guys won't have to wait. So we're going to have Jamie Gold here for the first two hours. Hopefully we get to see some Jamie Gold magic. He seems in a good mood. I saw him earlier. I mean, how, how did he get these chips? Because he hasn't played a hand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, clearly something has gone right for him in the early goings. Let's see if we can you know, send Jeff out there to talk to Mr. Gold. Of course, Mr. Gold this year, a bit of an ambassador for the WSOP, you know, helping to try and usher in the new record. How would you feel about that? 1100. You, you hold the old record. Right, right, you know, right. the record. You, yep. You're the guy who won the record. Now you want to usher in the new record. Wouldn't it be crazy Close. if you won it? Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel as though if, you were, if you're a record holder of any kind in any sport, yeah. you, should, you should always root for someone to break the record because it means that the sport or the game is evolving in the right direction, and that is always good news. Okay. Game of Poker has been through a lot, but if the record gets that's broken this year, I think that's going to be an awesome sign for what's to come in future years. Well, you should tell that to the uh, 1972 Miami Dolphins, <laughs> who every single year, when the last undefeated team in the NFL, you know, loses their game, right? they pop some champagne, yeah, celebrate. But, but also, <laughs> the Miami Dolphins don't, don't have anything else to celebrate. <laughs> that is very true. Shout out to my Chad Henney jersey that <laughs> I was told to buy because he was going to be the next big thing. Shout out to Gary Gates. Trash bag in the Pokego chat says, I like Great you guys. Name, I, I like you guys are stepping up. I was leery about the horseshoe table. Remco and Donnie make a good team. Dutchman and the Yank. I would say the D team is now a B minus. Wow, look at that. B minus. I'll take it, Donnie. I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, if I would have got a lot of B minuses in school, I, I might not be sitting here next to you. <laughs> I might actually be doing some with my life. Oh man, definitely a C a C student here. Please. Race, 4,000. Viala de Sorreal so far, one of the more active players at this table. 12,000. Kim's going to make the call here on the button with pocket nines. Donnie, three betting on day one of the main, to me, feels as though the prime way to get in, into trouble playing pots that are bigger than they have to be because you have so many chips, you can play pot control, and you can't win the tournament today anyway. Yes, I mean, I... I certainly agree. I mean, there are going to be times, of course, and situations that arise when you do want to 3-bet. As we see, top set here for Kim. Check. Wow. Check. Kim with a glance over at her opponent, the initial raiser, who decides to check. Action check. now on her in position. She's going to check as well. Turn card, six of spades. Could provide a little check. action here with Via de Solreal turning a straight draw. Of course, Wugard also has a straight draw along with two overs. He is going Dead. to bet his Viala de Solreal. 1,200 is the wager. If you're in Kim's shoes here, Donnie, and, and we can see her making the call right now, how do you approach having this set? Of course, unless you have the unbeatable nuts, you, you don't want to go ham, but still you want to get some value here. Yeah, I mean, you definitely want to get some value, you know, on this turn. Second spade coming in, there is a possibility of a straight being out there. You know, see a safe river card, then go from there. The Sol Real now with the option to continue bluffing. 2800. 20. 2800 is the bet. Action on Kim. Donnie, are we raising for value here? We have to, right? I think it's a good spot, too. I mean, I also, it being day 1A of the main event, like, <laughs> if you do just call, the problem with just calling for me is this. If you just call and you have to show down your set of nines, are you then going to be abused later on? Raise. And she does take the approach of raising. I like it. If there's a way to get some water. Water? Both. The Solreal doesn't waste anyone's time. 
And Kim is going to take this one down with a set. And I think that that's something to worth considering, you know, for, I guess, lesser experienced players, players that aren't the pros. But if you are if you show signs that you're going to play a conservative game in an extreme fashion, which would have been just calling there on the river, then you're probably going to show a lot of players at the table that you can get run over, which is never good. Matt Cash asking in YouTube chat, he says, is this the 10K big game? If you're referring, <laughs> I mean, to, close. The, if you're referring to the <laughs> World Series Poker main event, then yes, this is the 10K big game. And um, funny little side story here. I walk my dog every night running the same same guy every night, and he always asks me about the World Series of Poker because he knows that I work in poker, and he thinks that the World Series of Poker is one tournament. So he goes, is it still going on? I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, yes, but... The big one hasn't started yet, <laughs> and it's confusing to people because a lot of people think that the main event is the only tournament this summer. One. And of course, you know, right. we, one the diehards, you guys in the chat, us here commentating, have been following along the entire time since June 1st. But for many people, Donnie, the World Series of Poker starts today. Yes, of course. And, and there, you know, kind of a little side story to your oh. story. There are often times when, you know, whether it's my wife or whoever it is, they say, oh, you know, my friend's husband won the World Series of Poker, which they want to brace. They might have won a brace, right? You know, but they say he won the World Series of Poker. I'm like, well, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like, first of all, the main event hasn't started yet. Second of all, like you can't just win the whole, literally the whole thing. You can't win it. <laughs> Gold here flopping very well, top and bottom pair. First time we've seen yes. Gold really yeah. active here going to lead this turn. Uh, nonchalantly betting 2K into 2,600, and that's going to get it done. Shows it. <laughs> There's the smile. I thought you said top, top. <laughs> chop, chop? I, re I really hope we get some, some JB Gold chirping. It's got chirping chips, so. Oh, what do you got? Water. H2O. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how long we're here. Hey, two more minutes. No, no, I mean how long we last. Oh. You know, if we're here at the, end of the, more at the end of the day. <laughs> yes. Might be a time to have a drink together <clears throat> to celebrate that we're still here. I love about point. day one of the main event is the camaraderie. You see lots of people developing relationships with oh, the yeah. players at the table. Yeah, you're fine. Imagine if you were just starting a oh. normal tournament. You'd be, you'd have, you know, regular chips. Uh, I'll make it a thousand. Raise a thousand. Nice. A thousand. Two players. <laughs> All right. Flop me the nuts. When Jamie Gold talks, we'll listen. 484. Four. Jamie Gold might as well have the nuts at this point. Just that. Just that. Donnie, I'm seeing signs of the old Jamie Gold. I mean, you know, when Thank you me. got the talking chips, you gotta talk. Should be a rule. Two pair, then aces. This is the Jamie Gold I've grown to love during the 06 broadcast. Yeah, we haven't seen a whole ton of him around the world we had since 2006. Of people in Las Vegas right now you definitely have to Look come and check out the main Great. event set as we nine, get nine, deeper nine. and deeper into this tournament no I would say this is the one tournament of the year where being here in person is for Great. sure Great. worth it uh, day seven eight and then the final table are going to be truly special right now we are using our horseshoe table to show you day one coverage as our main set is still being built yeah, there's a whole lot of drilling going on out there it, it is actually a construction zone. No, it is. I'm surprised they don't have to wear hard hats. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Matros here coming in. 
Under the gun with a raised jack nine. Toledo calls. Gold calls. Tyra four opts to three bet out of the small blind with ace jack off. Yes, sir. You're good. Everyone folds and that gets through. Lots of small pots here in the early goings of our main event day 1A coverage. If you're catching us on YouTube or on Poker Go, let us know in the chat which one of your which one is your favorite main event champ? Of course, we have Jamie Gold here on the feature table. Are you a Jamie Gold fan? Is there a different champ from the past that you loved watching the most? Donnie, I'll, I'll go to you first. Like, which, which main event champ is your favorite? Hmm. Based off of their main event win. So I know you're personal with some of these guys that have won in recent yeah. years, but which one did you enjoy the watching the most? The final table that I enjoyed watching the most was, I think, Joe Hashem or Greg Ramers. That's probably what I mean, I'm Moneymaker, of course, like got me in the door as it got so many others in the door, 1, right? 1,000 is the The way. Joe Hashem one is, There's it's got some crazy action at it. You have Steve Daneman, who's incredible. Like, that was a lot of fun. The funny thing about the Joe Hashem one, of course, this is uh, 2005. You know. We just want to see you stuff. This gold Thanks. hits two kings Thank here. You. We are, go ahead. We'll we, are, we, we, are, we are rudely interrupted by Jamie Gold again picking up a big hand. Are you supposed to run this well when you've already run the main event? Is this loud? We raised wow. to 3,200. Wugert making it 1,000 to go. Jamie Gold coming with the three bet. So okay. got the maces Quickly again? Pulling his fives. Um, not exactly. <laughs> Close. <laughs> yeah. Close. Shows two kings. Talking about that <laughs> yes, Aces. Good. Not bad. Um, you know, so in the last, what, five minutes, we've seen edit, top you know. two pair. We've seen Sometimes Aces. Go, uh, now we've seen Kings for Jamie Gold. It's nice to be the champ. Yeah. Running bad, right? Sometimes you run good. And got to enjoy it. Hello. This is our magical you know, the funny thing about the with the is, cocktails. He kind of comes out of nowhere in the final table. Like he's not on the broadcast for like the first half, and Did then all of a sudden it? it's like, oh, oh this guy's here? The king well, because the ace is the other one. Oh, well, then that would, that would be the reason why. Water, yeah, water please. Yeah. <laughs> favorite. Of course, Marcel Luce going deep, busting in 10th place. We had that John Murphy scenario where he didn't show up until like three hours into play on, I believe it was day five. And then that final table where, you know, or the clashes with, with Mike Matisau mm -hmm. and then uh, Greg Raymer basically upsetting Braves. Josh yeah, Arie, Josh Arie busting and I think whispering to David Williams, yeah. bust this mother effer. <laughs> There was some without, without, you know, blinking out the words like I just did. <laughs> that was definitely a good final table. This, of course, if you're just yep. tuning in, just day 1A. We're just getting sure. warmed up. Okay. Gold involved again, this time with deuces. Tear four. Check. With ace Check. 10 on this Check. coordinated board. Check. 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 <laughs> it's not going to be me. Nice hand. Johnny, the pace of play really high so far. Yeah, they're, they're moving things along quite nicely. You like to see it. Uh, Darren Oatley saying, Martin Jacobson's win was the best for me. Down to, down to eight big blinds and oh, then yeah. coming back to win it. That one was crazy. That year they guaranteed $10 million for first place. This year, they don't have to guarantee it. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. Seeing a few people in Poker Go chat referencing Queen Wynn's uh, epic win with an unconventional playing style, getting it done. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if I look back on it now, 
getting into the heads of some of his opponents. Yeah, and, and I think I think every event, every main event, the final table has its own thing. You know, Kui wins was certainly the uncharacteristic play, getting in the heads of the opponents, all of that sort of stuff. I think Joe McKeon, for example, just massive chip lead, dominating, right? What are we going to do so to make it exciting? Everyone had its own little thing. Ooh, that's your job. Oh, that's man. up to me. <laughs> yes. We're going to go we'll all figure, in every We'll figure hand. something out. C.B. Rufio referencing the Greg Raymer, Jesse Sylvia, Jake Balsinger three-way battle. Donnie, I, st I think you're still you, you're still not caught up on the sleep you lost over that battle. Yeah, was that a 12-hour three-handed or something? Well, wait, you said, did you say Greg Raymer? Uh, Greg Merson. 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 That one was so long. Yeah, Merson, Balsinger, and Sylvia. Wow, Ace is an Ace King in the mix here. Matt Matros raising it up with Ace King offsuit. Vial the Sol Real, three betting to 3,100. Stacks, of course, extremely deep, but Matros potentially in some trouble here. Yeah, this is one of those spots where, you know, it's easy to get Ace King in, in most tournaments and just go nuts and go broke. Do you want to do that on day one of the WSB main yeah, event? All in, Likely not, and Matros <laughs> does here just call. 10 9 6 <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> If you're a mattress here, I mean, <laughs> happily missed. Because this comes king high, you might be putting a lot more money in here. Three point four places three thousand four hundred. Three thousand four hundred. Matro is fortunate not to catch any part of this flop. He lets it go, and he, he will later find out this was the best case scenario for him. No, of course. I mean, an ace king is, like I said, most tournaments, you love to see, you love to get your money in. It really doesn't matter what the price in, let's go. You know, WSB main event, take a little bit of a different approach, just call in a three bet, check fold in a flop, you know, nothing wrong with that here. What kind of law? Russell Andre, the steadiest type, like that with money in this. Yeah, that is been where the money is. Ace King here from Mitchell. I might be able to retire. <laughs> Raise 1,000, excuse me, 1,100. I call. Call? Michael Mitchell from Seattle, Washington. Went to Vancouver Film School. He's in production directing and acting, so we might get to see some of those acting chops with our own eyes, Donnie, because this is all about acting. Let's see if Mitchell wants to continue here, playing out of position with Ace King High. He bets 1,000. Toledo with the quick call with Queen High. Turn is the ace of hearts. Interesting card here. Good for both players. If you're Toledo and you're calling that flop in position, you know, possibly to take it away on a later street, but also hope to turn some equity, and he does. Mitchell, of course, that ace high turned into top pair now. He checks, and Toledo bets 5,000. Just about a pot size bet here on the turn. Mitchell makes the goal. We're going to see a very important river card for his tournament life. It is the four clubs, so no flush out there. Mitchell with the shorter stack gets the check mark. See if Toledo wants to bluff at it. He doesn't. All right, let's get over to Jeff Platt, who caught up with Doug Polk out in the field. Let's see what Doug has to say about the main event. 
Here we go out in the field at the World Series of Poker main event. It is day 1A. A decent start to the main for this gentleman, Doug Polk. Not a great start to his overall day. Doug, could you stand up for a quick sec for me, please? Uh, what happened to you on your way in here? Yeah, so uh, I had a good morning, nice yeah. little light breakfast, get, yeah, ready ready to come, to get ready to come play the World Series of Poker main event. Uh, you know, level one, let's go. Uh, I was at a stop, I was at an intersection, and I was fully stopped, and I'm just, you know, jamming out some tunes, and I just get nailed behind, from the behind by someone who's just like slams in the back of my car. You're okay? Yeah, I was She's okay. She's okay? Everybody's okay? Everyone was okay. okay. She was a little shaken up. Uh, her, her car got a lot more of the damage than my car did, so... It, um, but yeah, we exchanged info and stuff, and I said, look, normally there's more of a process here, but I have I to get to go. level one, they're gonna blind me out, like, you know. A lot of people would take that as perhaps a bad sign. How are you looking at it? Well, I don't believe in uh, science. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Math and logic for the win, you know? I like it, I like it. You have an offer from somebody to be an upswing coach, is that true, here at your table? Uh, yeah, so we, we've got a, a good amount of trolling going on at the okay. table. And uh, I'm a, I would say I would, I'm a fairly solid troll, yeah. but we, uh, I might be out, outmatched here, so I don't know, we'll have to, we'll have to see. I don't want to say some of the stuff he trolls about, because <laughs> okay, it might not be great for, for air, but uh, he's, he's definitely got some, it's a pretty strong troll game over here. If he's even considered we by also, you. We also good. have a guy at the table who really likes hand histories. I don't really want to okay. say any names, but he's been telling a lot of them today. <laughs> so you've and been every, thrilled to listen to him. People just love it when you get into your seventh hand history. Personally. Well, go enjoy the eight. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. Appreciate it. Guys. Oh man, Jeff Platt on the rail telling people to stand up, Doug Polk in the mix. I mean, what's better than the main event, Donnie? I'm hyped up. Nothing. I love Nothing. it. Oh boy, back to our table with Jamie Gold, and we're going to see much more from Jeff Platt in the hours to come. He's going to try to find some exciting stories from the rest of the room. Doug Polk, though, getting absolutely nailed at a stop sign. Could you imagine? And he's like telling the lady, I mean, I know this is a bit pretty, you know, bad situation here, but uh, I'm I gotta go. I'm about to get blinded <laughs> off at the main event. I gotta, I gotta get moving. I love how uh, divided the chat is on Doug Polk. He oh. has, he has that polarized yes. approach. Sure. Sure. Strong Good. looking Four suit thousand. game though from Jeff Platt. I wonder what color he's going to burst out tomorrow. Looking very dapper out there in the field. Maybe a little bit overdressed for a poker tournament, you know. He's even, he even had the pocket square working today. But that's how you stand out, Don. Of course. Action here, advancing to the river. We've got 15,000 in the middle. Sure. Pair. Sure. I have a pair. A pair is good. Yeah, that's we enough. Have Dara on the rail. Wow. I like check that out of the head. Tire four breaks this one in. I was calling you to bet. You had about what I thought you had. I checked for you to bet. Uh, Saved yourself. I, I didn't think I was ahead. I was, <laughs> was going to bet like 15 out. I thought I was ahead. I thought ACI was good. That's right, good. Toledo doesn't seem like a man who wants to fold and wants to back down. He's been involved plenty in taking a little bit of some more aggressive lines as compared to some of the other players at the table. So we'll see how that progresses as the day goes on. I mean, here you have Aziz Alves opening under the gun with ace eight of diamonds. Toledo's in there. Five, four spades. I'm in there. Let's go. Mitchell's going to give up the jack nine diamonds on the button. Quick note to everyone watching who has perhaps a friend or a family member or, or you know, knows of a great story in the main event. All you have to do is send a tweet to Jeff Platt, at Jeff Platt on Twitter. Let him know about it, and if he is able to, he will go and dive in and get the scoop for us. So if you want to connect with Jeff Platt on Twitter, that is the best way to get perhaps your story or the story of one of your friends or family members heard here during the main event. Big flop here, ace, queen, four, two spades. So Aziz Alves flopping top pair, eight kicker. Toledo in position has bottom pair and also a flush draw working. Bet on the flop. 1,200 from Aziz Alves and a call from Toledo in position. 
ace of clubs on the turn. Aziz Alves, the Brazilian, trip aces now. Two hundred in the pot. Thirty-six hundred is the bet. So he's going to give it up. Doesn't like that board pairing on the turn. Donnie, much more interesting. I'm hearing Andy Black's voice in the back. Okay. I got you. We won't need it. We won't need it. Sixth Wilbury says, I binge watched the 2004 main event on Poker Go last week. Some of the plays were insanely bad. I mean, you're talking 2004. It's like 20 years ago. <laughs> the play was, of course, much different. I mean, the different. thing is, is that the, the plays probably weren't that bad in context to that era. Right. They're bad now when you look back on it. I mean, stuff you did last week is probably bad. I mean, I love no, nothing I more. Don't. And I, I know you're the same, Donnie. Rewatching old main events is one of my favorite things. It's so good. Sure. I watched a little sure. bit last night, to be honest, after I got home. Just because I knew it was coming up, you got to get excited, you know? Exactly. Um, much love to everyone watching across our platforms. If you're catching us on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button. The goal for the video today, right now, is to get to 2,000 likes. So let's smash that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and let's help us get one step closer to 500,000 YouTube subscribers. 2000. The more subscribers we get, the more streams we can do, the more we can offer. Trying to grow our community is a Raise big reason why we do these day one broadcasts on the horseshoe table. Toledo raising it up here on the turn with just 16% equity into pocket tens, Donnie. We're getting a little tricky here. I mean, I'm telling you, Toledo is certainly out of the box. He does not like to fold. He likes to spice it up. And I like it, you know? Who said main event day 1A had to be dry? <laughs> I mean, you got to respect the person with the shorter, relatively shorter stack. I'm trying to get spicy here as Aziz Alves potentially has to give his opponent some credit, but still you got an overpair. Look at that. It works. going to give that up. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Show it. Showing it. Yes. Shows the bluff. Nothing but a top of the table from Aziz Alves, showing the respect to his opponent. Wow. Tim Taylor, please. <laughs> Toledo, they're calling for a new dealer. So, sir, you just pulled off a bluff. I mean, what else do you need? I love it. Showing those cards to an experienced player like Aziz Alves might not have the desired result in the long term. These guys are going to be facing each other for many hours to come, but uh, love seeing a good bluff. Yeah, we'll see if that situation rears its head later on. Action folding to Aziz, who's going to find ace-jack offsuit. We know what they say, Donnie. When you have the ace and the jack, can't hold back. That's right. As he's going to take this one down as Matros gives up his big blind. Here's a look at our PGT Dream Seed promotion. We're sending three annual PokerGo subscribers to play in our PGT Championship event. That is a million dollar free roll hosted in Las Vegas in December with a 500k first prize. If you are an annual subscriber to PokerGo, you are automatically entered into our raffle to win one of those seats. If you're not yet a subscriber, you might as well do it right now. Use promo code DREAM30 to save $30 oh, on your annual great. subscription. Promo valid until the end of the main event. Oh, good here comes in with the raise. King 10 off. Gold going to make the call with a dominating ace 10. Oh, three players. Can't really blame Solriol here for defending his big one with 10 6 suited. No. And look at that. King, deuce, three. 
top pair for Woogert, but a flush draw here for the Sol Rio. Sure. Backdoor clubs for gold might Three, though. entice Three, him though. to come along if this bet size works out for him. But a nearly pot size bet is uh, not going to be a good price. Might be too big of a price for the holiday solo real, but we'll see if he, how he wants to proceed here. Oh. He is going to make the call. That's it. Eight of spades on the turn. Wooker not the deepest of stacks here. He's only got a two to one stack to pot ratio on the turn, just thereabouts. So there's a chance sure. this money could sure. get in here, depending on what happens. We're going to check behind here as the eight of clubs pairs the board on the river. Let's see if the Solreal is going to lead out here to potentially you know, extract some value from his opponent. I could see any sort of bet sizing. We'll see what he wants to go with. 9,600 in the pot. Looks like we're getting a little larger sizing here. Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight hundred is the bet. Woogert with a bit of a sigh and perhaps already accepting defeat in this spot here, Donnie. All, all in. Oh, wow, wow. He moves all in. I did need it. Wow, Woogert is all in for 20,000. The Sol Royale has a 10 high flush. Board paired. Can't see him folding here. See him folding, but you know you also want to be able to run through all the different scenarios, combinations of hands. If you are going to make this call, you know you don't just want to go crazy in the WSB main events. But I also can't imagine he folds this, given the way that this one was played out. I mean, alarm bells going off for the Sol Royal, but he is going to make the call and see the good news. Wugert just with King Ten, he's going to be out the door here. On day 1A of the main event. Nice playing with you. Good game, Ken. Unfortunate timing with the shove there on the river. And Viala de Sol Real rakes in a big pot. He now up to over 100,000. Well, that was kind of some excitement out of nowhere. <coughs> Didn't expect the money to go in there on the river in the fashion that it did, but... Big pot for the holiday solution. I mean, <laughs> the chat is absolutely losing their mind, and that shows me that the main event is officially <laughs> underway. We are officially. I mean, that's one of those spots where, you know, if you're Rugard and you're, you know, there's a chance you have the best hand, right? But do you want to risk it? It's certainly fine there Great. to just call. 1,100. You know, I think that that's a different spot than what we saw earlier with Kim when she ended up raising the river with top set. You know, a little bit of a different situation. Obviously, hand strength is a little bit different in that spot, but... Your fold equity also there for Wooger, not really the greatest, you know. The bet was on the larger side. You only have 20K behind, so... The longest walk of his year will be that hallway back to the casino, Donnie. They say the worst day for every poker player is the day they bust the WSP main event. Yeah, they should never make this event a re-entry because that pain will be <laughs> very different if you have a chance to get back in it. Uh, tire four finds Ace-King offsuit. He's going to come in for a raise to 1,100. Alves, let's go to threes. And the Sol Real again, with a nice playable hand, he's going to come along here on the button with pocket eights. Toledo, of course, doesn't enjoy folding. Kim getting a nice price here. Oh, yes. She's got a good one in the big blind as well. She's coming along four ways to the flop. Asiz Alves probably wants his pocket threes back. King, Jack, nine. Kim flops two okay. pair. Tire poor flops top pair, top kicker. Okay. This one could certainly get interesting. Ace-King is going to continue here as eights and seven-six suited hit the muck rather quickly. 
Now, Donnie, if you're in Kim's spot on a flop like this, do you want to start building a pot here right away? I think it's fine to just call here. I also think raise. it's fine to possibly raise. I can see both avenues here. This is a very wet board. Therefore, has the backdoor clubs working for him as well. Turn card, however, brings a complete blank, the three of spades. Perfect card for Kim to really put a sizable bet out here to charge Terrapore to see the river card. Yes, of course. I mean, you don't want free equity for your opponent. You got to charge those hands that are, you know, the king queens, the king tens of the world. Maybe the jack X of clubs. Okay. 7,000. Anybody else at the table, I don't fold this. You have king nine or jack nine, right? Wow. I'll show you one time. Tyra Moore calling her hand. Would you show? Ace king, ace king, ace king with the ace of down. Yes. <laughs> Tyra Moore with the strong queen read. Queen 10 would be pretty good, too. No queen 10. Jack nine or king nine. If you're Kim, that's very good for you, in my opinion, because I think later on you can abuse that situation. Also, I love the fact that she doesn't even crack a smile, she doesn't show her cards, of course. it's all business, and that is exactly how you should approach the main event. Never show your cards, ladies and gentlemen. Never show your cards. Don't smile, no nothing. It is well, business time. I'll say Jamie Cole is allowed to show his cards because he's already won $12 million. So he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> right. But everyone else, yes. But I mean, later on, there might be some spots where Kim can, you know, check raise or, or pull off some bluffs against Ty Rapor because he just announced there. Anyone else at the table, he's not holding that hand. That also tells other players at the table that they can get I was like, let me peel one sheet like a club. No club, I fold. There is, Kim does crack a smile there as Tyra Bohr continues with some talk. Thanks. Yes, 60,000 chips was the starting stack in this event. You can see the chip counts at the top of the screen. Chip counts presented by Poker Go Play. Raise. Raise. Currently eight handed after the elimination of Wugard just a few minutes ago. Oh. Matt Matros here coming in with the raise. Re raise. With King Re -raise. 10 off. Viola de Sola Riol. Flats with pocket nines. And Toledo decides to kick it up this time with a three bet with the suited connectors eight, seven of spades. Oh. Mitchell's going to come along from the small blind with Ace Jack off. Quite an interesting pot here building up. Matros gets out of the way. The all day solar reel isn't going anywhere. He makes the call with those nines. King four deuce all spades. Toledo flopping a flush. Mitchell checks his cards. They remain red and he checks. Toledo looks like he cannot wait to bet. Look at it. Yeah, and he snap bets 2,000 after the all-day solo reel. Check. With nines and the nine of spades, Donnie, you're still not too unhappy having to call 2,000 into 10,000. No, but I think it's, it's a decent price here against the player who, at least from what we've seen, has shown that he's capable of betting worse. And you could stack if you hit a spade and you think you're best. Here we go, spade on the turn. All of a sudden, it's the table's turn as Toledo's eight high flush is in big trouble here. Donnie, I'm thinking of a card on the river. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm guessing you're thinking of the six of spades. Six of spades <laughs> is still an option for Toledo oh, here, sure. but in any other scenario, uh, this no, is going to get is. quite costly. Uh, if you want to, if you don't, you don't. Okay. The Sol Royale taking his time here going over his options. Oh. You have to call one more street after you call this flop. River card. The three of diamonds doesn't change a thing. The nine high flush is best. But Donnie, 
it is only a nine high flush. There are combinations of flushes out there that will crush you. So if you're the Sol Royale. Yeah, we got it later. Thanks a lot. I was gonna say, you're happy to get the showdown. Yeah, you're happy to get the showdown for either player there. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. So far, it's been the level of the Sol Real. He's been chipping up almost every single hand he enters. If you're just tuning in, my name is Remko Rinkema. Donnie Peters alongside me. We're going to bring you coverage of Day 1A until the night is done. So plenty of action still to come. Let us know in the chat where you're watching from. We've got a massive international crowd. I can already tell. No, no one's like I know that. It's fine. It's Don't forget to smash that like button. We're trying to hit 2,000 likes on this video to spread the word that Poker Christmas is happening right now. For the next 14 days, it is Poker Christmas. It is summer camp. All that stuff combined. Oh, I'm over here. It's coming early. I mean, for the Sol Real, it surely is. Oh, yes. Running well and playing well at this feature table. here with the queen jack off he's going to raise to 1000 Toledo the most active player at this feature table so far Jamie Gold calls ace 5 off heads up to the flop Seven, four, three, two hearts Gold flopping a double gutter also has that backdoor yeah, hard right draw. Right <laughs> it is. Fifteen hundred is the bet from gold that takes it down. Quincy Brooks says, man, how I've missed watching this live. Yeah, you better get that sleep schedule in order because the nights are going to be long depending on where you live. Uh, I almost want to say that for Australians, this is the best time to watch poker because oh, yeah. most of our streams going forward for the next two weeks are going to end around 1 in the morning Vegas time, which is you know, roughly, of course, 4 a.m. on the East Coast. It is breakfast time in Europe and somewhere in the middle of the day in Australia. So depending on where you're watching from, it might not be easy to catch it all live, but at least know that it's all going to be available on demand as well. My dad would tune in sometimes, and he would watch whenever he can. He would hit pause, and then leave his computer open until he can watch again, and then just hit resume. <laughs> That's great. Uh, meanwhile, Jamie Gold, King Jack Offsuit, raising on the button. Get some action here from both blinds. Queen 5-4 rolls off the deck. Ends well in the lead. Generally, from every player, very fast action. High report here opts to lead the turn. 2,000. He's going to get it done with those sends. I mean, this is snap action. They're, they're acting street. extremely fast. You know, good for us. Good for the players at the table. Get more hands in. Good for the viewers at home. See more action. Fred says, 1 p.m. here in Australia. Yeah, I knew I knew it was the best <laughs> time zone for Australia. I knew it. There you go. Mike says, 4 a.m. in Ireland. Productivity at work is gonna go is gonna go <laughs> faux for the next two weeks. Grumpy Pants says, we viewers really appreciate the speedy action. Just put yourself in the shoes of the commentators. Sometimes we have to fill so, so multiple minutes. So the only thing that people who are watching can see is that, you know, the middle where you're 
Yeah, they can only see the fox. That's it? Yeah, on their little TV. Which is that screen, I think. Is there another screen yeah, or something? That, whatever that. Well, these screens? They say the same thing as that. It's the oh. box. It's the box. Well, oh, the people in the middle. here at the place. Uh-oh, uh -oh. here we go. Look at this, Remco. Wow. This could spell disaster for Matt Matros. In the big blind, raising a three bet in front of him. Matros starting this hand with 78 big blinds. That is still a ton to get into the middle, but facing a raise and a three bet in the big blind. Donnie is four bet on. Oh, wow. He moves all in. Okay, oh, just shy danger. of 80 big blinds, and Aziz Alves happy to make the call with aces. Matt Matros at risk here with queens yeah, no versus kidding. aces. Wow, what an absolute clash of monster hands here at this feature table. Matros with a very exciting shove here, perhaps getting a bit out of line. Here comes the flop. King, three, five, two hearts. No hearts going for Matros at all. He needs to find a that queen and a queen much. only to stay alive in this tournament. Seven of clubs on the turn. He's one card away from being eliminated. River card is the jack of clubs. Good luck, guys. Matt nice Matros, the man with the second Biggest resume at this feature table sent to the rail. Matros has 2.5 million in yeah, career right. tournament earnings, and he won't be adding any to that yeah. as the three time World Series of Poker bracelet winner uh, exits the stage after getting it all in with pocket queens. Donnie, it's a marathon and not a sprint. Seems like a very optimistic shove there with queens. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think you might want to be trying to fold out the ace kings of the world there, but you're only getting called by better. I can't see one to one Aziz Alves putting in with two jacks there. We already saw him fold, was it pocket tens on a nine high board? So, you know, even though he is Brazilian, has an online background, you know, maybe Matros knows about that, but he hasn't really gotten too out of line there. Meanwhile, the action continues to be fast-paced and full of life as Toledo raises with Queen Jack. Kim, three bets from his immediate left. We're seeing a heads-up flop here, 10 4 deuce. Backdoor straight flush draw for Toledo. He's going to lead that. Kim with ace-king high, no hearts. along here with is king high king of spades on the turn i was totally joking about the open of uh, the backdoor straight flush draw but here it is royal flush draw for toledo on the turn and kim at the same time top here top kicker now he's gonna come along with the call this pot is quickly growing River card, deuce of spades. Toledo bets, bets, and bets. And then he makes his hand. Wow. Makes a flush on the river. It's not the royal we were all hoping for, but still a big dent in the stack of Kim here. She gets knocked do they, down. Do they fill Close a table starting too, now, or? 50,000. Still yeah. very healthy, of course, but not the results she wanted to see. Uh -huh. It could be more action playing short. <laughs> I think Toledo here getting up to 55K could be a lot of fun. He's already been extremely active. I can only imagine he's going to remain that way. If you're Kim, you know, this is going to happen in the WSP main event. I think it's a good example for, you know, everyone out there is that you're going to lose pots. You know, not, you're not going to win every single pot from start to finish. 
You're very deep. The structure is extremely player friendly. So you have to brush that one off and carry on. Mitchell here comes in with a raise. King Jack of Clubs. We all day solo real calls. Toledo calls. Jack eight deuce, two hearts. Checks over to Mitchell. Six. Six thousand. Quite a bit of an overbet there from Mitchell. Takes it down. I am so impressed with the pace of play. I just cannot stop talking about it. <laughs> Everything is going so fast. I absolutely love seeing it. I have not yet. You haven't? No. Is they frozen in that one? That's container? coming. No, they, they were they They're were still thawed. They'll still be okay. Good. I hope you brought some for everybody. Oh, yeah. I didn't. Our first blueberry reference. Let's I go. Should have, but I didn't. <laughs> Good Let us know in the chat if you have a favorite Jamie Gold moment from all his banter and table talk in the past. One of the most polarizing characters during his main event run. Creating both friends and foes along the way. All of us raising it up with Jack Nine off. The Sol Real calls the button, and we're going to potentially have four way action here. It, you don't have to bring that. No, I don't need that. Uh, Toledo. It's very difficult. Again, to leading out. Donnie, this man has one gear. It's the sixth hands. gear. Know, it's I great. It. Um, Kim Flops uh, top like air with a king kicker. Alves has top air with a jack kicker. Huh? No, no, no. We'll, we'll go to Nova or whatever. Yeah, we'll sit somewhere. They give us a real break. I'm not sure exactly what time. Do you know when the dinner break is? Oh, okay. 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 Action folds to get us down to heads up play as Kim calls Toledo's bet. Toledo's MO is to just bet until he gets there turn is the queen of spades giving him options to get there the jack of course would give him a straight an overcard out there now to kim's pair but donnie how do we assess toledo's betting style if we're in kim's position here i, mean, I think he's proven that he's just going to barrel off here so if you're kim i mean you don't have the greatest holding but i think you just kind of kind of hold on and call Action goes check check and Kim gets some chips back from that pre previous hand where of course she got burned for quite a bit more. We get to see tons of hands so far. No tanking. It's been great to watch the action here on day one A of the main event. Blueberry. Oh, or, yes. Blueberries are out. Everyone else just go home. We know who's winning this one. Tire four raising it up with sixes. Aziz Alves finding ace king offsuit. And it feels as though every single hand is noteworthy at this point, Donnie. Welcome. 
a fair bit of action here. You know, we talked about how many players take a conservative approach to the early days of the WSB main event, but we've seen these players getting involved quite a lot. Aziz Elvis here flops top two on the Ace King scoreboard. If only that four had been a six, we could have seen some real fireworks, but Tire Poor not getting there as we are seeing a new player enter the fray here on our feature table. Tire Poor able to get away from his sixes rather cheaply. If you are just joining us, we have many more hours of day 1A coverage still to come. When the players hit the break, we're going to switch tables. I've been told who we're getting on that next feature table. It's going to be a good one. Oh, massage is incoming as we have Thanks. two new players. Both seats are getting filled. Just waiting on confirmation on these names. As you can tell, we are live streaming, so you're seeing all the stuff you would ordinarily not see on the broadcast. Players getting mic'd up, things getting arranged to give you guys the best viewing experience. Red Matrix gifting one YouTube community sub, much appreciated. We are doing a little YouTube community on the side. You can subscribe to that and use our special emojis, as well as getting your name in that beautiful green color. Sound of that microphone dog. So do, we, do we know the exact time of the dinner break? Yeah, yeah. 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, after yeah, this? Yeah. Looks like we're about to go to an interview with Rob Johnson. His family bought him into the main. Let's see what Jeff Platt can get out of Mr. Johnson, who's having what I hope is a wonderful time in the greatest All right, Rob Johnson is a trial attorney in Grand Rapids. He's here playing his first main event. What brings you to the main? Well, uh, my kids decided to surprise me for my 60th birthday uh, last July 4th. My birthday is in October, but uh, they're all over the country, so they came in, surprised us, uh, my wife and I, and, and we were getting ready to play a little poker game because we play a lot of, a lot of cards around the, around the table, and uh, they didn't give me all my chips. I was one chip short, and then uh, my daughter, Sally, said, oh, don't, Dad, your chip's here on the floor, and they picked it <laughs> up, and they gave me the... Uh, World Series of Poker. They they, they painted a picture of yeah. the World Series for me, and that was my entrance fee. They paid for it. How and, cool is that? And what's it been like so far today, it, being here and playing in the greatest poker tournament in the world? Well, other than exhilarating, I don't know how to describe it. It's it's incredible. I'm going to send you back to the action. Really appreciate right. the time. We'll check in with your family next. That sound good? Right, great. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, I appreciate thanks, it. Yep. This is what the main event is all about. Rob Johnson making his main event debut. His family buying him in. Donnie, I need a new, I need a new family. Yeah, you're telling me. But are they adopting people? Like, I mean, <laughs> let's go. To the, to, the, to the Johnson family, October 6th is my birthday. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Table. Getting the massage in seat four is Francisco Pizzazzo. I mean, the most beautiful name has sat down in the ninth seat. Philip Wizawadi. I love it. Isn't that the best? <laughs> that is the best. 
Pizzazzo. We're trying to stay relaxed here with the massage. Oh, oh, long day? Why not? Cool. I have change. That in my pocket. Heads up action here. Jack, four, three. Oh, in the card box. Yes, Mitchell oh, okay. battling with Jamie Gold. Do I got to point him up to the rail? Mitchell checks. There's a, Jamie Gold wastes little time oh, okay. firing out 2,000. Yep. Mitchell makes the call. Three spades on the turn, pairing the board. Check, check. King of Diamonds on the river. That means the 2006 WSB Main Event champ has the winner here as long as he doesn't fold. Gold rivering two pair. <laughs> Mitchell's coming out with 6,000. Hefty bet. And then I hit the pump. river. So now I might have to call. Oh. But I think you floated me with something like um, Ace King, so it, yeah, so it, so we go live at about which I can't beat. Oh, okay. So it's on a two hour delay right now, so what's going to happen is go okay. for two hours and then the hmm. break is about to cut the dinner break. Gotcha. You want to talk about it? <laughs> yeah, okay, I won't bother you. He does make the call. We're supposed to call. Oh, Good sorry, call. sorry, Good sorry, call. sorry. I'm not slow rolling you. I, I said, I told you I hit no, the river. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm sorry. Good. Sorry about that. You didn't see the fluttering on his <laughs> No, I didn't see the gold. It just felt like, you know what? Breaks if I in that the one, hand gets to the river, I, I had hit it, I have to call. Indeed. Yeah. Very good call. Sir, when you get your cards, make sure you step them in the reader here. Oh, okay. Okay. Individual. You know, perfect. Call. No, Sorry, I can't. You, want, you, should, okay. you want to show that down. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. It could be good. You okay. heard me? Okay, great. And then same for you, sir. Um, just make sure to spread your cards across the reader. Okay. So. But you know what? You check on betting, so it's going the same way. It, it saves you money if you check, I guess. Mm -hmm. Jamie Gold there getting back up to just about 150,000 in chips. Again, all these players started with 60,000 here on day 1A of the 2023 World Series of Poker main event. My name is Donnie Peters. I appreciate you guys tuning in from all over the world. Poker Go's coverage of this one. The biggest, baddest tournament in the world. My sidekick, Remco Rinkimo, has just stepped out for a brief moment, but he'll be back in here shortly. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button. Almost at 2,000. Let's see if we can get up over 2,000 before the end of this hand. It could be a quick one, so hit that like button. The All Day Solar Real opens it up to 1,000 with Ace Do suited. High rapport. Three betting in position, ace king off. Oh. There's a call. Reality that? Solar Real heads up to the flop. 10 6 5 rainbow. Jamie, 
Oh, I'm GTO so sorry. Wizard is the ultimate tool to take your we poker to game to the next level. I Start crushing your opponents today that. with the number oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. one no app problem. for poker players. You can scan the QR code that is I on your screen right now, or you can no simply blue. head on over to gtowizard.com slash pokergo to receive free access for your first 24 hours as well as 10% off I set up an automatic purchase. table every day, but I have to tell them that I'm coming. Yeah. I only spent like $40,000 to do that. I spend 1000 a day every day. Zazo here raising to a thousand. Hi, George. Hi, Audrey. It's good to see you. Excellent. How are you? Play folds yeah, over to one. Viola de Solariol. He's got two jacks in the big it's line. One. It's a good start. I saw Andy with you. Oh, okay. Hello. Um, just uh, three bet to thirty four hundred. Okay, it's good to see you. So, um, if if John, they said no, we sold out, but and that John gets done. That, um, you know, somebody at the table told me that. So, Positive you know, trend know continues for Viola de Sol Real. Yeah, so just tell me, just need one Viola de Solariol is 36 years old, out of Chile. He has a marketing degree, but his profession yeah. is poker. I spent almost as much time there as I have playing He's poker. married with one son. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> there's no chance. Jackson Mosher, appreciate the donation, 499 coming to the coffee fund. Says to tell Diggity that he's bad at poker. I mean, you know Diggity, you're horrible at poker. I, I don't know what you want me to say. For, for sushi. Yeah, I know. Um, Thank you for the donation. Appreciate you tuning number, in. Appreciate yeah. everyone tuning in. Yeah, do you want to just type it? Put it in your phone. Raise 900. 702. Okay, here. Yeah. I gotta go. You got it? All right. Aziz Alves getting it done there with the raise with the queen nine off. For those of you watching on YouTube, appreciate you guys tuning in from all over the world. Remco's mentioned it before, I'm going to mention it again. The goal this summer, 500,000 YouTube subscribers. So. Please subscribe to the channel, help us get there. If you are watching on Poker Go, we appreciate you guys, all of our subscribers coming from all over. Zen Dudorito, Pauly D, Samantha, Davey Fades, Doug W. current debate in the poker go chat is how good is nobu more of a sandwich guy myself donnie <laughs> you know that <laughs> how was it it was a a, a beef bon mi sandwich yeah how was it it was fantastic well I, I can't say that it was good without saying what it was oh. people don't know what i had extra jalapenos Ooh. spicy spicy i need that spice Got to give a shout out to Steven Siegel joining the rail. That is our YouTube community. Thank you very much, Steven. Welcome. It's funny, uh, Toledo is down from his starting stack, involved in almost every hand but still sitting on 119 big blinds. Gives you a bit of an indication of how deep the World Series of Poker main event truly is. Toledo here betting out with five deuce suited 
I feel as though every chance he gets, he's the first one in the hand. First 100%. one in the pot. 100%. He's an action player. We love it. That betting gets this one done. If you're with us in the chat, which player at today's feature table has impressed you the sure. most so far during our coverage? We're 90 minutes into our day one stream, and I'm sure the chat pros have picked up on a few things here. Donnie, who's, who's impressed you the most so far that we have here at the feature table? Uh, I would say Viology Solar Real. You know, he's obviously making hands, of course, but and that helps. But, you know, some of the hands that he played, I thought he's progressed very well. Wide array of opinions here in the chat. Terpore and Gold getting some love. So is Kim. The Outlaw saying, can all coverage on the main event feature Jamie Gold and no one else? The, wow. goat, the GOAT deserves coverage. Well, we're giving him a big compliment starting out with the Jamie Gold table. Meanwhile, Donnie, your favorite, Viala, the Sol Real, raising it up, How or sorry, three betting to 3,100. Tear for the initial raiser, makes the call. We're going to see heads up action here with two very deep stacks. Both players approaching 300 big blinds. This feels like a cash game. Soriol continues for 1600 and then we see a jack hit on the turn the perfect card for Soriol but Tear Poor has a flush draw to go along with his top pair Donnie this is the type of clash that could get out of hand oh yes action turn card for sure once again every decision Below five seconds, you'll have to see it. Three of spades hits on the river. The Sol Royal with the check mark here. Let's see if he's going to go for value here. He does it. He checks behind and just rakes in a pot worth 22,000 chips. Is there, is there any way to ask Another you guys pot going the all the Sol Royal's way. To, uh, do that hey, somewhere friend, else. Can you do that somewhere else? You're really loud. You're plugging. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Tire <laughs> for policing over here, Donnie. Well, this is the main event. Love to see it. Um, Len stops saying, first day is so tight. Well, I disagree. Look at all the big pots we've seen so far. You know, foam booth. Engine Kid is wondering, Donnie, was it a mistake not to bet on the river there? I mean, boy. What do you? What, what's worse? That's calling you for value. That that's the only hand. Probably. I mean, that's probably the only hand. And even then, I mean, Tyra Poor might find a fold. I mean, it's just a tough spot. You have enough showdown value there in that spot that you're just happy to get showdown, take the pot if it goes your way. You know, maybe your opponent does something kind of uh, out of the box and check raises you, and then you hate the fact that you just bet your hand. So. Perfectly fine to check behind there. I mean, would Terpore have complained about the rail being loud if he had won that hand? <laughs> Probably not. I mean, that's usually how it goes. Probably would ask him to be louder, right? You know, <laughs> cheer for me. Come on. <laughs> Toledo raising it up with Queen Nine offsuit action folds to Mitchell in the big lines. He's going to make the call. <laughs> Queen in the flop for Toledo. Okay. For once, he has a pair, and he decides to check behind. <laughs> Bets when he doesn't have it, checks when he does. 
Now he bets on the turn. There's nothing out there for Mitchell. And he lets it go. Thank you. YouTube has been doing some work here. Closing in on 2,500 likes. I believe the likes record of the summer sits at 5,500 oh. for one stream. Let's go. I, I want to say it's in play for tonight. I want to say it's in play. The record for stream during WSOP, 5,500 likes. That'd be awesome. Donnie, the chat not too happy with Teerpour's little snap back at the rail there. Yeah, I mean, you know. Personally, I like it. Some spice. Come on. You like it from an entertainment yes. perspective, you know, but I don't know. I mean, I, we can't really hear what was going on behind him, so maybe it was loud. You, you never know. You guys know me a little bit. I'm always rooting for maximum drama, exciting table talk, and big pots. If Teerpour is getting a little bit frustrated here, we might see some more chirpiness, which I would highly encourage because, of course, we are here to watch it all unfold on day one of the main event. Lots of Kim fans as well in the chat. Love having a women at the feature table, but of course, more importantly, always rooting for 11. a woman Race. to make the main event final table. I believe it was 20, was it 2012? When we had two women? I think so. Be oh so close to the final table, Elizabeth Hill and Gail Bauman, finishing in uh, 11th and 10th, respectively. Cool. What was the 11th? Teerpour finding two black queens looking for some action as Jamie Gold is his only customer calling from the big lines with ace four offsuit. Check. Seven three king, Check. nothing out there for Jamie. Check. Action goes check, check. Bet. Gold gives it up. <laughs> Tower report doesn't look too happy. <laughs> Probably wanted to play a much bigger pot there with those two queens, but Donnie, you take what you can get. Right, it's true. You, you can't be too greedy. Uh, but you, you've experienced playing in the main event. Would you say that this table and the way it's been sort of playing and how relaxed it seems to be for the most part is sort of a good representation of what it's like playing in the main event, or is this different? because it's on the stream. No, I think this is a good representation and I'm pleasantly surprised to see this table playing this way. I, th I think you see this sort of kind of faster play early on in the WSP main event. You see a little bit more camaraderie, chattiness between the players early on. You know, as things get deeper, obviously things get much more serious. But oftentimes, you know, you take a table from the outer field, you put it under the cameras, under the lights, and people tend to tense up. They tend to not talk. They tend to play a little bit slower, be more aware of their actions, all that sort of stuff. I think we're seeing very much a, a candid view of the play, and I think that that's great. Action has been great so far, and like you said, Donnie, extremely fast, which means that we have a bigger chance at some clashes as more and more hands are being dealt every hour. Picasso. King six suited flops a flush draw. Gold lets go of his hand, and so will Kim. And the man getting the massage picks up the pot. One of our guests in the chat on Poker Go says, my first and only main event, I got 336th when Gold won it. He's a great guy. Now, of course, I have to look up what your name is because we can easily find that on good old Hennon Mob. Thanks for joining us, Christopher Anderson. The 06 main event paid out a total of 873 players. 
The final 12 cash for over a million. Crazy. Checks. Bets. One thousand. Small pot developing here. Gold betting with just queen high. Aziz Alves has backdoor hearts, but is he going to want to play here? Raises. Goals. Look at that. Alves with the check raise. Gold yes. lets it go right away. And the Brazilian is going to rake this one in. Alves sitting. Just shy of 90k. All players started today with 60,000 chips. Matt Gerber is asking how many players entered this year in the main event. Well, this is day 1A, so we're just starting things out. Our, our guess is as good as yours as far as how many players are in the main event on day 1A. I believe it's over 900, maybe shy of 1,000. We'll probably get confirmation on that number as the night goes on. There are still three yeah, more great. starting days to oh, come. Yeah, they, they, I have to. Uh, we're streaming you, you can, you can as well here you want. I just have to on our horseshoe boxes. table. Race, 1,000. Oh, calls 1,000. Got to give a shout out to Richard Navarro, 499 donation, right into the coffee fund. Shout out to Poker Girl for providing us with the live action. Shout out to you, Richard Navarro. Appreciate it, sir. And uh, John follows it up right away with the five dollar donation, going one cent higher. John is asking, "Will you televise every day?" Yes, we will. Televising every single day. Let's get back into the action here before I give you some more context on our streaming schedule. As the Sol Real raises it up with Ace Queen offsuit to a thousand, Picasso calls with a, for a thousand, Terrapore calls as well, and then it's Alves in the small blinds making it 6,500. Donnie yeah. almost saving from, Picasso from going four way exactly. with his king. Oh yes. It is. Yeah, it's uh, in Paris. Just comes just with the call. calls again. Okay, trappy, trappy. Oh sure. Tyrepore like, getting yeah, an interesting well, price here to time. potentially flop a Two set plays. in a three-way pot. Yeah. Tyrepore has got a lot of chips up over 100k. Right. You know, you can flop a set here and hopefully stack two players. So take a little shot here. Try and hit a duck. Here comes the flop. King, ten, four, two diamonds. Top set for the man slow playing the Cowboys. Elvis flops a pair of tents and some backdoor draws. Donnie, would you like to see him continue here given the way he sees the situation? I think might have flopped a hand you want to try and get to a turn on for as cheaply as possible, hopefully free. We see that that's not really going to be a possibility here. And, you know, Aziz Alves also can. He took his shot pre flop and. The flop may not ultimately work out for him. Just have to check fold, but it is what it is. I, I like the I like the aggressiveness, trying to go after it. Thinking about it, I mean, there are some I've heard fantastic ones, like crazy ones, like Caesar's. Alves facing a bet of twelve thousand five hundred. Has this unbelievable? At least it used to be. I think they call it like the Bacchanal or whatever. <laughs> it's just everything you could. These Alves looking like he's coming along. Here we go. Look at this, Donnie. Wow. What kind of range does Alves? Um, Ascribe to Picasso having potentially. I mean, it's hard to put him on a queen jack because you block that queen jack. I mean, you can certainly have flush draws in here. I don't know, is he calling with a hand like a, a king jack? You know, he calls twice pre flop. Is that a hand that's in his range? You probably rule out the ace kings of the world. It's easy to think that. Check from Aziz Alves here on that turn. The nine of spades. Picasso coming with 30,000. Wow. Gets it done, so. Not holding back. 
I will say I was a little, I was a little bit surprised to see Picasso bet that flop, and the reason being for my surprise was because he went call call pre flop. So I thought maybe you know, keep a little slow play on the flop, you know, try and get Tyra Bohr behind you to bet, but he goes for it and takes it down. Wow, two big donations in the YouTube chat. Brian Baltwood, twenty dollar donation, and Jay Gross with a ten dollar donation asking for the leaderboard. We have just gotten started with the main events. Our coverage on the later days on our main feature table will, of course, have plenty of leaderboard action. Day one, we're streaming for free across YouTube and Poker Go. And from day two onwards, we're splitting our coverage where Donnie and I will take the morning shift, so to say, and then the rest of the day will be on Poker Go. We tweeted a schedule earlier today, and I will retweet it from my personal account as well. Oh. But basically, the next three days after today, 7 p.m. Pacific time until roughly 1.15 a.m. Pacific time is going to be the action on day one. We're starting with a longer delay. That way you guys don't have any breaks and you can watch straight, straight through all the coverage. Everyone is asking, why do you start so late? That's the reason for it. That way we can cut out the dinner break, which is 75 minutes of you guys not having to watch anything. And then starting on day two, we're going to kick things off, Donnie and I, at 1 p.m. Pacific time, so 4 p.m. on Four the East Coast, go until 5 p.m. Pacific time, and then PokerGo takes over the coverage until the night is done. And then from day five onwards, that's July 11th, it'll be on PokerGo the entire day. So you got 12 hours of coverage every single day until a winner is known. So much main event coverage, man. Just just so much. It's the most hours we've ever done. And uh, for the PokerGo chat, we're trying to keep up with all the chats. There's a, a lot going on right now. But uh, trust me, we are in the mix on both platforms. It's a lot to explain, Donnie. It's, it's like 16 straight days of poker. It's pretty absurd. Paul Blanchett, welcome to the rail. Thank you for joining our YouTube community. Don, have you heard of this guy before? Lance Bradley? I have. Much love to Lance the Lance. goat, man. Come on. Lance says, shout out to Donnie and Remco for having their finger on the pulse of the WSOP. Lance comes with a $5.55 donation. That's right, baby. My finger is firmly on the pulse, Lance. I see what you did there. It's quite a surreal experience to have a way to follow this tournament from start to finish practically. Right, to We're going to see all those storylines develop. You know, think back of something as funny as the dirty diaper. You know, that that <laughs> yeah. that, that came out of nowhere during the main event a couple years ago. We're gonna we're gonna have similar moments happen. We're gonna have crazy clashes. We're gonna have crazy rulings. We're gonna have controversies. We might see someone knock over a drink or get disqualified. <laughs> it is all possible here in the main event. Everyone right now still looking extremely fresh, but Donnie, you know that over the course of this event, fatigue is going to start setting in, and that's when people make big mistakes. Oh, yes, of course. I mean, you see it every single year. The fatigue eventually gets to people. It, I mean, it really is a, a test of endurance, this thing. It's an absolute behemoth of a poker tournament. Alan the Pain Saw on PokerGo Chat says, still five days to register, just hop on a flight and go. Yeah, if you if you live anywhere across the world, you can still make it in time to play the main event. Oh yeah. Especially with that day two reg. Will we still be here after dinner? No, you know, sometimes they switch up. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know if they have anything the table. Out there. 
I mean, Donnie, if it was up to me, I just want to keep Toledo at the table for sure. Toledo has been yeah. We'll, really move, we'll move everyone else. In. Yeah, let's <laughs> keep it. Keep your new cast of characters in. I mean, we, we listen. Yeah, sure. Whatever the next table may be, the bar has been set high. <laughs> this table is good. There's you been action. We've seen two eliminations. No, yep. If you can believe it, early on in day one of the main event, we've seen we Jamie, a, we've seen Jamie Gold get seven premium <laughs> premium holdings. Yeah, he's already it eaten blueberries. Slow. He's been talkative. Look at this. We can wow. Do better. Potential trouble brewing here for Jamie Gold. And Tyra Bork plays it slow behind, just flat in the open from Jamie Gold. Tyra Bork has got two kings, Gold with the two jacks. They are sharing suits as well, hearts and diamonds. You don't have to worry so. about him, but now you have all those chips, and he's got all those chips. You, uh, you can tighten things up. Two big stacks clashing as Ace-9-7 rolls off the deck. Neither player will be happy to see this. Yeah, it might be a little bit of an action killer here. Ooh, jack of spades on the turn. Jamie Gold hits a set. After all those years, it looks as though Jamie Gold has refound his good fortunes. Bets 3,000 and gets a call from the Kings of Terpore. River card, the six of clubs. Bet 6,000. 6,000 is the bet from gold. I got a set. Set of, jacks. set of jacks for gold is going to show it and rake in another nice pot. And Jamie Gold has to be near the top of the chip counts right now on day one of the main event. Well over twice the starting stack. Every player starts with 60K. Shout out to REDM with a $10 donation. He says, about my favorite main event final table, I love the 08, I think. The one with Eastgate winning also loved Demidov. He says, also Aziz has a 1.1K profit on Sharkscope. Looks for, look for Aziz Mancha Actual Beast. Okay. Donnie, if it says 1.1KK plus, KK maybe a thousand times a thousand, okay. meaning a million? 1.1 million sure in profit? I think so. It's math. I'm not very good at math. But you're the foreigner here. You, you're the, supposed to help me out with this stuff. I I'm think. the dumb American. <laughs> you can still keep that title, Donnie. There's no problem. <laughs> uh, POV Pool, $10 donation, says, Thanks for the broadcast, guys. I stream Pool and Billiards on my channel, and I know how hard it is to do for hours on end. POV Pool, this is not hard. This is a labor of love. Could not be more excited to do this. Donnie and I are, are good to go for the next 14 days. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's been the energy. We got three reaction here once again. Ace, nine, four. Check. Two pair for Picasso from the big blind. Bet. Sorry. Raise, raises to 2,200. 24. 20, 24. 24. Yeah, a little check min raise here from Picasso. Artistic little raise here with the flopped two pair. Not much out there for gold. Let's see if he's going to take off a card here. Gold lets it go. And we're going to listen to an interview that Jeff Platt did with Farah Gelfond. All right, certainly a star-studded table here on the outer edges of the Horseshoe Event Center. I'm going to fit in one very quick question with Farrah Galfon so she doesn't miss a hand. This will be next up on stream. So you get plenty of all of these superstars. You cashed in the main last year. What do you think that taught you about what to expect this year? Uh, just to never give up because I was short yeah. very often the first three days last year. So um, thankfully, I haven't been below starting stack today. Um, that's a feat in itself. Um, <laughs> there you go. So we're off to a better start, but okay. um, yeah, just to never give up. Okay. No, go ahead. Sit down. Play the hand. We'll see, we'll see you guys plenty up on the main stage. Okay, fair. That was fun. <laughs>
Quick little update there on Farrah Gelfond. And uh, Jeff Platt just broke the news, Donnie. We're getting a new table. Okay. All right. The uh, Farrah Gelfond table is next up on our feature table. Switching it out in a couple minutes. As we dive straight back into the action here, Terpor raising it up with 5 4 suited. Wizzawadi calls with 10s. Ace Jack off the 3 better. Everyone is just willing to gamble here. We'll be back here after. You know, you can just come and have dinner with us. But we do want to film over there, so I don't know how you want to do it. Just think about it. we got five minutes. Sounds like we have about five minutes before our table switch. Just for those that are just tuning in, through the magic of the internet, we'll, we'll be able to cut out the break. So no 75-minute dinner break for you guys, the fans, or for Donnie and myself. We're going to put the Farrah Gelfond table on the live stream. We've been told Tony Dunst also at that table, and so is German high roller legend, Martin Finger. So we have an exciting table coming up. Wondering if we're gonna see a back shove here from Weasel Wadi. Doesn't have the deepest stack. 23,200 behind. There it is. Wow. Well called there, Donnie. Wizawadi moves all in for 24K, and the Sol Real quickly lets go of his ace jack. If you want to get into some action yourself, check out our, our free pick'em games at play.pc.com for a chance to win your share of $5,000 in prizes. Go check it out right now, play.pc.com. Debate is still going on in the chat about what the best final table was. 2007 also being referenced between Jerry Yang and Lee Watkinson's playoff. That one, that one was out of control. That might be the most insane final table. Philip Hilm, Lee the, Childs folds the queens. Philip Hilm melts down. Havad Khan. Oh man, that was. <gasps> and that was in the that was still in like the old final table set where like the. The crowd was like on top of the table pretty much. I mean, they were like three feet away. It was about as close as you and I are. It's unreal. I did a um, runner back with Remco with Spraggy, where we rewatched the entire 06 final table, and both of us had forgotten how epic it was. Yeah. And we were dying laughing. If you search on YouTube, run it back, Spraggy, you'll find it. It's absolutely hilarious. I think you find that a lot with the WSP main event final tables. You forget so much of them and then you rewatch them and they're just out of control <laughs> they're so good toledo raising it up with the king jack offsuit mitchell finding ace king in the small blinds his three bet is going to take this one down we're approaching the end of level three about to get, get into level four break after every level in the wsp main event every level two hours long Nice, slow, player-friendly structure in this one. Donnie, we don't do breaks, though. No breaks for us. Yes, no breaks for us. And also, no breaks for you out there, viewers. You're pinned to your screen. You're not allowed to leave. If you're catching us on YouTube, much love. We just hit 3,000 likes on the video. Like oh. I said, the record for the summer so far, 5,500. I have this feeling that we're going to break the record every day going Let's forward. Let's go. So 5,500 is the, is the benchmark. Let's see if we can get there. I'd be curious about tomorrow being the 4th and all. July 4th? I mean, listen, if you're at home, you got a barbecue going, <laughs> you got some fireworks on, you could throw the main event up on the screen, right? Exactly. I mean, there's fewer things more American than the World Series of Poker main event. True, true. <laughs> and uh, 4th of July only celebrated in one country, and we are live all over the world. Yo. By the way, if you're new to our YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Maybe during today's stream, we can hit 440,000 subs. We are only about 1,000 away from hitting that number. 
Queen You're good. Jamie Cold losing a small one after winning a big one versus Terrapore. Yeah, Jamie Gold still very, very healthy here. 2.5x starting. Yeah. And here come the racks. Back them up, guys. Go back to your original table for 11. Button's going to be in the sixth when y'all come back. <laughs> All right, players being instructed to return to their original table, meaning we are going to switch out the tables, bring Farrah Gelfond, Tony Wells, and Martin Eager to our feature table. We're going to chop out the entire dinner break. Just from a technicality perspective, it might take us a minute or two to get situated, but don't go anywhere. We are not taking an official break. We'll be back in just a minute or two with a new feature table. Wow. Internet magic. We are back in action. I held my breath, Donnie, during the entire <laughs> break just now. That was only 42 seconds. Love it. We had a 42-second break. Shout out to producer Aiden for running a tight ship behind the scenes. Our new table is underway, and we have quite the table here, Donnie. Lots of players to get familiar with, but also lots of players we already know. Oh, yes. Dewey Tomko, the legend in seat one. Uh, Alex water, Keating there, seat three. Farrah Galfond, who Jeff Platt recently spoke to, she's at this table. Got Tony Dunst there, rocking the jacket. And then Martin Finger. Okay. EPT champion Martin Finger? Absolutely. EPT oh, Prague. Yeah. Prague, one of the best stops on the European Poker Tour, for sure. Yes, 100%. Thank you. Uh, Martin Finger, 8 million in career tournament earnings. Crusher on the high roller scene. Sure also okay. winner of two EPT high rollers and a World Series of Poker bracelet. Winning the 3K6 Max back in 2013. Back then, Martin Finger beat Matt Stout, heads up. Matt Berkey finished third. David Pham finished fourth. Pardon me, man. Did I get a water? Yeah. If you're a big fan of breaks that are shorter than one minute, <laughs> this is the right stream for you. Dewey Tomko, by the way, Donnie, the legend himself. Oh, yes. An, an old friend of Doyle Brunson. Happy to see him back in the main event. Oh, yeah. It's great to see Dewey Tomko <laughs> back out here. Legend of the game. Been around for a while. Now resides in Florida. Don't see him out in Vegas here too often these days. But, of course, when we do, it's an absolute pleasure. Dewey Tomko, winner of three World Series of Boker bracelets. He won his first one in 1979, a $1,000 No Limit Hold'em event. Then followed it up in 1984, winning two bracelets, winning both the 10K No Limit Deuce and the 5K Pot Limit Omaha. He also has five runner-up finishes at the World Series of Poker. Of course, most notable, his main event runner-up finishes. Dewey Tomko finished second in the main event in 1982 and in 2001. Back in 82, his first second place finish to Jack Treetop Strauss. Barry Johnston and Dola Brunson also at that final table. And then in 2001, it was Carlos Mortensen who outlasted him. Dewey Tomko, legend of the game. Great to have him with us. Jay Gross with the $5 donation says, let's go Dr. Mike in C2. <laughs> that would be Michael Price, a surgeon out of California. Two kids, Brady and Kyle. Enjoys a little golf, enjoys a little fishing. Donnie, if you sign up for the main event on day 1A, and this is what you walk into, you're gonna be shaking your head for a couple hours. Sure. Table, they say table jaw can be everything in the WSP main event. Hey, 
Edgar. Oh, he does, right? right. If you're with us in the chat, let us know. Who's your favorite player at this table? I'm pretty sure that Farah, between Farah, Tony, and Dewey, we're going to have lots of support here. As uh, Dewey Tomko, sport of the Champions Club, Texas hoodie. Oh, yeah. Love me some action in Texas. Player Bokan with a $10 donation. Love to see it. I thought it was a good look. I thought it was a good look. I thought it was a good look. The towel? I thought he was coming yeah. from the pool when I first got here. <laughs> so what? I thought you were coming from the pool when you had that towel in here. <laughs> boxing, man. I just got done boxing. <laughs> Boy, you guys get old. Dunstan get Finger great. probably clashing lots already so far today in blind battles. If you are a top player, such as Dunst or Finger, it must be frustrating to not have many easy battles in the blinds. Of course, especially if you are Tony Dunst here, because out of position in most spots to Martin Finger, not the ideal situation on the early starting day of the WSP main event, but... One extra. Yeah. Anybody want to uh, get a yeah, red here? Check. It wouldn't be a real World Series of Poker table without a Swede at the table. Of course. Suarez, of course, with the best haircut. <laughs> the Swedes are always ready for well, camera action. Before, before yeah, yeah, how do I get that Swedish well, hair? Anton Suarez. <laughs> it was so cold outside. Suarez became known to many when the Party Poker Millions UK Nottingham back in 2020 for a million dollars. All right, I met my quota. Got it all in here. One Maloney. Five, every four levels. He's queen. Over the button raise from Tony Dunst. Getting it done. <laughs> Cliff Maloney goes by the nickname Flounder. Flounder. You know, if you're a Little Mermaid fan, you Flounder. He is a political campaign operative. That sounds extremely interesting. It sounds like he wears really dark <laughs> shades and black suits all day. 32 years old out of Sedalia, Missouri. His flounder, a.k.a. Cliff Maloney. Ace-8 versus Ace-8, one of my favorite clashes in all of poker, but... Maloney is going to let it go from the small line, and Suarez picks this one up. And then cuts down after a while. Just cuts down. Yeah. I think it's some, uh, uh, I think because they added certain things out or something like that. Do we play here the rest of the night or only a couple? It's the breaks. My guess Tony's is probably the, the rest of the night. You know, it's only two well, levels we got left. Four to go. I think the other group went six hours, right? Right. No, no, no. They were only here for the middle. Ah, so you never know. Really? Oh, okay. If we're boring, they will move yeah, us after a while. Well, that was the decision that they chose early. I hope so. Donnie, it's hilarious how Alex Keating is just hiding there behind his hat. He, of course, usually always sporting the massive beard. Yeah, beard's a little bit uh, trimmed down. Trimmed down this year for sure. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes Didn't me... did he put, like, Christmas tree lights in it one year or something <laughs> yeah, like that? He did. He did. But I feel bad now because we're hyping up Dewey Tomko, Martin Finger, Tony Dunst, Farrah Gelfond, completely forgetting about the fact that Alex Keating is also at this feature table. He has 2.6 million in career earnings. Covered him lots back in the day when I was still doing live reporting. Entertaining character. Doesn't, doesn't hold back both in his play and in his table talk. Yeah, I think Alex Keating plays a rather unconventional style of play, but it's fun. It's entertaining to watch. 
He's not scared to show his personality at the table, so could be in for a lively one here. Maloney flopping it. top pair here in position. He's going to get this one done with the bet on the flop. Keating, of course, had his biggest run in the main event back in 2016, finishing in 35th place. Got it. Thank you. Also cashed the main event last year, sneaking into the top 200. He's got that playing style, Don, that really works well in the main event, applying pressure at the right times versus recreational players. Yeah, I think his playing style works well generally in big field, no limit hold em tournaments, right? I think we covered him back in the day, years ago, at that the secret tournament at the M. Remember that oh, one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he made the final table there. Great. Kevin Stammen. <laughs> yeah. Stam Dog taking that one down when I was there. <laughs> Joe Gorman with a $10 donation. Love to see it. Thank you so much. We don't ask for anything. Thank you. Thank you. You don't have to donate at all. All we ask for you is just like the video, subscribe to the channel. Suarez here opens up the ace of five of spades, a.k.a. the Landon Tice special. Okay. Keating comes along with, from the big blind with two fours. Ace, ace, ten on the flop. Check from Keating. 800. Suarez bets 800 here. Call. Keating makes the call. Okay. Three of clubs on the turn. Four thousand. Check from Keating. Suarez sizes up this time. 80% pot, 4,000 into 5,000, and Keating gives it up. Suarez takes this one down. So are you completely out of the acting gig now? I mean, you're, does, this, does this bring back a little bit of that high playing? <laughs> How long is playing is enough of a high. Yeah. <laughs> Galfon here with a real premium, pocket nines. She, of course, as Jeff Lev mentioned, made a run last year in the main event, was short for most of that run, which you know, shows me that she has that patience necessary to grind it out in this tournament. Tony Dunst here, just going to make the call, taking the low variance approach with Ace-King offsuit. 3,500. Wow, we got a real clash on our hand as Dr. Mike Price, three bets from the button with Jax. Action back on Galfon. Galfon makes the call for 3,500 total. Dunst sizing up his opponent. Also comes with call. We've got a three-way action here, Donnie. Serious money in the middle. Oh, yes. Three very good hands here going to the flop. Ace, 10, deuce. Dunst taking the lead. Top pair, top kicker for him. Gelfond quick to fold after price bets 5,000. Donnie, if you're Tony Dunst here, calling and, and seeing future cards is the only right approach, right? Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty dry flop overall. I think calling is just fine. Okay. Keep some worse hands in, keep some bluffs in from your opponent if that's what he has. Check, check here on the turn. Ten of hearts hits on the river. Let's see if Dunce is going to do his own betting with 21,000 in the middle. Given the action pre-flop, that 10 pairing the board on the river, not really the scariest card for you. You know, I mean, how many 10s is Price going to have? Three betting pre-flop. Price, of course, concerned about the overcards here. Dunst here comes with a hefty 12,500. This one full here from Price. Yep, Dr. Mike gives it up. With surgical precision? I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Tony Dunst, Donnie. And a conservative approach like we saw from Dunst just now, not three betting when it's raised before him, you know, not getting into any additional trouble, not blowing up the pot. That is what we'll see a lot of pros do here in the early goings of the main event.
yeah, I think that that was, you know, a, a nice exercise in that conservative play from Dunst there. Having played with a bit of, with Tony a bit around town in some various events, I will tell you that he is certainly capable of getting it in with Ace King or worse pre-flop. That said, obviously much different tournaments than the World Series of Poker main event where it's so long. Chip preservation is of a little bit more importance here. Don't want to go ballistic on day 1A. Don't need to. Martin Finger here raising with Queen 10 off. Eric Galfond makes the call out of the big blind. She's got 8 6 off. King, Queen, 10. Two pair for finger in position. Check, 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 check. This one went check, check on the flop. Nine on the turn. Check, check again. Four completes the board on the river. This board void of any flush possibilities, but if any player's holding a jack, they would have a straight here. Galfon recognizing she's likely not gonna win at showdown, so she's gonna bet here and try and take this one down. A Little bit of an over bet here from Galfon. 4,500 into 3,300. Finger gives it up. Look at that. Good wow. recognition there from Galfon. Willingness to pull the trigger. Well done. Much quieter feature table right now, but we do have quite a few notables here at this feature table if you're just tuning in. This is day 1A of the main event. We had Jamie Gold for the early goings. If you missed that, you can always skip back and Rewatch some Jamie Gold action. He picked up quite a few good hands, so it was entertaining to watch. Gold now playing at his table out in the field. And we're serving you up this table for the remainder of the night, I believe. Anybody else think that looks like the fun? So much. Every hand, I'm like, oh, I'm under the gun. I'm under the gun. <laughs> what is it? Advertising? Yeah, it's one of the, sure. the Stormax logo. Like mm. <laughs> the Stormax logo has been confused for the button before. Paul Hardy says, "I vote for a Poker Go Toledo Cam, following following him to each table he plays at." I'm texting Jeff Platt right now to give us a Toledo update. Hopefully Great. we can facilitate that later on in the night. Jeff Platt is on the case. He's going to try to get us a Toledo update later in the night. I like it. And that's the beauty of the main event. We're just trying to follow storylines, develop storylines, and figure out who's going to ultimately take home the, I mean, I want to say the most over-the-top bracelet of the whole year, but it's also the most exciting one to see handed out. I mean, it's the most over-the-top title. I mean, oh, yeah. there's nothing better. Get your banner in here, get to take home many millions of dollars. 
AK Cash with the five dollar donation says asks is Colin Moshman playing? I don't know. I mean, this is the, the needle in a haystack. Maybe text him and ask. <laughs> I can't really uh, confirm any of that until we get later on into the tournament. Galfon here coming in with a raise. Pocket sevens. She's out of the cutoff seat, made it 1,200 to go. Tony Dunst attacking from the small blind, a three bet to 4,200 with king 10 of clubs. Galfon gives it up. Dunst takes this one down. Abraham Webb sending us a tweet saying, Dewey Tomko was number one on Boker's all-time money list at one point. That's a fun little fact. Thanks for sharing. Keating here with the raise, queen 10 off, makes it 1k, 2x raise. Dunce is coming along from the button, pocket fours. Maloney in the big blind, makes the call as well. He's got 9-6 off, three ways here, going to a flop, 3,800 in the middle. Check dark from Maloney as Tony Dunst flops a set, or sorry, a full house, and Keating flopping trip tens. Wow, here we go. Absolute monster clash brewing here. Keating, of course, not drawing dead with trips here, but in a lot of trouble versus Tony Dunst. And after Maloney checked dark, Keating also checked here, playing a little bit coy with these three tens. Dunst betting his full house in position. Those look like raisin chips, Remco. Raise. That is indeed a raise. 4,700. 4, Donnie, if you're Tony Dunst here, your hand is so incredibly strong. How do you proceed? I think the best option is to just call. That is what we see Tony do. Tony, very studied. You know, of course, he is a poker commentator, but also plays a ton online. Studies a lot. Also, if you're Keating, I mean, you're probably feeling pretty good overall about your hand too, you know. Check raise on the flop, gets called. We'll see if he wants to continue barreling here. Fifty-five. is 5,500. Keating bets less than half the pot, Donnie. Is that an invitation to Tony Dunst? I mean, we know Tony's not going anywhere. I mean, but is it an invitation to raise, perhaps? I mean, it could be. You could take one off here and entice your opponent to put more money in the pot. River card is the five of hearts. Tony Dunst, full house, ends up being the best hand. Keating had some outs going to the river card, but they don't come in. Probably the only hand that Tony is ever going to really be worried about here is 10-9. Not sure pocket nines are check raising this flop from <coughs> Keating. 10-9 could certainly be one of those hands where Keating comes in with a raise and then opts to check raise on the flop and take a more aggressive approach from there. How strong look? How strong does Tony Dunn's look in the eyes of Keating? You have six reds? Five. Is that five reds? What if Keating just rips this? I mean, <laughs> Tony Dunn started the hand with 49,000. That's 37,000 still in front of him. Eighteen. Eighteen thousand. Player says eighteen thousand. 
18,000 is the bet. Is the hand that Keating has exactly what Dunst expects him to have at this point in the in the hand? A 10 combo? I mean, it, it's in the range for sure. This is the longest <laughs> tank we've seen all in, so far. All in. Wow, Tony Dunst moves all in on the river here. I was just going to say Keating thinking for over a minute before betting and letting go right away when Tony Dunst moves it's all in. <laughs> what a huge pickup here for Tony Dunst. <laughs> Quick discipline fold on the river though from Alex Keating. It took just six seconds to throw those into the muck. Yeah, I think that was a situation where Keating we, you know, we saw him, we heard him size up the stack of Tony Dunst, and he probably made the decision, okay, I'm going to bet the amount that I bet. He ultimately decided on 18,000, and if Tony ends up shoving, I'm going to fold. That's my plan of attack here. So no need to uh, yeah, tank on the river. He made his decision, you know, kind of game. before he bet, and <laughs> stuck with it and made a good, disciplined fold there. Yeah, so Keating basically taking an extra time before betting himself, going over possible scenarios that might be a result of his bet. Yeah, I mean, a, you know, a question to you probably want to ask, or one of the questions you always want to ask when you do bet is, how do I respond to a raise? It's going to be my action, as opposed to your opponent raising, and then you're like, oh, wh what? I didn't expect you to do that, you know? Right. But still, you know, disciplined fold from, from Keating there, you know? Got away from it and got there away from go, it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Bob Whalen yeah. picking up a pot. He's been referred yeah, to in the chat. As Larry Bird, Donnie. Like Larry Bird, years. lucky Larry Bird, okay. Pop Whalen, our short stack at the table with 35 big blinds. Eh? Whalen, 65. He's retired, lives in Henderson, Nevada. Our stomping grounds. Exactly. You know? he's, well, he's our neighbor. Our neighbor. You know, he's got three kids. He's married and he enjoys golf. So we got a couple golfers at the table. Pop Whalen looks like a golfer. Looks like he enjoys hitting those wins, so. And in 2008, Mr. Whalen, 79th place finish in the WSP main event. Call. Good luck, sir. Same to you, sir. I'm going to need it. <laughs> We got Maloney versus Whalen here. It's <coughs> six three. Rainbow. Whalen checks. Maloney in position with middle pair. Backdoor spades. That's twelve hundred and takes it down. And here's a look at our current Dream Seed promotion. We're sending three annual Pokego subscribers to play in our BGT Championship. If you're not already an annual subscriber, you have to do so right now. Use promo code DREAM30 to save $30 on your annual subscription. You'll be automatically entered into our raffle to win a seat into our year-ending festivities. Oh, yes. And if you're interested in the rules on the Dream Seat giveaway, just head on over to PokerGo.com slash rules. Okay. All of our promotional rules are listed there. You'll be able to check them out. Galfon here coming in with a raise. Ace King. Seen a lot of Ace Kings so far today. Finger calls in position. Eight, seven of clubs. Keating in the big blind with a nine do suited. He's going to be in there as well. Three ways. <laughs> King, Jack, six, one diamond, one club, and top pair, top kicker for Farrah Galfon. Keating checks. Can I have some water? Galfon bets 3,100. Both players fold, and she takes it down. The, uh, Fast action continues, Remco, you know? Yeah. I, I, that that last table must have talked to this table on the way in and out, you know? I mean, like, hey, you guys, keep, keep the play moving along. That's what the people like to see. Yeah, they probably told them that viewership is high. We've got to keep these people entertained. Let's keep the hands going. 
course, WSB main event is a long grind. No need to stretch <coughs> yourself out with long decisions in the early goings here. As one of the guest chatters in PokerGo chat says, the vibe is more South Point nightly than the main event, Donnie. Yeah, I like it, you know? Friendly atmosphere, kind of like a home game early on. Yeah, crap, Talking a little bit, problem. splashing around, yeah, playing yeah, fast, you know? Crap. Well, there's one big mistake that I've <laughs> picked up on already, Donnie. What's that? Nobody yeah, is asking yeah, Dewey Tomko yeah, to tell here. stories about how <laughs> poker was back in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, if I, if I, uh, if I sat down with one of the legends of the game, I would be picking their brain for some stories, you know, to tell them to dig deep, give us some stuff. Hey, Dewey, how about Stu Unger? And then just, you know, hoping that Dewey Tomko has a good story to share. Of course, Donnie and I are big nerds and poker history fans. What you bring up there reminds me of a tweet from Lance Bradley, who donated early, earlier today, said, if you could guarantee you'd make day two, this is in reference to the WSB main event, which player would you want to play for the duration of day one with? Wow. He said his pick would be Nick Shulman. I think Dewey Tomko would be somebody that's in there. I would 100% pick an old school player and just pick their brain on stories from the Sorry, past. Can you under there? Yep. Uh, might, might, even, might even ask Todd Brunson. Okay. It's a good name, too. Todd Brunson would be a good one for sure. Know. He's seen a lot. Every time I've seen Harry Green, an old timer, in the, in the tournaments, he's always talking, telling some great stories. President of Poker Go, Maury Escondani, would probably be right up there with everyone. I mean, Maury's told some of us stories, you know, and they're incredible. Because Maury came up, you know, people don't know. Yeah. Maury is the this president is awesome. of Poker Go, you know, a famous producer within the industry, yeah. Poker Hall of Famer, all that sort of stuff. But he came up through the 70s, know, 80s, you know, school, school, with all these guys. Came back for relationship Helped open the Bellagio Poker Room, all that sort of stuff. So he's got plenty, plenty of stories to tell. Catching the back end there of the conversation between Tony Dunst and Martin Finger. Dunst Clients saying he won his seat online. California climate and everything. He did. I actually saw that the other day when I opened up the WSP.com client. Every once in a while, you know, I check the satellite to see who's won them. I saw Panoramic in there. That's Tony Dunst's online name. Sort of like my. Oh, so pretty close to Bondi. Why'd you ever leave? I guess it's winter down there right now, so. I guess Martin Singer, a resident of a neighborhood close to Bondi Beach in Sydney. Meanwhile, Dewey Tomko gets involved, flops a set. The last deuce remaining in the deck. Dr. Price with ace-deuce suited. Waylon with a flush draw, too. Backdoor straight flush draw. I thought it was a little better. <coughs> yeah. Dr. Dr. Price is going to get out of the way here. Oh, wow. Wow. Here we go. Waylon check raises all in for 15-8. Tomko is going to make the call here. We get an all-in showdown. Tomko with a pretty good hand as Waylon sees the set. Waylon's going to need a diamond to survive here. Tomko, a big favorite going to the turn. Turn card. The five of spades, seven outs here for Whalen. He's gonna need to hit that diamond. River card, seven of hearts. That's not gonna do it. Bob Whalen eliminated from the main event on day number one. And Dewey Tomko quietly breaking in a big pot here. It's our third elimination in feature table action today, which seems like we're running pretty hot in that regard to see the action that we have seen so far. Dewey Tomko now up approaching 90,000 in chips. Right, it really did. Tony Dunst, of course, used to live in Australia himself for yep. quite some time. I think he eventually got kicked out because he <laughs> overstayed his visit. <laughs> uh, Nathan says 
Billy Baxter for the stories told in the Serapy Southern Drawl. <laughs> That's a very good one, yes. Right. Thanks for the $5 do donation, the, Nathan. Uh, at best, we'll be home a few times a year. Right. I feel like yeah. syrupy southern drawl <laughs> is like one of those uh, tongue twisters. I, that I didn't. I was in the process of getting permanent really residency, which is kind of the like, get a foreigner like myself caught up before you get full blown citizenship. So did they deny you or um, The the relationship didn't work out. That I that oh, I applied I with a partner. So. Donnie, we almost lost Tony Duns for good if he had stayed in Australia. <laughs> I think we would have seen plenty of Tony Duns. Sandy Sanchez says, Tony doubles, and now he wants to talk. Oh, well, you know, like talking that, chips. That's how it goes, right? man. That's how it goes. Richard Storr asking if the main is a freeze out. Yes. I mean, thank God. Otherwise, we'd be here for three weeks. <laughs> Three? We'd be here for way longer. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh my God. Re entry into two levels into day two, Where's people putting six bullets in this thing. <laughs> We'd be here forever. Oh my God. <laughs> I saw someone in the chat saying that, that that we are editing the play right now because it's been going so fast. We're not. But it's not, it's just live. This is actually <laughs> as live as it can be, of course, on a delay for the integrity of the game. But yes, there is no editing happening right now. Donnie and I are coming at you with the action live. Good recognition here from Tony Dunst on this turn, taking it down with a bet. Dunst having an extremely good level so far. There is now. Yeah, WPT Global. What I was saying about Tony Dunst earlier is if you look up his online graph on WSP.com, it's incredible. It's like just straight up. Wow. Has to be one of the biggest winners on that site when it comes to tournaments. He's always grinding the tournaments. I, I know even this summer, like, there's obviously a lot of stuff going on around Las Vegas, most importantly here at the World Series of Poker, but Dunst's been playing a ton online. Some of them are also playing a ton of tennis, too. It's a, it's a good life to lead. Legal in, but I just can't remember. It's just tough with all the Europe limitations. Kind of like the states. Yeah. State, state. Laws a little bit different. Yeah, like a lot of Americans have no idea what states it's actually legal in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, we're Let's go back to Jeff. Come on, let's let's get back. Let's get Jeff back in the fold here. Sound fixed. Hopefully, the sound is fixed as Jeff Platt is out on the floor to give us some more updates. Well, this hand might take a little while because we priced it limp in here with the fours. And Suarez is going to attack with a raise in position. Ace six off. No thanks. Good hand. Price gives it up, and uh, sounds like it's Jeff Platt time. Yeah, I was going to say, I just want to hear what Jeff Platt has to say. All right, Matt Burke, you hit us up on Twitter. You said you have to chat with one of the chip leaders in this tournament out of Japan. Shota Nakanishi, stand up for me, please. Thank you very much. How did you get so many chips? I don't know. <laughs> How much fun are you having here at the World Series of Poker main event? How much? How much sorry? fun? Fun? fun. Oh, very, very fun. Very, very of fun. Of course. <laughs> Matt Berkey, good <laughs> poker player or bad poker player? Matt Berkey is? Yes. Is he good or is no? He's bad. <laughs> See, he's bad. That's how okay. <laughs> fish, big fish. <laughs> Thank you. Big fish. <laughs> big fish. <laughs> we got to close on that. Thank you very much. Good luck in the tournament, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, that is the main event energy that I'm looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, Shota Nakaishi. Just just pencil that name in, final table. Chip well, leader, chip leader here. winner. $10,000 short deck at the 2022 WSP. He beat Ben Lamb in that one. Ben Lamb second, Brian Rass third, Sean Winter fourth, Stephen Chidwick fifth. I mean, 
Jota Nakanishi coming out on top on that. $277,000 for the Japanese player. An example of an extremely international crowd here. We have in the WSU main event and for the World Series of Poker in general. Players from all over the world. The Colossus. Please uh, spam your fishes in the chat because Matt Burke is confirmed. Big fish. The sources say, and our sources, Nakanishi, Matt Burke is a fish. Big fish. Matt, Matt, listen, Matt, if you're listening, Remco and I didn't say it. That came yeah, from it was a great tournament. Nakanishi. Yeah, I'll repeat it, though. Yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah, we can like, him. Buy that's allowed, that's a fair game. There it is, the chat is full of fish. <laughs> Oh man, I love it. Joni Boy saying, Nakaishi is having fun, and fun is what it's all about. Eric saying, 1,080 entries so far on 1A of the main event. I hope you have good sources, Eric, because 1,080 would be a great start. That's insane if that's true. Could someone confirm that for us? That'd be great. We are in the dark as far as total uh, entries. Flounder? That's right. My well, real name's Cliff, but okay. <laughs> Flounder's uh super cute nickname. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get it? Uh, some guy once told me, he said, you know, I like you, but you're a fish. He said, and my favorite fish is Flounder. And then it just stuck. <laughs> 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 like, hey. I mean, what, was it a compliment or was it not? Not, yeah, not really. No, not at all. <laughs> it's, it's better than fish, <laughs> right? It's tricky with nicknames. You never know what's going to stick and why. Flounder. I think it's a pretty good one, to be honest. Most people think it's a Little Mermaid okay. reference, and then it's like, you know, or uh, was there I a thought it was a Little, little Mermaid. mermaid? Yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah, that's a little fish, fish sidekick. Yeah. I can tell you have a kid, Donnie. Tony Dunst doesn't know there's Flounder and Little Mermaid. I mean, he's like the second star. I've never yeah. watched Little Mermaid, so. Well, you're not American. They have it in the Netherlands. I know, too. but I feel like it'd be more of an American thing. If I had kids, I'd probably watch more Disney movies. Meanwhile, Ace Queen versus Ace Jack. This board is developing quite interestingly. Nine, of course, makes it straight right now. Check. Price, top pair, top picker. Keating hits a pair of jacks on the turn here. Action goes check, check. Let's see the river card. It is the five of hearts. Price with the winning hand here. He's going to bet 5,000. Main hand? I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. I wouldn't like to. I think we both played the last time. Do you think two pairs made hand? Quite a bit of a deep uh, line somewhere. It's, it's it's some some Was it in Australia? Possibly? No, I don't think so. Yeah, you can beat two here? Huh? You can beat Did two here. Did you No, not at all. You were day two? I feel like we played day two. I mean, I, I bought in on day two, and I played for <laughs> two, three hours. That's what I remember. Yeah. You it's the day two buy -in. <laughs> No, I think we did. I'm you sure you didn't miss your flush draw? I'm, I'm positive. I'm trying to think what the room it was. was. It was in the neighboring room yeah. over yeah. there. Yeah, there was a big, long line for everybody yeah. to get in. Right. Good point. Wow, look at Keating. Saving himself a few thousand chips here on the river. Price not lying. Yeah, I had a fun trip. Telling the yeah, truth. Yeah, that's right. So I played oh, yeah. 1100 at the beach. And that was all I was going to play. Well, I have Once again, let me remind you, you we are trying to get <laughs> 500,000 <laughs> YouTube subscribers. So if you're watching this right now and you're not a YouTube subscriber, please hit that subscription <laughs> button. Now and like the video five. while you're at it. Jesus. We are streaming day catch, one like 30, for free 40, yeah. on both Poker Go and YouTube before we move on and go exclusive. Uh, check out twitter.com slash poker go. The tweet is pinned right now of our streaming schedule during the main event. Gives you an idea of structure you know, when to pretend you like, still like you're not available to left. your significant other or perhaps 320. 320th, okay. put your phone on silent. The first year I played this was the year they broke the record in 06. And I busted just under 200th. And it was like 
day four. Really? Yeah, it think like back then it just kind of flew by faster. Yeah. I don't know why or how. Fifty five hundred. See that's how big it was, but. Tony Dunst has been in the main event, like he said, like since 2006. Yeah, yeah. But, but I'm back ask. here grinding away, like barely getting many caches. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. Three match here between Price and Keating potentially. Share in common that their first experience with gambling was having or, or witnessing like a win or yeah. like an exciting win or something. I don't know if that's actually true, but it kind of makes, makes a certain a kind of sense. Of sense. Yeah. Price lets it go, and Keating picks up this pot without showdown. <laughs> yeah, I didn't ask if he would tell the truth. I thought enough people told the truth. There's no, there's no rule we have to tell the truth, is there? Donnie. Tara Harrison it's says, no watching poker is low-key, mellow yeah. fun, more than online dating for sure. <laughs> there, there are That's great. Tara, I hope you're a subscriber. We got a lot more online poker, or so we got a lot more poker streaming coming at you to... Um, prevent you from having to do more online dating. Okay. Put that all on hold for two weeks or so. Action folds over to Dr. Price on the button. He's going to limp in with pocket fours. Keating happy to play a multi-way hand there from the small blinds. Farrah Gelfon checks her option, and we're going to see 10A deuce two hearts on the flop. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen. Price is going to bet the flop. Keating quickly gets out of the way. Action now back to Gelfon. Here's a gut shot to the straight, backdoor flush draw. Farrell has to go, and Price takes this one down. Ian Gonzalez says, sometimes I forget they pay $10,000 to play. Watch them laughing and having fun makes it look like a $100 tourney. It's it's actually quite incredible how quickly you distance yourself from the buy-in once you're in the event. Of course, many players will have some jitters as the event gets going. But pretty quickly, for the most part, whenever I talk to players, as soon as cards are in the air, as soon as you, you know play with your chips, it just feels like any other tournament. I think it's probably for the best that you're not reminded of the buy-in every orbit. Keating and Suarez going at it here. Keating gets 1,000. Suarez makes the call with the pair of nines. Turn is the ace of hearts improving Keating's hands. That's 4,000, and Suarez is going to kick his hand into the muck. Shout out to everyone in the chat. So much love. So much positive vibes going on. This, of course, only the beginning. Only day 1A of the main event. Let us know in the chat, by the way. Who would you want to see make the final table this year? Give, me, give us some names. Drop some names of your favorite players. I didn't know the history of I read Gould's 
Personally, the only thing I care about is seeing a woman make the main event final table. That would be amazing. Chat is going hard with lots of suggestions. Ivy, James Ops, people even want to see Martin Cabrell at the final table of the main event. Oh boy, would that be controversial. Ivy and Helmut says the situation. Huh? We played together in 2003? You don't, you don't look that old. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say yeah, a bit earlier, you. you said you couldn't hear, so you no, just smile. Uh, I'm guessing. <laughs> Tom wow. Getting enough. some people on the rail, well, telling no. some stories, but it's hard to hear even for us. Meanwhile, Keating raising it up with A6 of spades. Gelfont yeah. finds Ace Queen offsuit. She's going to put in a three bet. Action back on Keating, who's looking over at Galfon's stack to see how deep this hand is going to be played at. Both players around 150 big blinds, so plays a bit like a cash game at this point. Here's the flop, 2-5-2. Two hearts. She goes check, check quickly. King of clubs on the turn. <coughs> Again, Keating is going to check. Let's see if Galfon uses this king to represent some strength. Galfon bets 3,000. Keating lets it go. And Fair Galfon is going to take this pot down. Cool. All right. Thank you. A few references in the chat to. This table not Welcome being in. as exciting as yeah. the previous one. I mean, that's just how it goes sometimes. The action in the main event sometimes sure. is a little slower in the beginning. It's a long grind. Players, of course, not willing to risk their stacks on just any kind of hand. Hey, Kyle. Nice to meet you. How you doing, buddy? Kyle, I'm flounder. Take it easy on me. <laughs> All right, we got Kyle Frey joining us. Okay. He's not self -proclaimed. Perfect man. That guy. That guy for Clayton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's owning it, though. Uh, you opposite of self -proclaimed. They call it much worse. <laughs> Believe me. Kyle Frey, $689,000 in career tournament earnings. Very consistently Very nice. cashing Very nice. across the USA. His biggest result, an eighth place finish in a 3K no limit event back in 2012. Back then he cashed for $68,000. Okay. David P says, how do the announcers keep up with the chat? Well, we try to, you know, I'm not saying that we are doing a perfect job here but we try to keep up with the chat we try to make this a fun and engaging live stream we got 14 days of this action Donnie and I are lucky enough to call the action on our free streams to kick the action off but then of course the real professionals Lama Karen and Norman Chad are going to be on the call for the later stages of this event we're going to get a few night shifts as well with Ali Najad and Nick Shulman 
And all in all, this is the Super Bowl of Poker. And if you are a fan of the game, for the next two weeks, all you have to do is check us out. You're going to want to fly that one. Pokergo.com. Huh? You're going to want to fly that one. Yeah, it's three decks. It's going to go for a get out of heat for a couple of days. Eight hours at the top of it, right? It's another hour from Reno. Take Jet Suite X. Huh? Big one. Okay, someone closer to him, tell him what I'm saying. Yeah. Jet, Jet Suite, Suite X. What's that airline? Kind of a, oh, you, you go out of the yeah, private terminal. Yeah, but it's like the price of Southwest. Where are you yeah. going, man? Reno. Reno? Okay. Yeah. Well, I might even go into Tahoe, I don't know. Well, same, thanks. Yeah. These are very hard. You're welcome. Finally, we're getting the, the, yeah, the DL on uh, private jets. Nice. Jet Suite X, have you used it before? I have not. I've heard it's pretty cheap. I flew a private jet one time. Wow. To Gary Gates' wedding in Mexico. It was not cheap. I mean, it was cheap for me because it was free, but I know the person who got the private jet. They paid full price. Okay. <laughs> and now you don't want to fly anywhere else anymore because you cannot be on the private jet? I mean, it was it was... It was fun. I mean, the short flight, it was like two and a half hours or so. Um, the best part about that experience was the fact that we went to like the business airport or whatever. You look, you just roll up, you walk inside, you show them your passport and you go. Meanwhile, an expensive clash potentially here between Farrah Galfon and Dewey Tomko. Ace King versus Ace Queen on an ace high board. Galfon with the best of it, nine of diamonds on the turn. Recap in the action here, Tomko just called from the big blind after Galfon raised. Tomko again coming with call on the flop when Galfon met 3,000. She's, she might go for three streets of value here. Five, 5,000 is the bet on the turn here. Tomko heavily underrepresenting his hand, Donnie. Oh, yes. If Tomko does call here, I'll be interested to see the approach. Wow. Look at the old school legend giving it up, flashing the ace. Look at that. Wow, Dewey Tomko. Still, gets, still got still it. Still got it. Gets away. Oh, look at that. Wow, you're good. I have ace king. <laughs> That's a good way to do a relay. Relay to work to it. We got to take it. No, no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you laid the game. Oh, okay. Let me see if I start over. Yeah, we all. Wow, what a legend. You guys have to go all the way around. It's all done. I mean, it's a great fold, you know? Jason Nelson with a $10 donation on YouTube. Thank you so much. He says, thanks for the great coverage. Where do you guys watch the action from? Same place as Lon and Norm. No, we're not that fancy. <laughs> Donnie and I are basically in the basement. Oh, yes. I mean, there's boxes of stuff. There's bags. There's old poker table over here. I mean, you're not lying. The TV boxes behind me. I mean, we're, like, we're pretty much in the basement. We are in the basement. <laughs> No well, place we'd rather be. I must have done something bad to that guy. I remember you in 2003. You did. You cored him. You cored him. Absolutely. That's why I remember you. If he'd have put one on you, you'd remember it. The table is getting a bit chattier, which we love to see. Galfon, meanwhile, raising it up again, finds pocket tents right after taking some money from Dewey Tomko. Tomko, meanwhile, involved again as well. Ace five of hearts on a two heart flop with a five. Some nice prospects here for the poker legend. Check raising to 15,000 and Galfond letting go of her overpair. I told you what I had the last hand. Looks as though Tomko flashed <laughs> that ace five of hearts. 
lot of chatting, a lot of sharing. Even if Galvan had seen the Ace Five of Hearts before making her decision, she probably still would not want to gamble against the pair in a flush draw. That's a tricky spot for sure. Was that M Casino tournament in 2003, or when was that? <laughs> it was like 10 years ago. So. Like, yeah. I don't think M Reference out. there for Alex Keating's run at that tournament over at the M Casino. Not great. I, I didn't find the table there. Sometimes referred to as the secret tournament in Las Vegas. Remco and I were there for some coverage of that one. Crazy. That was a good one. Galfon coming in with a raise here to 1200 with pocket deuces. Suarez with the queen jack of clubs makes the call. Dunst, three betting in position, jack 10 of diamonds. Galfon folds. Suarez gives it up. Dunst takes it down that time. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Dale. Appreciate it. Or how goes it? Okay. Okay. Ask me in about three hours. <laughs> this is day 1A coverage here of the World Series of Poker main event. All signs point to this being a record setting WSP main event. My name is Donnie Peters. I'm joined by Remco Rinkima. Stepped out for a minute. He stepped out. We're at 3,700 likes on YouTube. Let's see if we can get to 4,000 likes on the video before Remco comes back. Anybody here like the video, hit that thumbs up if you are watching on YouTube. We appreciate no, you guys Nobody. watching from all over the world. We know we got a very <laughs> international <laughs> audience out there. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, yeah. Uh, I mean, I played cards at that time. I look like the fourth I am getting old. oldest, but I'm probably the youngest at the table. How old, How old are you? 91? What? You think you're the... No, I was going to say, these guys all look younger than me. 91 youngest? Younger yeah. than me? Yeah, I'm, you're for sure. The I'm 33. 90? Wait, what's the 90? I got one card here. I know. Oh, so. you're doing? You're right. You're doing right. One more coming. Right? And then yeah. go. One yeah. more for him? No, no, but he got his first one after I got my second one. So something was wrong. Took you his, stole one of his he cards. He took his card by accident. He took one of his cards by accident. Players trying to figure out who has no, these cards here. Whatever you want to do. Misdeal it. Might just end up being a misdeal. Okay, just misdeal. Of course, can't forget our subscribers over on Poker Go, Aspiring Poker Pro, Biden, Quenched, Dean Resin, Holly D, Phoenix, TTD, Benny Biscuits, I Love Ducks. See you guys out there. Thank you for tuning in, as always. Doug W, Artist Z. No, not in this. No, I'm when did, when did oh, you my first time playing the main. Yeah. This is my fifth one. Fifth one. <laughs> How long have you been playing? 06. You played the first one in 06? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jamie close. Gold year. Yeah. You're close. You almost got the 2 3. Almost. <laughs> Raised to 1200. He was here before us. What did they feature? Galpon coming Gold. in yeah, here again with yeah. another raise. Queen Walking 10 of spades for her. Suarez yeah. calling right behind her with pocket threes. Time flies. If you ever gone on YouTube and watched Poker like, and Brown Sox, I see you too. I got the, you. It's the best. Yeah. I got G soft 2015, yeah, I got 2017, <laughs> sorry. He's Full just house, telling people what he has there. for an hour and nobody believes him. Not one person. Price calls on the button with King <laughs> Queen of Diamonds. <laughs> Alex Keating in there from the small blind with 10 nine of hearts. Yeah. And Frey, it that is Kyle Frey, who has joined us. Like not from him, from Frey. Everybody else, call as yeah. well. Five yeah. way really action <laughs> to the flop here. Ace, king, jack, two hearts, one diamond. Keating flopping a heart draw. Price has a pair of kings. With a backdoor royal flush draw. Straight for Galfond on the flop. She flops Broadway. 
Frey and Suarez missed completely. Keating and Frey checked. Galfon bet 7,000 here. Fold. After Suarez folded, actually moved to price. He also gives it up. Keating here has the flush draw. Remco's back. Remco, I asked him to get the 4,000 likes before you came back, and they delivered. Oh, wow. The chat delivered. Love to see it. Yeah, I had oh. to top up my caffeine a little bit. There you go. So Keating's going to make the call here. Kyle Frey gets out of the way. Eight of diamonds on the turn. A card that Keating may think gives him some additional outs here. Going. But instead, it's additional trouble, potentially. Oh, yes. Galfon still with the nuts. Yeah. 18,000 is the bet from Galfon. Action back on Keating. He's got some good outs and some bad outs. Oh, yes. The hearts are good. That's seven, not so good. <laughs> what are you playing? Keating has been put in some tough decisions, tough situations here ever since joining the feature table. Yeah, I was just going to say that. We'll see if he can correctly figure this one out or if he can find a heart on the river. One or the other will work for Keating there. Keating does make the call, committing a large portion of his chips here to this pot. Galfon, of course, well ahead, but still, Hart's working for Keating if he can hit one. River card is the queen of clubs, and all of a sudden we're looking at a chop here, and no, I don't like chop pots. <laughs> I want to see blood. Now, there is no flush possibility in this hand, so can't imagine either player folding this one. 56,500 in the middle, both players sized to get all the money in here on this river. Just a matter of who's going to be the one doing the shoving. Twenty nine thousand is the bet from Keating. A little posturing here from Galfond. Both players, of course, have the nuts. All in. All in. Calls. Not so lucky. Right. Right. After flopping the nuts, Keating rivers the same hand. All right, let's see what Jeff is up to. Come on, Jeff. Give us something good. All right, he is the host, or, or maybe co-host, of High Noon. I don't know if you guys have talked about that before. Ryan DiPaolo is here. I'm going to send you back to the table because they're about to do a hand. But first, are you prioritizing the World Series of Poker Main Event over High Noon? Because I didn't see you on the show today. Uh, for today, yeah, unfortunately. I don't, no comment. I plead the no fifth. Okay. Oh, Plead the fifth, go play a hand, and we'll check in with okay, you. Okay, we'll check in, I want to shout out to my table. There's been no Euros all day, and, and a no, guy at my table when I sat down did reconnaissance. He was like, no Euros were good, and it's been sick. Everyone's, like, looking right before it's on them folding. Okay. Just want to clarify that we have a lot of respect for our European players. <laughs> Remco, back to you. <laughs> speaking, of, <laughs> speaking of Euros... I am one myself, and I do take offense to that, actually. Wow. Yeah, Europeans, especially looking at Suarez, bringing the good haircuts, wearing the nice cologne, generally bringing some fashion to the table. 
I mean, that's the best looking white tee I've ever seen. And I, I mean that seriously. It's extremely clean. That looks like an expensive white t-shirt. Of course. It's probably Tom Ford or something. Yeah. You can tell by the way, it, you know, it's got the cuts on it. Shout out to Jeff Klatt delivering the heat from the tournament room. He's going to be with us for the duration of the main event. What's that? Love those little sideline interviews. Hope you guys enjoy those as well. I got to give a shout out too. This is a selfish one. Shout out to my wife at home. She says she listens. She's like, I never get a shout out. What? She's holding down the fort at home. She's watching the kid. My fiance, my parents just got into town. Great. Shout out to all of everyone. This morning, my fiance said, I was in the chat during the ladies event and you didn't even <laughs> see me. <laughs> you and I are both going to be sleeping here in the basement pretty soon. I took a bit of heat for that. <laughs> I took a bit of heat for that. Good luck, sir. Thank you. Same to you. Good play. Same to Tomko. And I'm going to need it. <laughs> Flounder going this at it first here. first series? Yeah. <laughs> Same with him in 2003. <laughs> Donnie, look at this. A set for Maloney and Tomko with top pair, top kicker. Six. Let's see if Maloney can find a way to extract value from Tomko, whose reads have been really, really sharp so far at this feature table. Maloney just check calls the 3,000 chip bet. Checks, on the dark. Checks blind on the turn. Checks on the dark. Nine of spades hits. Action back on Tomko. Check in the dark, huh? Wow. Look at this. Dewey Tomko puts Maloney all in for twice the size of the pot. Maloney snaps it off with a set of eights, and Tomko <laughs> drawn dead here, going to the river. Wow. That's hand flatter. Thank that you. got out of hand real quick. Oh, yes. Tomko verifying twice that his opponent checked in the dark. Then he pulled the trigger. River card there. adding Almost insult close. to injury, <laughs> giving Tomko top two pair. Got some light. Maloney with a great double up. I played it like a rookie. <laughs> I'm learning the game, sir. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the 2003 mindset. <laughs> Dewey Tomko referring seventh to seventh grade. Those are crazy days. Yeah. Oh. Dewey Tomko known for the longest streak of participating in the World Series of Poker main events. It's played every year since 1974, which is absolutely insane. Yeah. Donnie, just imagine the things that uh, Tomko has yeah. seen over his yeah. years at the yeah. felt, having not missed the main event since 1974. I mean, he's, he's, he's seen it all. He, he's, <laughs> I, I don't think there's a thing he hasn't seen. I'd, I'd want to know, I'd want to ask him, what's the craziest thing he's seen? Oh. I cannot even <laughs> can't even imagine, no, like, you know? I can't begin to imagine what that must be. Akiti, meanwhile, raising with ace-9 offsuit. Frey on the button with ace-king offsuit. Come with a three-bet. Suarez, king-queen offsuit in the big blind. Where you from, Dan? What part? Wow, Donny, the Euros bringing the aggression here as Suarez from Sweden makes it 14,000 with King Queen offsuit. Just going for those blockers, Donny. He is going for it. Gotta go to block sheet to get any action. 
Let's see how Frey wants to approach this one. Ace King is a drawing hand, Remco. <laughs> we both know that. Suarez started this hand with 156 oh, big blinds. Cool. Frey with 148 big blinds. Right. So two very similar stacks clashing as Frey makes the call. Here comes the flop. Jack, 6, 9. Nothing out there for Frey. If Suarez continues to show aggression here, he might be able to take this one down on the flop right away. Does continue for 15,000. Donnie, if you're Cal Frey, not really much you can do. No, not really much you can do at all. That was just a well played hand by Suarez there. You know, Frey did well pre flop, but ultimately, aggression wins this one for Suarez. In the battle of two professionals, Frey also a professional poker player, about $700,000 in winnings total. Shout out to Treasure Troller with a $5 donation. He says, Chuck Norris, mirror, mirror on the wall. Don't ask, it's Jeff Platt. I have no idea what that means, <laughs> but thank you for the donation. Well, I don't really know what that means either, but it's great. <laughs> if you're just tuning in to our day one coverage, we're using our horseshoe table setup prior to the main set being finished. In prior years, this would be called a teardown slash setup day. We we're fortunate enough to have the ability this year to do coverage of day one. Yeah, these, these four day ones, six hours of coverage on each day. I mean, that's a heck of a lot of it, coverage. It's the, per, it's, the, it's the perfect appetizer for when the big guns show up. Oh, yes. I'll be really curious this year to see how many day two entries we get. If you want to see our full streaming schedule for the main events, which is our largest schedule we've ever had, check out twitter.com slash pokergo. It's the pinned tweet on our Twitter page. Starting on day two, we're going to have full coverage from hand number one until the final hand of play. And for whatever reason, Twitter isn't where you want to go, pokergo.com slash schedule. You'll see everything outlined there. Our guy Tim Duckworth fills out that schedule quite nicely. You'll see everything on offer. As Suarez takes this one down, his second pot in a row. The Swede chipping up nicely. So I've done some math, Donnie. And my, my math says that it's going to be 150 hours oh my. of main event coverage. I mean, that's outrageous. And that doesn't account for a final table going very long at the end. Wow. So 150 hours of main event coverage. That's pretty crazy. After a flurry of action and some chatter, things have quieted down again here at the feature table. If you're just tuning in, my name is Remco Rinkema. Donnie Peters alongside me for this day one main event coverage. Law McCarran and Norman Chad are going to be on the call later on during the main event, and so will Ali Najad and Nick Shulman. Of course, okay. unless Nick Shulman makes a run in the main event. Yeah. Dueling aces here as Martin Finger and Alex Keating tangle. Deuce, deuce, queen on the flop. Keating bets a thousand. Finger makes the call. Turn brings the five of diamonds. Thanks. 
Action goes check, check. River brings the queen of hearts. If this goes to show now, we're going to see a chop pot. Check, check. Check, check, chop it up. Next hand, let's move on. Feels as though chat has slowed down a little bit as well as the action at the table has slowed down. Let me ask you in the chat, what are we what are we drinking? What are we snacking on? Give us give us a little update. We got a, a lot of hours left here on the day one A broadcast. I'm curious to see what is happening with everyone else at home. I'm drinking I'm drinking a Celsius. And it doesn't even say how much caffeine is in it, because they have a proprietary blend. Well, of of stimuli, of stimuli. I don't even know what it means. What flavor you got over there? I got some kiwi guava. guava. Okay. Sounds good. Tastes pretty good actually. One of our chatters on PokerGo says, "Why does the dealer struggle so much Wait, placing the burn cards?" Well, we're using RFID cards, and they are a lot thicker than your normal poker card, and the table is harder. Yes. And up the price. So the combination of both things. I appreciate if you're it. Not, if you're not used to it, it's just, you know, it's kind of a surprise at first. Same thing like if you're not used to playing at the, these types of tables, you get dealt those first two hole cards, you kind of try and peel them up back. They're a little bit stiffer than normal. You're like, wait, what's what's going on here? By the way, if you're in our PokerGo chat, please use the desktop version of the website and click on the avatar to change your no, name so I can actually shout you guys out more easily. Last time it was suited, though. This one would have been suited. Because someone just said Red Baron, Red Baron Supreme it. Pizza and a Fanta yeah, orange yeah. soda. Yeah, you can, you can <laughs> lie for about 45 minutes. It's a little bit of time. Yeah. A little bit of time to lie. You'd be fast forwarding on the brakes to take a look. <laughs> CC Play is asking, how many players are in the field? Well, we're estimating about 1,000 players here so far on day 1A. There are three more starting flights to come. So ultimately, ultimately we're probably looking at about nine to 10,000 players based on all the talk we've had about how big the tournament is going to be. But of course, we won't know for sure until... Sources say? Yeah. 4, we're over 1,000. Over 1,000? Confirmed. Wow. Meanwhile, Suarez raising it up with Ace Five suited Maloney. He finds the burgers. He's going to three bet, and that's enough to take it down. Wow. Someone in Pokemon Chat says Celsius has 200 milligrams of caffeine. Heck yes. That's exactly. <laughs> that's exactly. That's exactly what, what Repco needs. That's right exactly now. what I needed. <laughs> that's exactly what I needed. I see a few people asking about the side event action. Now that the main event has started, we are only streaming the main event. And uh, guess what? We have no influence over that. WSOP schedule. That's the event people want to see. Yeah, people want to see the main event. I will say this. There is currently a $5,300 online bracelet event happening. Yep. Sean Deep is second in chips on the bubble. He's also playing the main event out there on day one. Oh my God. So he's multi-tabling, live and online. He's got his tablet, his iPad, whatever it is, on his table, playing online. He's trying to chase down Ian Matekis in the WSP Player of the Year race. If you guys listened to, I think it was two episodes ago of the Poker Girl podcast, we had Sean on for about a 15 minute interview. He talked about how much he wants to win WSP Player of the Year. Yes. Ian Matekis has kind of come out of nowhere to have an incredible summer. He won an online bracelet. He's gone deep in some other stuff. He most recently went deep in the uh, $50,000 PLO high roller. That is Ian Matekis. So right now it's Ian Matekis' race. It's, it's, it's his lead in the race. And Sean Deep is he's double dipping in two extremely big and important tournaments at the same time trying to chase him down. 
Nunya Biznas says, remember when the NFL experience experimented with no commentators? Just saying. What? Just say it, man. Just saying. There's a mute button. Yeah, but then he can't hear, hear the players talk. You know, I mean, what do you want me to say? I'm not warm, but I'm good. You're probably hot. Did that really happen? The NFL experience with no coaches? It can't be a thing. No, I feel well. It's better than the last it good. We were in the AC unit at our live stage. We yeah, were yeah, in the we unit. Were. <laughs> the real cheese says, Capri Sun, like a full grown man child. <laughs> I mean, everyone loves a Capri Sun every now and then. We just saw Farrah Gelfon take it down with aces. Three betting before the flop, no action for her. We've seen aces four times today, I think. I mean, Jamie Gold had aces, kings, and jacks in like four hands. Yeah, and Aziz Alves had aces twice. Yeah, Galfon here just had the aces, so we've, we've seen him a few times. Hopefully we get an update on Jamie Gold from Jeff Platt later this evening. And also on our, on our man of the hour on the broadcast, Toledo. Yeah. He was betting every single hand. Oh, yes. Appreciate you, Dealer. The hungry chef, hungry chef says, bro, it's morning. Coffee is keeping me awake. Porridge next. Let me guess. You're in the UK. <laughs> wow, Gelfond continues to pick up nice cards. She's going to raise it up with Ace-King offsuit. Suarez calls with 10-9 suited. Tomko comes along with ace four of clubs. Kyle Frey gets a nice price from the big blind. He's going to come along as well with ace five suited. Three, three, four, two diamonds, one club. Backdoor clubs available here for Suarez and Tomko. Two thousand. Suarez, Donnie, almost with the least of it, decides to bet here. Yeah, one of those spots where, you know, you can turn some equity off, you know, but you're also likely not going to win this one, so take a stab at it. Calls two thousand. I like this from Galfon, not giving up to the first bit of resistance. She has backdoor diamonds as well, and the best card in the deck hits on the turn. <laughs> top here, top kicker for her to go along with her dark foot strong. You. You I saw that check dark from you. Like Quick check, check, ago. and she makes the full house. <laughs> yeah, here on the river, if Galfon saw Suarez's card, she would you check can't again. Check in the dark old <laughs> She's going to bet here. 10,000 gets it done. Good, your blood boiling. Slight overbet there on the river from Galfon. Gets it done. Fair Galfon chipping up nicely. Suarez still That's the tributor like at our table. But Donnie, the none dark. of the you players currently <laughs> over 100K. Yeah, last table we had the first feature table of the day. We had multiple players in six figure territory. Here we got a couple players approaching that mark, but no one so has eclipsed 100,000 just mm -hmm. yet. So you run out of Suarez, the closest. Uh, He's currently on 92,500. Fair <laughs> Galfon, Tony Dunst. Also Where's over 80,000. <laughs> Out, out of Georgia or where at? Uh, in uh, California. Oh, yeah. Good guess. Nunia Business chimes back in, says, the announcerless Great. game was an American football contest played on December 20th, 1980 between the New York Jets and the Miami Dolphins of the National Football League. Well, wasn't they, Nunia's, they, they, didn't her original question, wasn't it like, don't you remember when the NFL did that? Listen, no one remembers what happened in 1980, okay? First of all, <laughs> I, I just want to say that in a game between the Jets and the Dolphins, probably also the most likely that there's nothing to say, really. We raised the 4,200. Shout out to all my Jets and Dolphins fans. That's not two Miami Dolphins references today. Yeah. If you had that on the bingo card, <laughs> check it off. 
Shout out to Rich Ryan and Chad Holloway. <laughs> Long suffering fans. I will say this every year at the World Series of Poker, I feel like the most represented team in terms of what, what, what people are wearing is the Miami Doll. Really? I feel like I see it the most. I was going to say Patriots. No, I feel like I see the Dolphins way more. Maybe it's just the colors pop more. Right. The orange and green, you know, but I feel like I see it a ton. Jeff5768 in the Go chat says, the announcer list game was horrible. I'm glad that he remembers this game from 43 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Blend in your big blind there, make sure no one sees it. Yeah, and make sure no one steals it. There we go. Very tangible. Yeah. Price here, Raised. Jack 10 suited. Up. Absolute stunner of a hand. He's going to raise it up. Calls a 15. Galfon keeps getting playable hands. He's going to make the call with 10 9 of spades from the small Good blind. Place. Ten five three Galfon flops top pair, but so does Price with the better kicker. Bet two thousand. Price continues for two thousand. Calls two thousand. Galfon comes along. We're going to see a turn card here. It is the King of Diamonds adding a flush draw to Price's hand. A quick check check. River card, the ace of hearts. Checks. It goes check check and Galfon gets away losing the minimum with the flopped top pair after a big card on the turn and river. Donnie, we're quickly approaching the start of the 4th of July you, on the East Coast. Thank you. I, I feel like there's a very necessary conversation to be had. What's that? What's the best food to eat on the 4th of July? Really, how many of these have you played I mean, in? If you're what year is this? A you're, 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 you're a retired vegetarian. Yeah, I mean, I already told my wife on the way, and I said, You've never missed? Wow. You got to go pick up a hot dog. Place. I want a char-grilled hot dog. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what I want. What, what's your, what's your go-to hot dog? Uh, that's got to be the record, right? Hey, I, thought I, I thought it didn't start. I mean, Wait, I'm fine with just ketchup. No, that said, than I like to like load it up. Ketchup, like, mustard, uh, relish, onions, like all of it. You know, let's go. Don't need to skip on it. I probably eat a hot dog once every five years, so I might as well go all in. Why are you making me do this? Look at the banners. How long have I been playing since in the banners? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. This is the first banner. Hold up there, guys. Well, I shouldn't say I played in, played in 47. Sure. I, I signed up for 47. OK. I, but the last 20 years, I wouldn't call it playing. <laughs> you, were, you were barely present. Call donating. Yeah. <laughs> so I signed up for 47 straight. Let's put it that way. Which two years did you finish runner up? Race. Yeah, let me look over there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 80, oh, 82. 82. So, and, uh, oh, that's what's that one? 2001. Which stung more? Long time ago. Which which of them stung more? That's it. I had to, I had both hands. The best hand both of them was the last card to go. Check. I had, he's got aces there. I had ace four okay. with one card to go. And, Jack Sprouse had ace 10. I'll have his pair of four. And he get up on the table. And it was only what that, what, he didn't get 60,000, he only got 10,000. So there was only 104 right. players. Right. So we all had the exact, except for $2,000 difference. He had $2,000 more than me. Anyhow, we get all in. He gets up, they take his microphone off and everything. 10. <laughs> he won. Next one, Morton said he had a legitimate ham. I had two aces. Oh. And a flop come. Uh, But, but come, he had Jack Ten at clubs. Okay. But come, King, Queen, three. Two clubs and a straight draw. Now three come on, he had fourth card. So he can't catch an ace to win. He got it anyhow. He, he caught a nine and one. The money went in on the flop? Huh? The money went in on the flop? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he drew wow. two. He come a three, and he couldn't get with an eight. He had to catch a nine or a club. Anyhow, 
when I tell you this, you're going to think I'm crazy. The best thing ever happened to me. I had the greatest life and the blessed life that you've ever seen in your life. I got kids, great, I got everything in the world set. Who knows what would happen if I'd have won it? I'd sure. have turned into a who knows what kind of person. Wouldn't have my kids now, who knows? So I think the good Lord let me win money and still, you know what I mean? I wouldn't would have gone a whole nothing. other direction. That's exactly yeah. right. In those days, oh, it was almost like a curse. Yeah. And the guy won it. Something bad happened to him. Where we used to think about it. The guy that beat me at 82, he died for 1,800. In the old days, something happened to all the guys that won. It was weird. Someone got on drugs, you know, different things. It changes your life. Still, it still happens now if somebody wins too early in their career. Yeah. Maybe you know, if I want it now, I'd so probably go. That's right. <laughs> but every now and then there's a guy who like wins a big tournament on his first try and that guy never keeps his money. Yeah, yeah. You know, never, it's, it's, never turns out good. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I'm telling you, I was blessed not to win it. That's when I look back. I mean, at the time I didn't want to win. But look okay. back, you're going to win this. <laughs> well, this is the first time I've tried in about 20 years. Right. I usually just, there's usually a plane. I usually go in the second day, there's a plane leaves at 1.30 to Florida. I get in about 11, and I try to either double up or get to that plane by 1.30. And so far, I'm getting to that plane by 1.30. <laughs> I like it. It's a strategy. But today, I had to come in for Dole's uh, ceremony. Uh -huh. So I usually wouldn't play till Friday. Yeah. So I thought, you're here, oh, right? I'm going to try to play good for you. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's going to help. <laughs> I've lasted longer than I usually do. <laughs> Where's home now? That's Orlando, Florida. Yeah, poker's been good to me, but uh, since I got out of poker, I don't play poker anymore like last time. But it's really got good. Businesses and stuff like that. Got a young wife, 12-year-old kid. You're she's living the dream. 5,500. I, I don't want to say it. You're very pretty. She, she was Miss Costa Rica. Oh, yeah. So she's very pretty, too. A lot younger than me. You can tell she's not 76. Didn't have any kids at 60. <laughs> Yeah. I don't, I'll man. gladly go home for the night and let Dewey yeah, take over. I'm in. Less money to come <laughs> <laughs> Gee, you guys go to Costa Rica ever? Yeah, I, I, used to have a, I had a casino in Costa Rica for about oh, with eight, Al? eight or nine years. Huh? With Al? No, I had a real casino. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this kind of casino. <laughs> Not a real casino. casino. That's great. You talking about Al? Big Al? Oh. He was down there at the same time. Huh? He's still down there. Yeah, I know, but I mean, at that particular time, we yeah, were yeah, yeah. opening up the first and stuff. How do you know Big L? Bruno Reyes? Just know him. Yeah. He the one that had the uh, gold room. Yeah. Floor, yeah. We were talking about it earlier. Yeah. Yeah, we were down there at the same time. He, he we actually went down there at the exact same time that I ended up. He went into the sports club and I went into the regular club. Okay. Meanwhile, we got some poker action happening, Donnie. I was just sort of, you know, sinking away in my chair, listening to Dewey Tonko stories. Don't mind it at all. Yeah, just like that NFL game back in the day. Yeah, just no commentators. Yeah. I mean, when Dewey Tonko's taking over the mic, you just be quiet. Yeah, I just ran the math. We got 150 hours of main event coverage. It doesn't hurt us to be quiet for four minutes. That was probably the longest I did not speak on any live stream we've done this summer. Shout out to Dewey Tomko. In case you're just tuning in, two-time main event runner-up Dewey Tomko, three-time bracelet winner, an old friend of Doyle Brunson in town a bit earlier for the celebration of life of Doyle. He just said, I'm trying to play good for my pal. Much love to everyone in the chat. It's been a fun night so far. we got plenty of action, more action to come. <laughs> If you look at all them guys' pictures up there, I'll swear, almost every one of them said Bobby Baldwin died at early age. That's crazy. Stewie, people like that, you know what I mean? They, right. got, uh, they couldn't handle the success, I guess. I don't know. Drop. Or, oh, yeah. You can get to your head, probably, I guess. Right. And, and back then, there were fewer guardrails. Huh? You know? There were fewer guardrails back then, you know? Yeah. Well, that guy from 89, he really went off the deep end. Tony, you're going to try to keep up or you're going to make me text you? I had it. You made a nice pull. <laughs> yeah. 
A little dig there at Mr. Helmuth. Love to see it. Donnie, has that. Phil Helmuth announced yet what he's going to wear this year at the main event? I like that Not golf that golf I've golf. seen. Yeah. He announced that he was going to play the tag team event with Dan Cates. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, he was dressed up as Pikachu. Yeah. Oh, no, I have, Charizard. Oh, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. But I haven't seen what he said right? for the main event, so we're going to get a surprise. Makes sense. It was Charizard. Producer Aiden is, is big on the Pokemon. He's yelling in your ear. Yeah, he's just literally <laughs> screaming in my ear. It was Charizard. But you, you were a Pokemon guy. I'm a huge Pokemon guy. I would like to see how you not tell before. I want to just make it a surprise. Yep, whatever it is. Meanwhile, Galfond. Under pressure, opens it up 10, 4, 10, to 1,200. Mark Finger makes it 3,800 in position. Finger's been really, really quiet at this table, Donnie. You know what the yeah, but he, I mean, he also really yeah, hasn't had anything to, to play with, so. If you're going to be a successful poker over 50 years, you got to have an iron constitution. And I say that. Hey, all you guys, you got to go to the poker room. you got to get to the room. you got to get by drugs, drinking, girls, craps. 21 sports. <laughs> Did you say crap? Sports. <laughs> sports. You got to get by all that yeah. every day of your life. <laughs> so if you don't do it, you got any weakness, it'll show up. Right. And I know it, a lot of great players like Stewie and different people like that, they couldn't get, you know what I mean? They were couldn't good get players, the they, they broke. Yeah. It's terrible to say, but it's Spent most of their careers broke in some yeah. cases, you know? Yeah. Guys who had great results. And I've seen guys with just average players just made a success the rest of their life, but they were. Okay strong-willed people, right. you know, and they showed up in the game, made their money, raised a family, you know, stuff like that. There's a lot of vices out there, buddy, especially when you get money easy way. I, I call it easy. Then, call the, then the vices come looking for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, you know? they come looking for you. You better be able to dodge them. I got lucky, I'm boring. Huh? I'm boring. I got lucky. You know? I'm it's boring, you're not boring, that's just the way you are. That should be. If you wasn't born or you call yourself, when you probably would be successful. Probably not, no. You know, you got different have different personalities. You know, make play different, you know. And you consider yourself born or you're not, probably. <laughs> Because you don't do drugs. I don't have, a, I don't have the more fun and exciting habits, put it that way. Huh? I don't have any, the more fun and exciting habits, you know, the expensive yeah. habits, well, the risky habits. I don't know if that's good or bad than habits, yeah. that's what I'm saying. But, uh, I don't think that's exciting. That's, uh, that's the downfall of somebody sooner or later. Well, you gotta have fun in life, you probably do. You got a girlfriend, you go traveling, yeah, sure. what the hell? That's spending money somewhere. Next time, you're gonna call me for flight. I'm gonna call you what? Perfect for your flight. Okay. Raise, 1100. Kyle Frey raising it up with King Jack of Spades. Yeah, let's hear the pitch. Who yeah, talk right. still I, 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 talking chair? I was like, you're trying to help I mean, him out. I'm right? all for it. Get to me eventually. All right. <laughs> yep. Go to flyflat.com. Get 50 percent off because it's fast place. How do they? I'll let you put your hand. Right? Wow! All of a sudden, we got some hands here. Suarez calls with ace queen offsuit. Keating finds aces in the big blind. By the way, if you're enjoying the coverage so far, Donnie and I are going to be on the call for the rest of the night. Please don't forget to like this video if you're catching us on YouTube. We're, we're going to get to 5,000 likes. I'm pretty confident that we will. Please hit that like button right now. And um, if you're not yet a subscriber to our YouTube channel, this is the moment. Just hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell, you'll be alerted when we go live next tomorrow on the 4th of July. Six more hours of coverage. Donnie, I might have to sleep off my morning cocktails <laughs> before coming to the booth. I promise my fiance to go hit the pool. Uh, how do they pull that off considering the cost? Hang on, I had a whole thing. Okay. We, 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 we have deals on American Airlines. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> wait, sorry. Oh. Wow. Uh, sorry. Uh, I work alone. Don't Wow, amazing stuff. Let's go over to Jeff Platt. $10,000 the cost to enter the World Series of Poker main event. So, of course, you could just plunk down 10 k at the cage, or you could be like Nick Foucher. Nick, stand up for me, please, real quick. Step away from the table. All right, tell me what got you here into this World Series of Poker I main event. got here on a $200 satellite from Foxwoods. There we go. And 200 just straight into this, or 200 and another one into another one? It was multi-step. 200 got me into the 1,200. 1,200 got me into here. And did you have any plans even to play the 200? No. 
I was in so the how'd that come about? Okay. I was in the parking lot of a movie theater when my brother called me. And he said, come on, Donkey, we're going to play poker. So I went and played poker instead of seeing my movie. What was the movie going to be? Guardians 3. Oh, Guardians 3. Would you rather be here playing the main, or would you rather have no. seen Guardians 3? I want to see Guardians 3. Yeah, still. Guardians 3. <laughs> Seems to have good reviews. Uh, so does your brother have the piece, the stake, the whole thing? What's what's the deal here? Oh, there was no deal, but... There's no deal. Okay, we'll just figure it out later. It's a long tournament. I mean, he'll get something. All right, good luck. Go Thank crush you. it. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Appreciate man. it, guys. Wow. Donnie, the list of players that I want to see at the final table is growing so fast that we're going to need a whole bunch of tables. Well, because there's only nine seats. The I know, final table, it's a problem. Right? It's a big problem because I want to see $200 satellite winners and, and fun Japanese characters. Vancouver's on the other side. And just a bunch of fun players at the final table. This is a great story. Yeah, so that Foxwood satellite that was referenced, Foxwood was one of the official satellite partners for the live satellites that the WSOP did. I believe they qualified 93 players wow. to the WSB main event over the course of, you know, you know, the months leading up to it. Also part of uh, the main event mania. Mania referencing the month of May that the WSB had a lot of land-based satellites via their partner casinos. Well done by Fox. Let's put nearly 100 players into this main event. And uh, Nick there, going to try and make a run at it. That's amazing. Love to see it. Shout out to Jeff Platt doing an awesome job out on the floor uncovering some of these great stories. And for people worried about Jeff Platt interrupting these players, of course, he checks with them first before pulling them away from yeah. the table. Jeff, very experienced, also a player himself, so he's able to like kind of read the situation. Sometimes you'll even see Jeff say, oh, hey, you know, go back, give a hand, because right. he sees that the dealer is playing or dealing out the cards. I mean, Jeff Platt won't mention it himself, but he once finished fourth in a World Series of Poker tournament. He once made a deep run in the WSB main event. Very deep run. That's yeah. when we kind of first met him that's because we were like, oh, who's this guy? Oh, he's a reporter for the San Antonio Spurs. Oh, maybe we should talk about that. That's when he was still Jeff, Pl Jeff Platt, future NBA sideline reporting star. And he has since evolved into not yeah, to all of us degenerates over here in the poker world. Exactly. He's a good legit celebrity for getting there in Australia after he won. Started there like the SAT. No, I never heard of the board. That must have been an old one. Baby Fades in the PokerGo chat says, Guess I should have played some of those Foxwood tournaments. I always forget they have those. <laughs> yeah, you should have. Baby, it's not too late to fly out here. There's some satellites running right now at the WSOP. Donnie, they had a big one last night on Sunday online. Yeah, well, uh, last night on Sunday, I think they gave away 40? 49. 49. 49. I mean, good lord. Yeah. I played it. I didn't win one of those <laughs> seats. <laughs> Donnie busted so early, he didn't even know how many seats were up for grabs. I think when I busted, I think there was 28 seats. They guarantee 25. It's a 25 seat scramble on WSP.com. They run it every single year. $215 buy in to get into that one. So, great way to win your $10,000 main event seat for you know, the relatively affordable price of 215 bucks. So, that's great. I, I, think, I think Club GG and GG Poker combined for. Um, nearly 800 qualifiers into this event, so all of this sort of stuff pushing towards a record-setting WSB main event. Of course, the mega satellites have been running. I think they have a 500 mega, an 1100 mega, and a $2,000 mega. They've all been going crazy. Can you break one of these for me? Sure. Donnie, question for you from Cookie in the Poker Go chat. Cookie says, cheers from Israel. She's trying to find out which two players you would like to see for a heads up duel. Can be any players, dead or alive. Heads up duel between two players. Could even be a non poker figure. She says, biblical or a cartoon figure, if you will. And this question just takes a lot. Any two people from the world history. <laughs> heads up duel. Like hot heads up duel in poker? Yeah, poker. I mean, how do we how do we know that your favorite ninth century philosopher knows the rules of Texas Hold? Yeah. Meanwhile, ace is for Dewey Tomko against the ace queen suited of Galfon. Galfon getting away from this one cheaply, not getting into much trouble on a board like this. Twenty five hundred. Says 
I mean, the chat's going wild with suggestions. Babar says Beavis versus Butthead. One I've had playing poker in about 15 years. Really? For real? That's good. It's a good table. I wish I could say the same. It's my nice table. You know what started off was that that uh, air conditioning. Yeah. It's really hitting us hard. <laughs> Usually I get to the table. They sit there. And they got to do seven in their hand, and they'll study for about 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. And they throw their I hand do in. appreciate everyone's and I, and I pace want to just scream. And then if you ask them about a joke, they look at you like, yeah. Like, Crazy, you tell me a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to those tables like you know? Yeah. Oh my god. And they don't say nothing? I had a couple two of hours, story. then the dealer make one mistake and they yeah. say, Ah, dealer, 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 they start screaming at them. <laughs> dealer friendly Dewey, that's what they call them. <laughs> yeah, Colossus, oh, Colossus, Colossus had a couple of those huh? tables. And the Colossus, yeah. had a couple of those tables where oh, every okay. every decision was leave. 90 like, seconds. I get a plane to Florida. Terrible. You gotta make that 130 flight, Dewey. <laughs> well, you guys are too nice. I'm gonna stick around. I'll get you. <laughs> Dewey Tomko claiming that this is the most fun he's had in 15 years. Love it. Absolutely love it. We have had some really good tables, and if these tables are representative from the rest of the field, or the rest of the field that's going on outside, which I think we've seen a bit, you know, through the Jeff Platt check ins, it looks like a pretty fun day overall. Good vibe so far. Of course, it'll pick up into more serious poker as the event goes on, get into the money, that sort of stuff. So. Enjoy this now. Remco, I'm just checking in on these satellites. Oh, $580 4 p.m. Mega is giving away 32 seats. Nice. That's, that's happening right here. Yeah, the 2K Mega is giving out 47 seats. Wow. I mean, it's just, it, it's insane. It's insane. Seats on seats on seats. Getting some great suggestions for a heads up duel. Could be anyone dead or alive. My favorite one, Donnie, Stu Unger at peak versus Phil Ivey at peak. That would be good. I think I and listen. I, I don't want to go down this road, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I would like to see Donald Trump in a poker match against somebody. Oh my I think gosh. it would just be comical. <laughs> just how he is, like the bluffing, the tactic. You know, it would just be like his talk. It would be entertaining. He would give away his chips in five seconds. <laughs> I know, but you. I mean, you wouldn't put him against Phil Ivy. You'd have to put him at someone like of his like equal skill level or whatever. Oh boy. The can of worms you just opened. I know. I, I I hate to do it, but that's the one that came into my mind, so I did it. You know. What do you want me to say? All right, flush draw here for Tony Dunst, the king queen versus <laughs> the ace queen of Alex Keating. Mike Tyson versus Muhammad Ali also being suggested. Seven thousand. Keating betting seven thousand. Tony Dunst in position here. He's going to come along. Let's see the river card. It is the eight of hearts. Ace high is going to be best here, but let's see how these players are going to play this on the river. Checks action on Tony Dunst. He can only win by okay. bluffing. Does decide to check behind. Ace Queen going to be the winner here. <laughs> if you are enjoying our late night coverage here, please let us know in the chat where you're watching from. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you happen to catch us on YouTube. Day one coverage for free. On day two, we're just going to warm the crowd up before it kicks on over to PokerGo.com. Finger here getting active on the button with a raise. 7 8 off. Dewey Tomko with the aces this time. The burgers. That's a big raise. Wow. Do you mean to throw red chips? Yeah. You've only prayed me 85 times. <laughs> uh, by the way, good news for everyone who's a big a fan like of Lon McCarron. <laughs> Lon's on the call on day 2ABC. 
which is on Friday, July 7th, with Maria Ho and Will Jaffe. Finger battling again, this time on the flop. Finger bets with King Eight. Tomko going to come along with the King High flush draw. Turn card seven of hearts. Finger still with the best hand. Happy to get the short hand with a pair of eights. Tomko with king high, throws it into the muck. Well, I got to play back in the last few. <laughs> 20K would have done the you job. You fooled me. 20K would have done the job. 20K would have done the job. <laughs> Usually it will. To the dozens, right? Round three between Martin Finger and Dewey Tomko here. This time, Tomko in position. Ten, nine, six on the flop. Finger's ace high is still good. Let's see if Tomko's going to take a stab here. How do you do that? What's that? You got to get a little chop. Yeah, but then you go. <laughs> now you got to curve. Yeah, you got to curve a little bit. <laughs> go. I was looking at the wrong end of the thing. I was looking at it and go the other way. Dewey Tomko is really having a good time, Johnny. Oh, he's having a blast. Check. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he's imitating the young kids. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Dewey Tomko's new antics are, are working. Tomko makes a pair of jacks on the river. Finger quick to fold. How did I do? I looked that doing good enough. No, he nailed it. Yeah, I nailed got it, it down. Yeah. Oh, then he won the pot on the end, just you to make sure. This way, and I got to look to the right. That's right. the only difference. I like that, though. That's a good. You do the same thing every time. That's good. I mean, seriously, I just do something the same thing every time. That's yeah. Good. Nothing to read into. Huh? Nothing to read into. Yeah, that's right. Tony Dunst is the perfect player to have oh, paired here with Dewey Tomko. Oh, yes. a bit what? Swag. Swag. Speaking of swag, Suarez probably has the most of that at this table. Galfon here coming in with the raise, pocket nine, Suarez called with pocket three. He's now Keating in the small blind with ace, queen off. Three raise, 
6,300. Three bet from Keating, 6,300 now. Frey folding the king jack off from the big line. I don't, don't have any nothing, specific. no line. I don't three bet. I don't. I don't have a line every three bet. <laughs> fold, fold, and Keating gets that one done. Or gets that one through. Sorry. No aces this time for sure Alex there. Keating. <laughs> one ace. Start pitching that. One of our chat members yeah. on Poker Go is asking. Anybody know what the standard tip ish tip is from the main event winner? Well, let's just ask the chat. Let's say you win $10 million. How much of a tip are you leaving for tournament staff? So you win 10 million bucks. How much tip are you leaving? You're, well, we're not allowed. <laughs> we have to stay here and be with our microphones and all that. All right, tournament dealers in the main event. Complete the hand row and send the players on a 20 minute break. 20 minute break, we'll come back and play the last level of the night. 20 minute break on main event players. Action on Keating here with pocket queens in the final hand before the break. As always, no breaks on our feed. We are going to throw to a little interview that Jeff Platt did with Landon Tice as soon as his hand is over. But as soon as that interview completes, we'll be back with more coverage of final level of the night two more hours of play from the 2023 hey, wsop main okay, event on day 1a as Galfon flops two pair versus the never did Keating, never did i had to get him ready players in the main event once you're finished with your hand please exit there so save the card on the turn here for, for Galfon. level five action back on keating with the over pair in this uh, standard sort of button versus big blind confrontation Keating probably giving even less respect to Galfon having a hand on him. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be an interesting spot. Keating is an aggressive player. I think these two probably have a good idea how each other approach things here. It's the type of board that Keating's going to want to protect his hand against some equity. I know you have an over pair, but could be vulnerable on that board. Keating bet 6,000. Looks as though Galfon is reaching for a check raise here. 19,000 is the check raise. Wow, massive pot developing here. Keating quickly stacking all his chips together. Does this indicate a fold, which would be very impressive? These players, of course, have been playing against each other for the last six hours. <laughs> Tough spot here for Keating with the over pair, but... Now it looks like he might be calling here. Yeah, for a second I thought he was going to come with the quick fold. He is going to make the call. Massive pot developing here as Galfond and Keating are the only two players left here at the table. Everyone else has started their break. River Cart is the deuce of spades. Once again, players in the main event, once you're finished your hand, please exit the area. Galfond checks on the river when the third spade comes in. Action goes check, check. Galfon should going to show two pair here. Keating tosses his queens into the muck. The players are going on a break. We're going to get to a quick interview. Jeff Platt and Landon Tice at the end of the interview. We'll be back with coverage of the final level of day 1A.
we just work for different, I mean, well, yeah, we're on the Republican side, something. yeah. All right, we are back underway here at our feature table. Apologies for any sound yeah, issues pages. we might have had. <laughs> Check no, out twitter.com slash Jeff Platt. Go door to door, we'll uh, post the interview. Yeah, nice we won't that. Well, you don't do that now. Sam Cosby also posted the interview in the chat. Set over set there for Landon Tice. Cost him almost his entire tournament life, and I believe he has since busted. So quite a depressing main event showing for the young phenom. Somebody's going to tell me some stories to keep me awake. You know? That's my bedtime. It's past my bedtime as well. So. Give me a to just keep running topics, and I'll see if I can come up with a story. Really, here's a question for you. What's the definition of politics? Just give me give me your best guess. Definition? Yes. I have no idea. Just take a guess. Well, how would you describe it to somebody? Guess at it. What's the definition of politics? Somebody give me a hint. <laughs> You're overthinking it. Poly is many. Huh? Poly is many. And ticks are blood-sucking creatures. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. <laughs> you tell me a country, I'll give you a fun fact. Give me a country or what? You give me a country, I'll give you a fun fact. Any country. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fact about country. Do that thing. I got a little care no, right after I said that. Right? I've never done this before, so I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to think of the most fun fact that you probably don't want for it. Not this time. Fun fact. Fun fact that you don't want. Another time. Starts off the final level of the night. I don't know. Captain picking up some no. chips. I didn't feel like I could breath it. How about, has anybody seen, has anybody seen any good uh, streaming like shows or anything recently? No, they don't make anything good. Johnny, it's it's actually, though these players have gotten to know each other quite well yes. over the last right. 10 hours. Oh, yeah. It's, it's become really session? jovial. I'm just waiting Succession? for them to exchange yeah. numbers. Did you see uh, Jerry Duty? Dinner on the days no, off. I, you know, that sort I of stuff. That I'm, a pretty, I'm a pretty tough critic. It's yeah. a really good show. Is it really? Yeah, the premise is they're shooting this documentary, and they tell everybody except one juror. So he shows up and legitimately, like, they do a whole entire court case. Really? And, you know, like he thinks it's a documentary, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> He's the only one out of there. Right. Absolutely. So he sees the cameras, but they tell him they're just doing a behind the scenes, mm -hmm. like, capture. Uh, but no, the whole thing's scripted around him. Interesting. The uh, producers of The Office, they're, they're the ones doing it. Is it a comedy? Is it what? Was it a comedy? Was yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a, I mean, they have to they have to adjust based on what this guy does, you know. And it's I mean, there's multiple episodes. Mm. So is it a little like the rehearsal, the, the Nathan Fielder show? Maybe it's it's, it's just yeah, unique. I mean, the USA. Okay. I told you, Captain, uh, Captain of Washington D.C. Founded in 1776. Got the fun. Not that you're gonna tell me a fun thing. About you. <laughs> What's so funny? Fun. What, what was the word you used? Fun. Fun as a. So why definition? Okay. Yeah, I have the whole Okay. I want to give me some change. Right with that one. Well, yeah, I got you. That was what was, you know, funny. Keeping you up, right? Well, it did keep me up, but I had to think about it. I didn't do that well. It sounds like the show they're referencing is called Jury mind. Duty. And apparently, Flounder, Mr. Maloney, is a big fan. Praise 14. If you're just tuning in, World Series Poker main event coverage still ongoing. This is day 1A. My name is Remco Rinkema, Donnie Peters alongside me. Two more hours of action. Blinds are now at 300, 600 with a 600 big blind ante. Could see some bigger pots building here in the home stretch of day 1A. Players perhaps getting a bit fatigued. Maybe we'll see the beer level. Maybe we'll see a few beverages at this table. Hope we see the beer level. Alfre getting a little aggressive here with the 9-8 of diamonds, three betting in position against Alex Keating. Keating had opened with ace jack off. Action has now moved back over to Keating. He's gonna give it up. Frey takes it down. Well, I, uh, I rec I'll recommend this one called Sharp Objects. Okay. It's on, I think it's uh, HBO Max or Amazon with uh, Amy Adams and Elizabeth Perkins. 
What's it about? Uh, it, she, uh, she recovers from a major psychological trauma and goes problems. back to her hometown to solve a series of murders. Okay. I mean, it is fascinating. And it builds right till the end. It, I never the one season that. show? It, uh, it's one season, like eight episodes, but fantastic. When did that come out? Uh, it's been several years. Yeah. But I just stumbled upon it. Yeah. That was great. I think they got some awards for it. Donnie. Mike Mattisau on Twitter uh, chiming in uh, on Matt Matros' bust out earlier. Matt what do you say? Ma okay. Matt Matros, for those who didn't see the action, busted out with Queens versus Aces. Yeah, Mattisau like tweeting creepy, saying, thriller, if I ever put 80 thriller. big blinds in pre on day one of the main event, really someone really shoot me and That's bury me in the desert. <laughs> Mike Mattisau is certainly one to never you, I'm, mince I'm, words. I'm too tired to do it this time. <laughs> the hand not near as good. <laughs> oh, how much now? 300? Yeah. Somebody needs to get my man Dewey a coffee or something. Maybe a Celsius. A Celsius, <laughs> Donnie. I've, I've been told 200 milligrams of caffeine. That's all we really knew. Dewey Tomko would say if you just walked out there right now and handed him a Celsius. I mean, he's for sure never had one before. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a tricky situation. And I'm, I'm not even, I mean, half the time I'm joking, but I'm not even joking right now. It's a tricky situation when you're playing the main event and you're, you're drinking a bunch of caffeine late at night because the goal ultimately is to be asleep as soon as the yeah. final hand is dealt because the grind is so long in the main event. Chat referring to the fact that Dewey Tomko is up way Red past Bulls. his bedtime. Huh? Gotta get you one of those Red Bulls. Maybe your first of the year. Never had a Red Bull. If I drink coffee, though, yeah. I'll be up for three days. That's okay, that's tricky then. I drink iced tea all day long and go to sleep. Coffee, I'm like, I won't be able to sleep till next Friday. <laughs> Isn't that weird how things are like that? Yeah. Hey, Dewey think, Tomko, nicotine is as I said, careful around the caffeine. It's not as much, but if you have multiple of them, then it, it equals I drink one. Iced tea all day long. You'll sweet without coffee. Phrase 13. Galfond raising it up with ace deuce of hearts. Oh. Or finger coming along here with queen eight suited. Hear the waitress in the background yelling cocktails. It's a common sight, Donnie, for players to have a beer in the final level of the day. <laughs> oh, yes. You see it often in the main event. Roland Roberts. Hmm. You ever heard of him yet? I mean, heard the name. 15. He's running for take initiative here with his flush draw. Yeah. He's only 43, but what he's been is he's been, uh, he is a buddy of mine, but anyhow, he, um, he's been in China and uh, Somalia, that country, they, they got him over there. He's the only one the Chinese will talk to. He goes all the tunnels. And he's real young. He, the only chance he got is there's two things could happen. Trump might not run. And Santos don't want to be president. They really don't. The only reason he runs for president is his wife wants him to be president. He, he don't want to be president. He, Believe me, I know. I, mean, I know it. He, he just he, his wife wants to be first lady, and he don't want no part of it. Finger continues betting on the turn away, and so picks this one up without showdown. It's been a quiet happens, right? evening for Martin yeah, Finger, but he's there. keeping his stack trending in the can right direction. Yeah, it's going to be tough though. I mean, yeah. these big races, you have pivot points when they launch the debates, and then each state the results are coming. Yeah. I, I know it ain't easy. But yeah, I just, it's going to be tough for anybody to beat Trump. I mean, with. I want to bet on him. He said he's a long shot. A real long okay. shot. Nobody's ever heard of him. <laughs> Could I have a cup of ice? Okay. Thank you so much. Donnie, we got some uh, heavy beverage being ordered a uh, cup of pineapple juice and a cup of ice. This is not the fun table I was hoping for in the final level of the night. Uh, not yet. We got some time to go. Martin Finger, by the way. 
Do <laughs> definitely knows how to throw a party. Raising up to 1500. Tomko with the call. Then Keating coming with the three bet to 7000. Dunst quickly folding. Action now back over to Dewey Tomko. Tomko in position against Keating's yeah, raise from the small blinds. <laughs> Does decide to let it go. Nice little pickup there for Alex Keating. Alex Keating has been aggressive on some of these three bet spots from the blinds. Twice when he did it, he had, well, once he had aces, once he had ace queen. There he has. Six, five, and nine. Keating there, guessing the hand for Dewey Tomko. He was exactly right. Channeling his inner Sean Winter. Yeah, you know. <laughs> He's not tired yet. I'm sure. He knew exactly what I had. Thought you fell. Hey. Uh, Big uh, Sean Deep fan in the chat, pushing Ted's Fish Fry whenever you're in upstate New York. Locations in Albany, Latham, Troy, Water, Water, Ville, and Clifton Parks. Of course, if I ever make it out to that corner of the world, I will for sure go to Ted's Fish Fry. That being. Sean okay. Deep's OG nickname, I believe, it was on full tilt because he was Sean Deep on Poker Stars. Yeah, I mean, I can't. Remember. Ted's Fish Fry. By the way, speaking of Sean Deep, Donnie, is he is he getting some points? He's still in the online event. He's also playing the main event. I believe he's still in out there. 35. But the online fifty-three hundred dollar No Limit Hold'em High Roller Championship Six Max tournament. There's three hundred ninety-three thousand dollars up top. They had a total of, looks like, 408 entries in this one. Deeb is still in on the shorter side now. Lost some pots. He's uh, 31st out of 38 remaining, but still 15 big blinds. Leading the way, Ethan Rampage Yeah. Wow. With a, Ethan has 800,000. The bed. next closest okay. is 455. Go for it. How is he going to make a vlog about, about an online go. tournament? That's I what I'm know. wondering. I don't know. No, no, no By the way, they are in the money as well. Uh, Pokego Chad is saying that I mispronounced I four of the five towns. No limit. Well, uh, yeah, it's it's yeah, almost midnight. He's not American, I so keep it's asking okay. me all the time what I got. And I told him one day, I said, if you are a good player, you wouldn't have to ask. He went crazy. But it's the truth. You ever notice how people always ask you what you got? You want to say, you should know. <laughs> he wouldn't not. He knew. Huh? He knew. He he's he's better than Alvin. He asked me. Well, I mean, you know, uh, Donnie, they should know. What it's that time of the night well, for some lame jokes. And I just saw one of the lamest jokes ever in Poker Go Chat. If two vegans are having an argument, I was is it a beef? Okay, I can't. Producer Sean behind me is laughing. That's all That's all the confirmation of that late yet. I mean, come on. Okay, send me your lamest jokes in the chat. I'm going to read a few. Keep things lighthearted here. So they want to the main event. We still have some fun. The gun. I wish you'd have called. I'd have called. Well, we still should have called. Jack King in the chat says, have Chad pronounced some Dutch names or Dutch towns? Yeah, the town that I'm from, Donnie. Repeat after me. Out of build style. Out of build style. Very good. Well done. I mean, you said it right before I did. <laughs> <laughs> 
the town that I'm from. Now, if you were to ask me to spell that, yeah, <laughs> it'd be a disaster. It's a town of about 500 people, and somehow I made it to Las Vegas. Living the dream, baby. Isn't that the town? Did you tell me about how like the there's like a river or something, and it freezes over, and everyone goes ice skating on? Is Absolutely. Yeah. The 11 Cities Tour is an ice skating event that's only organized if it gets cold enough for the canals to, and the rivers and the lakes to freeze over. The last time it happened in 1997, the Elfstedentocht, that's what we call it. Um, before that, it happened in 86 and 85. My dad skated it in 86. The same year, our current king skated it under a fake name, Donnie. What? Throwing some Dutch facts at you right here. Wow. And we put chocolate sprinkles on our bread, so. By the way, happy 4th of July to all the people on the East Coast. We still got 40 more minutes before we celebrate America's birthday. Donnie already spoke about wanting a hot dog tomorrow. I got a lot of lame jokes in the chat. I love it. This pot is so small, it's time for me to tell more jokes. Monty says, my wife is thinking of leaving me because of my obsession with poker, but I think she's bluffing. <laughs> Donnie, what did, what did the tree bring to the pool? The tree? Yeah. His, no sw his swimming trunks. <laughs> Ash said, why don't vampires play poker? I don't know. Because they are afraid of the stakes. <laughs> <laughs> Maloney here with a tight fold, throwing ace nine of spades into the muck. Maloney is our short stack with 70 big blinds. <laughs> Gives you some perspective on the main event as Suarez finds queens on the button. He's going to raise it up. Tony Dunst is going to defend that small blind. Come along there with queen 10 off. Queen 10 off with fine defend here out of the small blind, I guess. Probably an aggressive opener on the button in position. Ace, eight, four on the flop. Check from Dunst. 15. 1,500 is the bet from the Swede, and that gets it done. Donnie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say right now that tomorrow at 11.30 p.m. Las Vegas time when we were streaming again, we're gonna do another round of lame jokes like it. Just the, the half an hour before midnight, there should be room for some jokes. Yeah, why not? Okay, one more. Obscure Reference says, what do you call a dog underwater? A subwoofer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Dewey Tomko, Queen Jack suited. It's a limp, right? Just yeah, a just limp. a limp. I mean, as a famous philosopher once said, limping is pimping. Alex Keating more than happy to see a flop as well with Queen Eight of Spades. Suarez, meanwhile, finds pocket jacks. There's no limping in Sweden, Donnie. No. You, you, you have a very good friend from Sweden. I don't think he's ever limped in his life. I can't even spell limp. <laughs> is, is Jonas here this year? He's not. Uh, second kid. Either just born or on the way, so didn't make the trip over. 
The raise from Suarez is 3,600. Tomko is going to let it go. Two. Keating is going to run some numbers here to decide if he wants to make the call here out of position. <laughs> Boko Chat says, Suarez seems like a fake Swedish name. Perhaps, perhaps has some heritage elsewhere. It does look very Swedish, though. I know a lot of Swedes. King 6 deuce on the flop. Backdoor flush draw for Keating. Suarez sees an overcard to his jacks, but still going to continue betting. Yeah, that sort of texture is likely going to favor Suarez's range here, especially against the limp. Takes advantage of that and takes it down. And Remco, our first player at this table over 100,000 in chips. Wow. Suarez is that man. Antoine Suarez up into six-figure territory. Took us a little while at this table, but we got there. One of the most stacked tables you could hope for as a viewer. Of course, worst case scenario for most of these players playing against a bunch of killers. Tomko, Keating, Galfon, Suarez, Dunstan, Finger, have all played this game at a very high level. And I also should include Kyle Frey, who joined us later. Got a feel for Dr. Price there in the two seat. He's holding his own though. If you want to see our full main event streaming schedule, check out twitter.com slash pokergo. It's the pinned tweet that has our full schedule. We are doing day one coverage for free on YouTube on our horseshoe tables. As soon as our main set is ready, we're going to transfer over that action to the big set on July 7th. Ace 8-6 on the flop. As we have five players involved in this hand, our second five-way flop that we've seen today. Tony Dunst with the best of it is going to bet 2,000. Tony Dunst reducing the field from five to zero rather quickly here with the bet. And Dunst has been, as they love to say, quietly grinding. Yeah, he came into the this feature table with, I think, around 35,000, 40,000 in chips or so. He's chipped up nicely, now up over 70, approaching 80,000 in chips. So, nice little slow uptick, uptick for Tony Dunst. The man formerly known as Bond 18. Remember that? Remember the screen name back in the day? He used to always dress wow. in the suits like yep. James Bond. He has an affinity for James Bond. Bond 18, Donnie, what a throwback. Oh, I haven't thought of that name in a very long time. You can tell it's the beer level. Somebody's screaming. <laughs> people are going crazy out in the room. We can even hear it from our table. This is the final level of the night. Hope you are enjoying the coverage. Perhaps with a beverage or two, maybe some snacks. Tomorrow, the 4th of July, we'll be back with more Star coverage, Wars of course. Same time, That's same voices. Time. New table. Oh, yeah. I told I told Tim Duckworth that my goal for the main event day one coverage is to have at least one main event champ on our feature table each day. I like it. Of course, a lot of that depended upon who shows up and where they are seated. We are restricted, of course, by the fact that we can't pick a table that is you know, next in line to be broken. That would, of course, cause a big headache for the tournament staff. This could be an interesting one here. Jack-9-5, two hearts. Here we go. Action was Suarez opening with the raise to 1,400. Maloney made the call in position. 
on the Jack 95 two heart flop. Check from Suarez, bet of 3,000 from Maloney. Suarez check raises to 9,000. Did Big Al have a, somebody, does he have a kid now or he just married somebody who had a kid? Somebody's told me he has a kid now. Huh? Beautiful you know, flop here you know, for Suarez. Let's see what Maloney comes with as he still has the lead here. Maloney moves all in. Massive, massive hand developing all of a sudden. Maloney at risk for the second time. The first time he had Dewey Tomko drawing dead with a set of eights. This time he needs to fade basically half the deck to stay alive. Suarez looking for a heart, a queen, or a nine to send Maloney to the rail. Black five. Black five. Black five would definitely be helpful for Maloney. Turn is a king of hearts, and that immediately seals it. Maloney, Maloney eliminated here late on day 1A in the main event. And all of a sudden, Donnie, we have a massive stack well, we don't at our table. It is Anton around, Suarez right? from Sweden. Oh, not to, but I think we're going to do it. Sitting on 146,000 chips. See you later, buddy. You, hey, do you play Omaha or Holden mostly? I don't play. Well, you said you go to you said you go to Holden. Oh. I was gonna say because uh, Orange City, if you ever get down around Orlando, it's, Omaha's pretty good. Um, Holden's not too good. Terry Gelf on it, enjoying a low calorie snack, chewing on some ice. That sounds like me during my weight loss bets. <laughs> God, I'm never doing it again, Donnie. Okay, I'll remind you that you said that next year. Yeah, when I'm back up to 200 pounds. Okay. Barton Finger finds pocket queens. He's going to raise it up. It's crazy how even Maloney was peacefully playing, hit a set against Tomko, doubled up, was playing very sort of straightforward, wasn't getting out of line. One hand comes up, bang, bang, gone, done, walk of shame. Oh, yeah. Let's see if... Uh Tomko is forced to do the walk of shame here because he picks up ace king three betting against Martin Finger. These do have a little bit of history at the table. Earlier, Martin raised on the button and Dewey Tomko fought back with a big three bet. I think Finger made it 1400 at the time. Tomko came with 20,000 with aces and made a comment after Finger folded that you keep raising me, I gotta fight back. Donnie, if you're Martin Finger, you're seeing Dewey Tomko 3-bet. you got to be concerned. Well, yes, of course. Okay. Finger checks here to Tomko. Let's see if he wants to continue. He just has to check in hopes of perhaps catching a king or an ace on the turn. Now, if you're Martin Finger, Donnie, ace king is the, the number one hand you're expecting Tomko to have here after checking back. Don't expect to check. Ha don't expect to see him check back on the flop if he were to be holding aces or kings. Yeah, I would agree with you there. I, I mean, maybe there's a chance that you know Dewey gets a little tricky with aces, but I think at this point in the hand, if you're Martin Finger, you're getting you're feeling pretty good overall. Especially with that board pair on the turn. Paired boards don't necessarily change the dynamics of a board too much. Tomko gives it up. This one fold here from Dewey Tomko. No need to see a river card there with just ace high. Structure, of course, extremely deep. After losing that hand, Dewey Tomko still on 95 big blinds. Plenty of chips here. I believe that if you if you register late for this tournament at the very last moment, which is after two levels on day two, you still have 40 big ones. So many. The structure is so player friendly. You're catching us on YouTube as we are doing one of our free streams today to get the excitement building up for 
the main event final table happening later on. Please smash that like button if you are on YouTube. Let's hit 5,000 likes on the video today. That would be amazing. This Let's is our go. Final, final level of the night. we got a few more hours of coverage. Dewey Tom Hook taking some naps in between hands. Can't really fault him. It's been a long day already. A minimum of 10 hours of play each day of the main event. That, of course, absolutely draining to stay focused the entire time. It's no surprise that the average age of the main event final table has gone down year over year. Got to use that energy. Uh, Kyle Frey, as uh, Bara Yakuda is asking in the chat on Poker Go, is asking, is Frey a pro? Yeah, Kyle Frey. It's been around for a long time. Made a previous WSOP final table in a 3K no limit event. We haven't heard from uh, Dr. Mike there in quite some time. He's just been chilling. Surgical, Donnie. <laughs> Keating here, ace, queen of clubs, limps in from the small blind. Frey has the 10-5 of clubs, checks his option in the big blind, heads up to the flop. Clubs, as we know, would be a disaster for Frey. Queen, 6-6, six, six. Six, two pair for Keating. And a wager 600. Frey is going to come along here. Let's see if he can turn some backdoor equity. Try and make something out of this hand. Nine of spades on the turn. Check, check on the turn. Eight of hearts on the river. Check mark to Keating as long as he doesn't fold. Five thousand into three thousand from Keating. An overbet there. Frey quickly gives up his ten high. And Keating takes this one down. Coming up on midnight here in Las Vegas. When do they do the fireworks? Is that tomorrow night? Tomorrow night. Yeah. I remember back in the day, I'd go to Caesar's Palace to that nightclub they had, and on the outside terrace, watching the fireworks. Probably the best spot in the city. Well, best spot would probably be Voodoo Lounge. Oh wow! Top of the Rio. Voodoo Lounge. Right? Shout out to the Voodoo Lounge. That's Voodoo Lounge, right? Does it still exist? Yeah, yeah. The balcony. Yeah. I mean, I would think it would still exist. Is the Rio still there? <laughs> I would think it's still there. The lights are still on. Haven't been there since the WSOP moved to the Horseshoe. Starting stack in this event, 60,000 chips. I believe we just saw our first elimination from this table of the entire day. Given the way the stack sizes were. No, we saw Waylon. Oh, of Bob course. Waylon earlier. Larry Bird. And then she gets five back. Yeah, Larry Bird. Larry Bird busted yeah. earlier. Cal Fred took his seat. Yeah, we've seen four total eliminations on the day. Two eliminations came from the first feature table that we had. Two eliminations came from the second feature table that we had. To be honest, I feel like we're kind of running hot in terms of seeing eliminations because oh, well. day 1A of the WSB main event, you know, well, put that, players yeah, tend to take more conservative well, approach to things. The stacks are very, very deep. The structure is very, very slow. So it usually takes a lot to, to get the money in here. Oh, Dust you opened up French. here with the raise. Galfond defending the pocket eights here. on the big blind. Yeah. Check, check on the 774 flop, six spades turn. Okay. Galfon leads and takes it down. Hello. Hello. Oh, the Frenchman is joining us. Jimmy Guerrero. Very bringing more than a hundred thousand chips to the table. Very aggressive French player joining us here on the feature table. 
Guerrero has, has three million in career tournament earnings, finishing runner-up in EPT Barcelona She's in August of yeah, 2022. Yeah. The watch, the bracelets, the ring, the necklace, I mean, guy shining, look at this. Guerrero finished second in that EP for 1.2 million US dollars. Yeah. I just saw Tony yeah, yeah, Dunn. Yeah, yeah. Guerrero we sits down. It. Tony Dunn looks at Guerrero. We he looked at there. Suarez. <laughs> he looked at Guerrero. <laughs> like, kind of. I feel like Tony is like, these guys are going to go at it. We are ready for some action with these boys. 15. And huh? here he is. Jack so. Tenahart's raised it right away. <laughs> here we go. Raises 15. Guerrero also finished fourth in the blue one for one drop back in 2017. This man has quite the resume. Did you cover him on the so nice. at all? I did. We do yeah. the first time, guys. The yeah, very nice. Here guys. we go, Remco. <laughs> Ace King for Suarez. <laughs> don't, don't get too <laughs> this could get yeah, fun. Cool, yeah. Both these players are extremely wow. deep. Suarez has 242 big blinds to start this hand. I mean, it's turning into an EPT. <laughs> Martin Finger <laughs> laughing in the middle here. Yeah, you Guerrero deserve. started this hand with 180 big blinds. If you show me, man, you deserve. <laughs> hey, you can show. Bluff of the day. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> after, after you put I'm surprised ball, he folded. I mean, I'm in, surprised in too. In position yeah. so deep like that, I mean, you can have a lot of fun there. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what this uh, last 90 minutes is going to bring here as the table just got even tougher. I mean, if you're Tony Dunst, you're just like in the European blender over there. <laughs> Even Mark Fingers, what, what did I get myself into? Yeah, what, what is what, this? What, is this an EBT Barcelona high roller, or what are we doing here? We got another one right there. How do we have two cards? Oh. He I took mean, his car. I don't know if I took his car. I don't think so. Maybe because he just was slid over there was here here. after I submitted it. Okay. It's, it, this was his car. Your car, your car was yeah. over there. Did you have? Wow, the French show up and we got a miss deal. Come on. <laughs> What's going on here? Benjo, get your people in check. I'm surprised I haven't got a penalty. I think I have a the third time. <laughs> They're counting on the stream. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm sensing that there's a bit of history here, Donnie. Of course there is. I mean, how could there not be? Is that a Richard Mill watch that Guerrero was wearing there, Donnie? I mean, that's what it looks like. Sources tell me those are expensive watches. Very. And my source is Google. Thousand here, hitting his third eight on the turn. Yeah, yeah. Most of the uh, there in Youngstown, all the guys, all the good bosses, 
Guerrero here comes in with the raise. 1,500 from under the gun. Tony Dunst is going to call from the small blind, 10-9 of clubs. It'll be heads up here between Dunst and Guerrero. Jack, 10-7, two hearts. Dunst checks. Bet 2200 is the bet from Guerrero. He's got two overs and a straight draw. Second pair for Dunst and a straight draw of his own. Dunst makes the call. Queen of spades on the turn. Guerrero now takes the lead. Dunst checks. Check back from Guerrero. Eight of clubs on the river delivering Tony Dunst with a straight. That nine in his hand is working well right now. Dunst first to act here. Hefty bet from Dunst, 7,700. Close to full pot here. Guerrero in the tank of it here. Double checked his cards. He's eyeing Tony Dunst. Thinking for about 45 seconds now. Legit legitimate decision here for Guerrero, Donnie. Yeah, I mean, Tony's certainly capable of having bluffs. Guerrero does correctly give it up. Tony Dunst takes this one down. Nice to lay down from the Frenchman. If you're just tuning in, we got about 75 minutes left of coverage here on day 1A. The next three days are going to have the same exact routine. We're starting on a long delay. We're chopping out all the breaks. We've got Jeff Platt on the floor. I'm just excited to sort of get a really good feel for the event on day 1A. My name is Remco Rinkema. Donnie Peters alongside me. You can catch us on Twitter as well. Send us all your questions and complaints. I'd be more than happy to address all of them, especially if they're about how Donnie's analysis might not be the greatest. You know, I'll just defend him, get a, have, my, have my friends back. Thank you. All joking aside, though, it's a blast to call the action here. If you're catching us on YouTube, we hope you also become a PokeGo subscriber. We got our best deal of the year right now. Use Dream30 when signing up for the annual subscription. Yeah. That also automatically enters you into our Dream Seed giveaway promotion. We're going to send three annual subscribers to our million dollar free roll tournament at the end of the year in Las Vegas. Galfon opening the 10 7 of hearts. Dunst calling on the button. King Queen off. Guerrero is in the big blind here with pocket fives. Guerrero makes the call here. Three-way action to the flop. Jack nine six rainbow. One heart. Gut shot for both Galfond and Dunst. Yeah, it could be a spot where Dunst is fine. 
floating here, take one off in position. He does have two overs as well in addition to that gutter ball if the 10 does come. Deuce of hearts on the turn. Good card for Galfon here. She could continue representing. She could also go into check call mode, try and realize some of that equity here. Almost comes with pot here, and Tony yep. Dunst quickly lets it go. Eric Galfon picks up some chips here. Well done there by Galfon. Up to 87,100. I think I change for this so I can do something with it. Looks like we're about to get more from Jeff Platt, who is trying to get a little bit of an update from Jamie Gold, our 06 main event champ, who was at the feature table earlier. Jeff, what do you got for us? Give us something good. All right, he announced shuffle up and deal to kick off day 1A of the main, the 2006 champ, Jamie Gold. Jamie, what is it like for you to be back here at the World Series of Poker main event? Uh, it's just so amazing. I haven't been here in four years. I haven't played live poker in four years. It's uh, it's it's been extraordinary. It's um, I believe going to be the biggest one ever. Um, I'm so happy that they're going to break that record, and I get to be a part of it somehow. I'm uh, I'm still in on day one and doing well and. I think I could have a good run. You know, I'm just trying to uh, get my plat on. There we go. I like that. That could become a thing. You don't play that often, but when you do, you crush. And so I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. Well, you don't play that often, and when you do, you are crushing. <laughs> What's it been like for you these last couple of weeks being an ambassador of sorts for the World Series, not just playing live, streaming online, talking with the fans as well? Oh, it's been fantastic. I mean, it, you know, they, they work so hard. They run this thing so well. They're breaking records every week. Um, I love working with them. I, I'm, I'm having the best time. You know, I. Um, it feels like they, you know, they care about what the players need. They, they listen to the players. They, you know, people complain a lot in the past about events, but I don't hear a lot of people complaining yeah, this year, right? Time. Isn't it incredible how the positive energy is kind of around and the people you know so many people like you work so hard all of your staff at poker go and at the world series of poker and all the dealers and it's it's amazing people have no idea what it takes to actually create and produce and deliver this content and these tournaments and we all just get to come get our buy-in and sit down and, <laughs> and you know try to complain because it's not you know perfect in some way or another but I am just so appreciative and, and feel fortunate and lucky and um, I love being back and I hope that uh, I'll be able to play a lot more this year and see you and <laughs> hang out with you guys and I'm just having a blast. Well, I'll tell you what, we are absolutely thrilled that you are back and at the end of this, we could say that Jamie Gold is the winner of the two biggest World Series of Poker main events in history. Sure. Yeah. It, it is. How about this? It's better than a 9,000 to one shot. Someone <laughs> told me today that I have, you have a one in 9,000 chance. I said, no, I have to have a better than one in 9,000 chance. Some people busted out already. Right. And now you're good. Better than one yeah, in 9,000. And I also have, you know, let's say like a two and a half chip stack or whatever. Ooh. And maybe there's a few people that that I'm a little more experienced than now and 17 years later a few maybe not you know not everyone but I, I think I have a better than 9,000 to one shot <laughs> right. so so you know I'll so you're saying there's a chance you're saying there's a chance I'll send you back to the action I always appreciate <laughs> the time you. thank you Jamie it's so good you're the best you. thank you Jamie Gold, the 12 million dollar man from 2006, taking 7, his seat again. Race and 7, Donnie, he's saying he's on two and a half starting stacks. Oh yeah, that's enough for day three. That is enough for day three. Looks like he's doing well out there. Mr. Jamie Gold, of course, when he won the event in 2006, 8,773 entries. That is the number. The WSB main event is trying to eclipse to set a new attendance record. 
what you got in the chat. How many players will we see in the main event this year? I, my number is 10,222. Ghani, I think you're also trending up higher and higher with each passing day. I think I'm going to go 95.54. That's my guess right now. That may change over the coming days, <laughs> but right now I'm going 9.554. I just want to use the Dragon Ball Z meme of, it's over 9,000. I guess it was, was it, uh, was it Raditz, Vegeta's, was it Vegeta with the, the thing? I don't know, Dragon Ball Z, go look it up. It's been a long time since I've watched that. Here's a look at GTO Wizard. Scan the QR code on your screen. This is the number one app for poker players. Get better, study, and figure out what to do at your next big event. Check out gtowizard.com slash pokergo. Try the website for free for 24 hours, and then sign up and take 10% off their subscription. I'm glad there's some Dragon Ball Z aficionados in the chat. Nappa asked it at Vegeta. There it is. Thank you, Edzo. 15, raise to 1500. It's over here. Tony Gunn's raising it up with King 9 suited to 1500. Action on Guerrero finding a really nice looking ace jack of diamonds. We've been live for close to five hours already, and so many of you have been around the entire time. 5, Absolutely love to see it. Closing in on 5,000 likes on the video on YouTube. It's been an absolute smasher of a day. And it is only day 1A. I'm really hoping we get Helmuth, Negranu, and Ivy on our feature tables in days to come. But this table and Jamie Gold has been a nice starting point for us. Dunst lets this one go correctly, and Guerrero picks up the pot. Once again, please check out twitter.com slash pokergo for our full main event streaming schedule. Russell says, all the Europeans joining, joining the stream should hit that like button. Yeah, it's like 9 a.m. in Europe. Closing in on the end of the workday in Australia, I'm sure. Incredible international crowd once again here tuned into our streams. Brian R82 says, my first long WPT tourney, it was brutal. The last level you were mentally drained, had to drink a Red Bull just to get through the last hour. It is, it is a tricky situation in the last hour. You don't want to lose focus. You don't want to be too tired, but also you don't want to drink too much caffeine and be up all night. The levels in the main event are two hours apiece. Players are playing five levels on day one. Tomko here raising up the 1500. Keating calling on the button. Kyle Frey in the small blind coming along as well. Donnie, Isaac is wondering how Rampage is doing. I was honestly about to pull it up. <laughs> I'll, excuse let, I'll me. let you guys know in a minute. Give me, give me a minute to get this up. Excuse me, this was not three-handed action just yet. Calfrey actually three bet from the small blind to 7,500. And that's enough to take this one down. Shout out to Ihan Scary. Welcome to the rail. Our little YouTube community gives you access to funny emojis such as Brent Hanks's face. <laughs> I'm just going to 
drop those all in the chat right now. Rampage is still chip leader. Wow. 22 left, second in chips. Matt Berkey. Wow. The only two players with over a million. Rampage has 1.4 million. Matt Berkey has 1.1 million. Next closest stack, 640,000. That's how many other left? 22. That's absurd. Right. That is absurd. 1400. Donnie is referencing the WSOP.com online bracelet event. A $5,300 high roller event. 3,000, or sorry, 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> it's not three thousand dollars for first place. Three hundred ninety-three thousand dollars for first place. This tournament, by the way, Remco, this is the one where they're playing down to the final six, and then they're gonna bring them back live to play it out for the bracelet here at Horseshoe. Kyle Frey and Martin Vinegar going at it here. <laughs> that could potentially be an exciting final table. We're streaming that on Go YouTube. Hopefully we get Rampage and Berkey both at that final table. The stream of that 5K online event is going to be on July 5th. Stream will start at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern. Just to let you guys know, we are streaming that live on YouTube and Pokemon for free. And then the rest of the day is going to be main event coverage. Martin Finger picks this one up. After the action goes check check on turn and river. Martin Finger, 10-9 of spades, going to raise under the gun here. Lots of quick folds here. Pace of play has still been very high. Yeah, it's been a real treat to experience this pace of play here. Both tables that we've had up here. Thank you. Definitely some fatigue visible on the faces of some of these players. The good thing is, though, they get three days off before returning for day two play. Guerrero here finds pocket aces under the gun. 
They're coming for a raise. Welcome to Brian Green on the rail on YouTube. Thank you so much. Third pair in this hand with Keating on two eights. And Frey on two nines. Wow. <laughs> Can everyone get a pocket <laughs> pair around here? Jeez. Six There's a three bet from Frey. Makes it 6,000. I mean, that three bet potentially <laughs> saving a bunch of players a bunch of money. But it also opens Frey up to some more action from the Frenchman here with pocket aces. Guerrero staring down the other players here in the hand. It's almost a shame that Frey 3-bet would have loved to see some set-over-set set action here to cool or someone out the door. And yes, I am always rooting for crazy action. Guerrero reaching for chips. Let's see if he comes with a 4-bet. There it is, the four bet from Jimmy Guerrero. It's like 13 8. Damn, I was off by one. 13,700 is the four bet. Tomko and Keating presented with an opportunity right now to get rid of this one cheaply. Both Tom and Keating do indeed fold. Action back on Frey. Guerrero's th four bet not too big. Could definitely see Frey calling here. Donnie, if you're Frey here facing a four bet with pocket nines in position, are you even getting the right price to make the call here? I mean, small four bet. Wow. Wow. Kyle Frey just goes for it all in for 50,000 chips. And of course, Jimmy Guerrero is going to snap it off. Kyle Frey shoves 84 big blinds into the middle with pocket nines. It's the last level of the night. And Kyle Frey was a non-believer. What a massive shove here. And Guerrero, of course, snapping this off with aces. Let's see what the flop is going to bring. Ooh. Oh, oh my god! Nine in the middle. King, queen, nine. Kyle Frey flops a set. Two outs for Guerrero. Backdoor straight still possible. Turn card, king of hearts. And a king now. An ace or a king, four outs for the Frenchman. What a hand here on the last level of play. It is the 10 of hearts. Kyle Frey hits a full house and doubles up in this massive pot after shoving 84 big blinds into the middle with pocket nines. Guerrero stunned. No emotion on his face whatsoever. He still has 91 big blinds left to play with. Did that wake you up? Not really. Man. No? I don't think nothing can wake me up right now. Wow. The one devil was waking me up. He missed dealt every time. <laughs> every time he missed dealt, I'm just jerking like this. What a monster pot here. And earlier we saw Matt Matros shove 80 bigs into the middle with queens. Now it's Kyle Frey with nines. Donnie, they always have it in the main event, both times up against aces. They always have it. Raising it up with 10-9 suited. 
Guerrero with 6-3 of spades in the big blind is going to make the call. Jack 10, 5, 2 hearts on the flop. Nothing out there for the Frenchman who's going to lay this one down. Donnie, Guerrero still has 91 big blinds, but this must feel like he's down to 5. Yeah, for sure is a bit, a bit deflating, but, you know, as you referenced earlier when Guerrero joined the table, a player with plenty of experience. So hopefully he can brush this one off rather quickly and you know, move on to the next few hands. But still, I mean, that must just feel like all the wind is out of your sails. All the work that you've done just crushed. It's funny, I always end up feeling sorry for the player with the best hand in a spot like that. Yeah. Like you're doing it all correct. You're inducing with that small four bet, you're getting the guy to shove, and then all of a sudden, the chips are being pushed in the wrong direction. Yeah, a bit, bit of your image at play there too, you know, being an experienced player who leans a little bit more aggressive, so all that's working in your favor. It's a cruel game we play. Cruel game we play. If I was Jimmy Guerrero, I would have raised my hand and said, cocktails, please. <laughs> I need something to wash this down. Shout out to everyone still with us here. Approaching 12.30 in the morning in Las Vegas. We're in the final level of the night. If you're just tuning in, my name is Rem Karinkama. Donnie Peters alongside me. We're going to do the coverage here on day one of the main event. Juan McCarron, Norman Chad, Maria Ho, Will Jaffe, Alina Jad, Nick Schulman, all part of the rotation of the broadcast later on. For now, though, if you are so inclined, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are, we are like 40 subscribers away from hitting 439,000. Let's hit that right now if you are watching on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Donnie, last I checked, Alex Keating and Alan Keating are not related, correct? No, nope. not that I'm aware of. So, I've seen the people ask in the chat a few times, but yeah, I don't think they're related. No, this is Alex Keating. There's, there, I think I'm confident in saying tournament pro was, Alex yes. Keating, and then Alan Keating is known mostly for his high stakes cash game. Cash game blaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works too. Tony Johnson raising it up with ace 10 offsuit, Dewey Tomko. He's awake again, finding pocket kings. Well, yeah, I mean, you look down at two cowboys, I mean, you're feeling good. You wake right up. Donnie, is it a tell when you're asleep and then all of a sudden you're not <laughs> asleep and you start three betting? I mean, a, a little bit, but you know. Good hand. Tony Johnson, happy to let go of his ace 10 offsuit. All right, Dewey, back to sleep. You're going to make day two. Donovan Rooney come with the big questions. Is Donnie Peters related to David Peters? It depends. My dad's name is David Peters. But not the D Peters, D Peters 17, that, you know, four-time full brace winner, all that sort of stuff. No. Your, da your dad is the original David Peters. Yeah, my dad is the original D Peters, okay? I don't know what this is in reference to, but Benny Blanco in chat just said, Fred Durst will, will be performing break stuff on the break. I don't know how you knew that, but that is like one of my all-time favorite songs. I think that came out when I was in first year of high school. It's just one of those days. 
All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any more of that. But I was just informed that David Peters has about forty thousand in chips. Forty thousand from our guy Keegan. I thought he was the best. <laughs> He's still in. He can still be the best. Dewey Tomko staying awake here to get involved with five three of diamonds. Cal Frey, fresh off of a double up, gonna come along here with ten deuce. Action checked on the turn. Check, <laughs> check, check. That confident? You <laughs> check, you win. <laughs> I've seen that play lately. That was one of the old timers plays. <laughs> you did it once before, before you even bet. You just folded. You got top, to the top and folded. Set too. Really you had top set? <laughs> <laughs> My brain. I had three and a five in my hand. <laughs> Too late night to be playing three five. <laughs> That's my favorite hand. That's how you stay awake to play the three five. <laughs> yeah, keep it spicy. Never, never was my favorite. Ever. And then you get to the river and you're like, what the heck am I doing in this hand? Meanwhile, shout out to Haley from the Poker News photography team. She is uh, tweeting about tweeting out about the World Series of Beer level. Duck Polk, David Peters, both enjoying a track. beverage to close out the night. Yeah. And she's wanting to get married. I believe that's kind of England. Yep. As well, sipping on and, uh, what looks like champagne, perhaps, with a straw. Just, just perfect, you know, kind of like Keeping big, it classy. Big, 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 three, five, big fan of the beer in, level. Like 14 you know, you know you're a... They come in and pay like not much, like 8,000. She said, now we can get married. <laughs> <laughs> beverage <laughs> server veteran. <laughs> when yeah, well, you know what time of the day it is. You know, I mean, you know it gets to be 20 minutes or so, half hour left uh, in the day. Uh, and all you do is you go in the back married. and you yeah. say, give me a tray full of beers. Yeah. You don't even need people to order. Right. Then you just go out on the floor. Yep. Get okay. You're going to make yeah, it three tables deep and you're going to be done. Before you're cleaned out and then you go back. And then the other the other part of the veterans is in the morning or when the tournaments kick off, you do that when you have a beverage full of coffee and tea. Yep, and that's what you do. How much? That's you know the true serving veterans out there. That's how they do it. I remember one guy used to just he used to set up one of those little stands, oh, like the middle of the thing. He would just walk out with his tray full of beers. He'd put the stand there, and then he'd just pass them out one by one. I love it. Uh, finger here, raising it up with King Nine suited. Price going to call with Ace King. By the way, my fi one of my favorite memories of the Rio is going through the back hallways, and there's one cooler full of ice with Michelob Ultras, yep. and there's a big sign above it that says, For Scotty Only. <laughs> Oh, yes. I'm not okay. kidding. Yep. For Scotty yep. only. He had his own little cooler. 4,000. Oh, 4, I remember that. They used to have to either take the label off or put tape around it because the, the sponsor requirements and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh. Price taking this one down with the bet. Yeah. Price is right. Price is right. Surgical, as you've said. Exactly. <laughs> I got bad most of them. They were migrants, you know, migrants. They were, they were, they were. Top Raise fifteen hundred. Four thousand nine hundred and sixty-six likes on the video, and we just hit four hundred and thirty-nine thousand YouTube subs. It's been a blast today. We're in the closing stages of day one A coverage. We're going to get one more Jeff Platt update in just a bit, and of course we're going to hit five thousand likes because I believe in you guys. Big question now in PokerGo chat. I'm wondering what Mr. Phil Helmut will be wearing when he makes his appearance. I'm very excited to find out myself as well. Let us know in the chat what you would like to see him wear. How about that? What would you like to see Phil Helmut dress up as this year? Always comes in trying to make a big scene of it all. Last year he was Darth Vader. The music and everything. 
We're taking suggestions for Phil Helmy in the chat right now. What would you like to see him wear? I have a terrible, I have a terrible suggestion, Donnie. So do I. Go ahead. Meanwhile, Tony Duns makes a flush. <laughs> After this hand, I'll, I'll give you my terrible suggestion. Guerrero giving us some thought here with his pair of nines. <laughs> hey, that's good motivation. Yeah. A couple of them there, and he did good. I'm only four years old. You know, I'm not sure I'm nice before me. Look at the nice one where I got you know, hard. It's hard to see it way down the end of the table, you know. Good old days. Guerrero doesn't want to fold. Definitely the slowest player at this table. Really does seem as though he wants to make the call here on the river. He does make the call. Wow, Guerrero looking up Tony Dunst, who's going to get some value here from his flush. When someone tanks for a long time and then calls, all of a sudden I have respect for them because they've made some kind of decision. When you tank forever and fold, I'm like, you could have done that a few minutes ago. <laughs> All right, here's my terrible idea for Phil Helmings get up. Go ahead. As some of you might know, the Tour de France is going on right now. Okay. I'm a huge fan of cycling. I race myself as well. How terrible would it be if Phil Helmings showed up dressed as Lance Armstrong in his yellow jersey, wearing a helmet, riding in on his bicycle, with Tony G alongside him. Wow. This might be the. You this, think the helmet can ride a bicycle? No. This, <laughs> this, this might Just be the. Snaps it off. This might be the worst idea I've ever had. Oh, that's great. I mean, we all saw how revealing the Darth Vader costume was yeah. last year. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready for mine? <laughs> yes. I would like to, him to dress in a full replica. Las Vegas Raiders jersey, head to toe, helmet and everything, wow. shoulder pads, etc. of Devontae Adams. Wow. Who is number 17. Oh, wow. Donnie reaching deep here. There you go. Devontae Adams, formerly Green Bay Packer. Where's the Hunwith from? From Green Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Phil, if you're listening, that's the place. That is very sharp, Donnie. Very impressive stuff. You know what else would be good, Phil Hummy? Playing tomorrow, dressing the Uncle Sam get up, head to toe, yes. red, white, and blue. Wow. <laughs> so many good ideas coming from us and coming from chat, but I'm pretty sure he's going to come up with something way worse. <laughs> <coughs> way worse. You know it's going to be the worst thing imaginable. Yeah, he's going to be like an army general or something. <laughs> Suarez and Tomko potentially clashing here as, wow, we see a seven on the flop here. A set for Suarez. Donnie, Tomko lucky here to not have a spade. Yeah, lucky to not have a spade. Lucky also to not connect with, the ace, with an ace or a king there. Bet from Suarez quickly gets it done. I believe Suarez showed there the set of sevens. Remco, it always comes seven. It always comes seven. We know that. We know that. 
Who's number 17 on the Golden Knights? They just won the Stanley Cup. <laughs> that's, a, that's not a good one. I, I don't know. Huh? Helmuth as Ollie G. <laughs> I mean, that's good. That'd be funny, too. Ben Hutton. Ben Hutton. Not a, not a, not a superstar <laughs> name. I mean, even if he just dressed up as as the Golden Knight, as the mascot, right? Comes in with the Stanley Cup. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I mean, there's a lot of options here for Helmut. We know he's going to pick something ridiculous, like just absolutely ridiculous. I was also thinking the uh, that one villain from the movie 300, Xerxes, the guy who's like painted gold, has all the gold chains, earrings, all this sort of stuff. Ace King again for Tom Quinn, the big blind this time, up against Jack Seven from both players, but facing a three bet. Let's see if Tomko is going to stick some additional money in here, knowing that Guerrero is capable of a whole lot more. Tomko moves all in and gets two quick folds. No more I'm headaches for Tomko. I run two A's, you have me. Pappy Van Winkle says, no, Helmut should dress up as Eminem <laughs> with 100 <laughs> Helmut lookalikes. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. It feels like a win-win at that point. Wait till about Can you imagine Helmut the die five five blonde hair? To get me. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> Make a lot of people happy if y'all buy me. My wife is going to go back to Florida. <laughs> Everyone in the chat seemingly also watching the online event play out. Rampage now up to over 2 million chips. Yeah, massive chip lead for Rampage. Next closest has a million. Tony Dunst raising it up with King Six suited. All the action shifting over to that side of the table. And Dewey Tomko continues to pick up big hands. He's just going to make the call here versus Tony Dunst. Okay, this one is pretty funny too. One of our guest chatters on Poker Go, please change your name so I can shout you out more easily. He says, Helmut you should dress, dress up as Daniel Negreanu. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love that. Uh, Deuce do seven on the flop. Dunst best 1,200. Tomko with the big over pair. Seven of, or sorry, eight of spades on the turn. Dunst now picks up a flush draw. Tomko checks again. Don Dunst is going to go for a semi bluff here. Tomko makes the call. We go to the river card. Oh Ooh. my God! Spade on the river for Tony Dunst. Dewey Tomko played his queens as okay. slow as possible, potentially to avoid playing a massive pot in the closing stages of this event today. The likely here that we'll we'll see Dewey put some more chips in, but probably going to lose much fewer than if he would have played a little bit differently. Maybe he leads this river. 15,000 is the bet from Tony Dunst, betting full pot on the river. Big decision to make here for Tomko. Listen, Dewey's made some disciplined folds so far. We'll see if he can find a fold here, if he can correctly assess this situation. The bet, as Remco mentioned, representing full pot, but also 
just about one third of the stack Tomko has left. He's got 49,200 behind. Tony Dunn's betting 15,000. Tough. Pull those 15k aside, but yeah, hasn't called yet. Tough sledding for Tomko here in the closing stages of the day. This is exactly the type of spot you're trying to avoid here, as you get closer and closer to making the second day of play. Donnie, it'd be impressive if Tomko found a fold here. Yes, it would be very impressive. In the tank now for just passing one minute. Tomko's hand is extremely under-repped here. He also doesn't have the Queen of Spades in his hand. He's going to pay it off. Wow. Tough situation for Dewey Tomko. Tony Jones shows his king high flush. <laughs> and a little Tom nod there from Dewey, kind of being like, yeah, I kind of knew you had it, but I also kind of had the call. Donnie, Tony Dunst's day, ever since joining the feature table, has been nothing but profit. Yeah, Tony Dunst has done extremely well. I think he came to this feature table with 35 to 40K, so a bit under starting, but since then has been nothing but upward trending. CB Rufio says, not sure how you fold. I sort of feel the same. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really tough spot. I mean, maybe you can find a fold, of course, but <coughs> your hand is very under-repped. Mm. You're very, you know, very much to the top of the top of your range. Dunst is a capable player who can find bluffs there. John Barry. There's a possibility that Dunst is even betting worse there. He, maybe he's betting jacks or tens. Right. You know? Uh, John Barry back in the chat says, I didn't win the Colossus like I had planned to. <laughs> Darn it. Sorry, man. Hey, but there's always next year. Queen here on the turn, giving Tomko top pair. Keating first act. That's a straight draw is going to bet 2K into 3,300. Tomko is going to make the call. Nine on the river, giving Keating a straight. The day for Dewey Tomko only gets worse, Remco. Ever since he said that this is the most fun he's had <laughs> in 15 years, it's been not fun. It's been not fun at all. So an overbet here from Keating. Another tough spot for Tui Tomko. Is he going to be able to figure this one out? The combination of all these factors is so brutal. But Tomko does manage to find a lay down here. Well done by Tomko there. Very well done. Having played for almost 10 hours, just to stare at half a starting stack with about 25 minutes left in the day it must be extremely frustrating. Oh, yes. What, what was it, 1974? First yes. year that Tom Cope played. He's played the main event every year since. Uh, well, no. he says he's registered every single year. <laughs> registered every single year. He said the last 20 years he's not been playing so well. <laughs> I mean, I, I know he's losing chips here. I know he's down to 31,000 half starting stack. I know he had a lot more chips earlier, but... I think Dewey Tomko has played extremely well today, especially under the circumstances of, you know, he's from the East Coast, he lives in Orlando, right? <laughs> he's citing how it's very much past his bedtime. He's been yawning, basically nodding off this whole time. These long days are not easy. I mean, even the young kids look tired. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're tired, everyone's tired. Come on. It's the main event. It is the main event. You're just tired the whole time. You are. 
Greg says in the chat, I want a PokerGo hoodie. Well, PokerGoShop.com, plenty of hoodies available there. The No Gamble No Future ones are selling like hotcakes. Raise Suarez raising it up to 1500 He is our table captain, so to say. The big stack, 250 big blinds. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. I feel for Dewey Tomko. Uh, Donnie, Anthony is asking, are you expecting a small field tomorrow? It'd be in the 4th of July. Um, I mean... What's small? Smaller than today? I think it'll probably be on par with today. I think I think we're you know a little bit over a thousand today is the word on the street that we have. I know they don't publish the numbers early, but you know we, we've checked with some sources and you know we don't have an exact number, but I think we're confident in saying that they have hit four figures, which is a great sign coming out of the gate with more than a thousand, if that is the case. And I think tomorrow will probably be on on par a little bit. I, I know there's a lot talking to a lot of people. Um, a lot of players have they've been contemplating playing fourth of july you know is it going to be a softer field is it going to be a good chance for me to you know possibly pick up some chips so so that thought is out there so i think we'll see a field that's you know a thousand to twelve hundred tomorrow maybe two thousand i mean i would only be interested in playing on day one b if there was a hot dog card roaming the hallway they, remember they used to have the hot yeah. dog cart I missed it. Definitely got to have it on 4th of July. Yeah, I mean, come on. Fireworks at the table, hot dogs delivered. That's the, that's the, that's the recipe. discussed in the chat quite a few times there's no rebuys there's no add-ons <laughs> this is a freeze-out tournament meaning that you get your uh, chips 60,000 to start when you're out you're out you're done there is plenty of action around the World Series of Poker still to come though you know the, the main event used to be the last event used to be the final one you would eventually it would play out there would be nothing else running this year and and some you know some more of the recent years a bit of a different feel overall a bit of a different structure this is event number 76 there are 95 total live bracelet events here in las vegas as we see guerrero he's gonna try those aces again i mean didn't go so well for him the last time he had them now up against martin finger yeah. Which one? As you touched on earlier, likely a lot of experience between these two on the European circuit, so we'll see if that plays a role here. King Queen not good enough for Martin Finger. He's going to let this one go. And it looks as though we're heading back to Jeff Platt, who is still out in the field. This time, he's going to try to get an update from Schwan Lu. Sounds as though Jeff Platt and Chuan Lu are coming up right now. Let's see what they have to say. All right, last level of day 1A. So, of course, it is beer level. And I know Chuan Lu has a beer in front of her. Can I steal you for a quick sec? Bring the beer this way so we don't get in the way of the hand. All right, you tweeted earlier today that playing the main is always a highlight for you. Explain to our viewers at home who haven't played this tournament what makes it such a highlight. It's like Christmas morning. I don't know. It's the best tournament of the year. You can win $8 million. What's not to love? 
pretty good highlights, I would say. You've always been such a good advocate for women in poker. Are you expecting the highest percentage turnout from women perhaps this year based on what we've seen over the last year? I, I would say so, actually. There's so many women's groups that are empowering and teaching and collaborating to have things be more inclusive for women. I, I think we're going to have a breakout year. Has this table been a fun time today on day one? Because, you, you know, you're stuck with really. the... Oh, okay. <laughs> and why is that? I think I probably have one of the, per the worst tables in the room. <laughs> um, but it's okay. And I broke my shoe earlier today. And you missed a couple hands because I of that. I did. Yeah. I've actually been late coming back from every break. Not entirely okay. my fault, but... Um, Not the GTO I'm glad I have... No, no. But okay. I'm glad I have chips left. You got chips? You're yeah. still alive in the World Series I of Poker main event? almost starting stack. Oh. I'm very happy about that. Totally fine. And one shoe did not break. Um, this one did not. This one is super glued together. It's okay. uh, kind of wonky. You're just making it work throughout the day. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the time, Schwan. Always appreciate it. Update on Schwan Lu. Still around starting stack. Oh, yeah. She has a tough table. That's Leo Sturm. Oh, yes. 22-year-old? 20, yeah. Whiz kid, yeah. The wizard. Won the, uh, won the 50K high roller. Earlier this summer, very early on. Absolutely. Very, very good player. Schwan Lu making good use of that beer level. Don't see anyone at our feature table making use of it. Ace then a hard here for Guerrero against Finger, who has top pair. Ooh, Ace on the turn. That vaults Guerrero into the lead here. Finger gives it up and Guerrero takes that one down. I need a bluff. Guerrero showing the A's, mentioning that he never bluffs. I find that hard to believe bluff, personally, bluff. but you know. He did have aces twice. He did have aces twice. I know. He's had good hands. I mean, but, uh, I think Guerrero is a very capable player. Try bluffing with aces, really. I don't bluff you either. I don't bluff you either. I don't bluff you. I don't want I to bluff you. I think you would try to bluff. Me. I think you already. Ah, you mean preflop? When I raise preflop, like 15 and red, you you fall. Maybe. Depending what you fall. No, but you stare me a lot. Like you stare at me a lot. I stare at you? Yeah, every time I raise. I get suspicious. Do we talk? Go. Limping in with here with the dying. ducks. But I, I like I'm when you stare me. The way you stare me, like it's nice. I like the way you stare at me. <laughs> Dr. Michael Price giving it up the two fives. <laughs> Something in Martin Finger's so smile tells me that he's gotten drunk with Jimmy Guerrero in the past. That's why you stand me. Hi, that's that's why you stand me. I get I get lost. Look, we took on the he was the button. I, I wasn't focused. Here is the button. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I should focus. Yeah, we should focus, bro. Takes it down. <laughs> we were talking, you, you raised the button. I mean, it's unfair. I was talking with my friend, right. and you raised the button. It's very unfair. <laughs> but he had already limped, so it wasn't just against you. Who limped? He limped. Thank you. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, makes sense. I had to have it also. Yeah, it makes sense, yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> another 600. Huh? Another 600 there for the big blind, please. Uh, it depends, Swaddle. We can do a run of Swaddle, guys. It would be nice. You guys want to do a round of Swaddles? Yeah, a run of Swaddle. Huh? I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, me too. If everyone agrees. I don't even need everyone. I'm not a Swaddle person myself. You're not the Swaddle guy? Huh? You're not the Swaddle guy? 
You don't like Friday? I mean, if you guys want to do it, that's fine. I'm just yeah, if, you every, if everyone agrees, you can do it. Let's just put all in. We straddle it. Whatever I got. That would be good TV. Yeah. It gives me too much to think about. Yeah, even if short stack, I don't care. Let's straddle the short stack. What's that? Spread the 25K and spread the level 6? We do a run. A run of Friday. Do some more. Do some more. Okay, sorry. Why? How much do you raise? How much do you raise? Did you raise? Five. Jimmy Carrero might have had a little beverage off so the side here. All of a sudden, like very chatty. Love That's to see it. Lady. Kyle Frey raising it up. Galfin with a three bet. Action on Martin Finger on the button. He has a seven of clubs, Donnie. Is this the kind of four bet spot at the end of the night? No, I think it's, it's not good nice. enough, man. Just as Enticing as it is, you know, trying to draw you in that suited ace. Action back over to Kyle Frey. <laughs> I think it's also worth noting that we what? haven't seen too much recently no, from Eric Galfon, so. Are you still for, uh, you want to about you? Stand, you? This might be a little no, bit on the side. No, you're suspicious. She just gets out flopped. Yeah, gets out flopped. Queen, but I know eight, eight, seven. Uh, very deep stacks here. My Let's see how Galfon continues here. The thing about it. Change the subject. Yeah? Let's change the subject. I like it when we talk about me. Check race from Frey, gets it done. Studio. Are we straddling, sir? Studio and Frey continues to chip up. He's now up to 115,200. Yeah. What's that? For the people who are wondering about the straddle, of course, straddle is not live. It would be a dead race, or a blind race, however you want to call oh, it. Stream? Players at the yeah. table no, no, no. just joking around a, hand around a little bit. Oh, they send you the hands, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah but not right now. Yeah. It is not None possible to put out an actual I found out where he, he, okay. he, he, he made the right hold. So. Well, 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 you have seen it in tournaments where the whole table agrees and they do that friends, blind they raise they under the gun. You know? yep. for, for, of course, uh, it comes yeah. without action. A couple so. hours ago. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay, yeah, it's good. It's good. One of our members of Poker Chat is asking, what day do the main event payouts start? And I feel as though with the potential of an absolutely record-smashing field, it might be later than we expect. Yeah, day three, day four. I mean, it just it depends, you know. If it's day three, it'll be late on day three, right? You know, and then it'll sometimes come down to the decision of, you know, do we want to play into the money at the end of the night? Do we want to extend bubble play if it comes down to that? You know, sometimes they might stop a little early, bring them back. Oh, Try and get the money on day four. How do you fly there? You gotta, you gotta use my travel company next time you fly. Fly fat? Yes. Yeah, we check. Okay, good. Nice. Do you have my number? Send me a message. Have you? Uh, we are friends. On which one? Maybe on uh, Facebook. Okay. Send me a message. Okay. I'll get nice. you. I'll get. I'll get the concierge team set up for you. Okay, nice. So like, say Vegas to Europe, what is a, what is a business class ticket cost for you? Depends on, it depends on the day, the everything. We're going to look at the retail price and see how much we can beat it. That's basically what we're doing. As far as in action so here really against Galfon, Galfon betting the 8-8 really? eight, yeah. eight yeah. deuce, two diamond flop. As far as is going to attack with the raise here. For the most part, never, 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 never really. As far as acting in position pre-flop, this was that part of the reason they're able to get raise from Galfon. Suarez kind of. like making the call in position. Up more. Okay. Um, so we'll yeah. double the check of the cards there for Galfon. Galfon does make the call. Queen of Clubs on the turn. Jimmy tried to scam us into a ram round of straddles with only three minutes left. Galfon checks. <laughs> <laughs> he almost got me. I was ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Mm. Now tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Uh, level level is six, yeah. Nice. <sighs> do you do you live in France? Still live there? Hmm? Where, where do you live? London. You live in London. Huh? And you? Texas. Check on the turn from Galfont. Fourteen thousand from Suarez, and he takes it down. What did you base it? Did you know very Paris? impressed by Suarez. Like Paris, yeah. 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 He doesn't okay seem to right miss. Now, I heard it's on fire. No, oh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. could be the making. You know, it's you're gonna fire. see him deep, and we're gonna be like, remember that yeah. guy on day one A? Oh, I hope we. You know, I really <laughs> hope we get someone on some of these day one sure streams that makes a Excellent. really deep run in the main event. That'd be amazing. You like the EPT yeah, I thought uh, EPT EPT today, and I know we're you know, kind of getting close to the end of the night yeah. here, but um, I think they will have it Tony Dunst has played yeah, extremely well today. Well, I think, I think uh, Antoine will. Suarez has played extremely well. well. I think we'll Dewey Tomko has also played yeah, extremely yeah, well. Yeah, I know his day hasn't gone as he had hoped. He's been kind of losing chips lately, down below half of the starting stack, but he's still in. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I also think Alex Keating has played pretty well. Yeah, Paris is nice. Eh? Yeah, cool. Nice. nice. Great. I heard this is the last year for Barcelona. No way. Crazy. Yeah. Apparently, like we've been getting away with some kind of like tax law that they just like let us go on and they're not going to do it anymore. That's what I heard. Wow. No. What a shame. That's such a great stuff. I agree. I mm. will agree with you. Yes. It's been the biggest stop in Europe oh. for a while now. Yeah. Paris is nice to go. Paris is, uh, if Paris was done right, it'd be amazing. It's hard. Yeah, it is hard. It, they have a lot of loss. Right. It's, it's tricky. Yeah, it's very tricky. 13. It's still very good. Very good. Yeah. But you'd love to see, you know, really what happened. Playing a small one here. This caliber and size oh, yeah. of I venue. The the, huh? no I hit the flop. Hit the flop? Yeah. yeah. Small pair. There's a lot of restrictions in France. Right. right. King they were one of the first countries to Something like, like ring fence like there exactly on that player. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know. <laughs> he oh, didn't tell me. Oh, he's talking to me. Were you talking to him? I was just guessing. Not this time. I just read about it online. Really <laughs> I played some of the aviation clubs back in the day before it closed. Yesterday, right? Yeah. He did. Yeah, WPTA. Yeah. It's a long time ago now, like yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah, 10 years ago. Oh. We're approaching the final couple of hands of the night here. Galfon raising it up with Ace 10 suited. First time I ever played a major tournament in Paris. Tell me. First time I ever played a major tournament in Paris was at the Aviation Club when they still had that. It was 10,000 euro buy-in. This is 15 yeah. years ago or something. I've been there. I used to go there. Yeah. And uh, we came back from a break on day two, and we played for about 20 minutes. And then a couple of tables over, there was this like massive, just like eruption of arguing, and like people started shouting. Bruno Fatusi was there. He suddenly got really upset, and they uh, stopped the tournament. In the main event. Complete the hand you're on and deal three more hands. Don't leave us three hanging, more hands. At the conclusion of your third hand, please put your cards away. As for bags, we will get to you as quickly as possible. Players, once you receive your redraw slips, we need your name, hometown, chip count. On the bags, we just need your name, new table, new seat. No Clean the brick clearly, and we can now read your writing. It's very hard to post your I saw Joey slipping, though. He was. The white he copy will go back to your dealer. Yellow copy goes flat inside the bag. Where's the copy? Where's the copy? Where's the copy? Wow. I almost slept. I want to hear what happens to Tony. Yeah, that would be, yeah. So they stopped the whole tournament in the middle of the break. break. Clearly, there's people yeah. tracking you all over the country. He got me. Come on, he got me. Story. Interrupted you. They stopped the oh, man. They stopped the entire gonna, turn, right? 20 it. minutes after we returned from break. Throw us all out of the room. And it turns out that when... Kill anybody. Kill me. I need to go now. At 7. At 12 noon. This is the slowest storytelling ever. 12 noon. 
mean, this will be a A, B, and C will come back and play together. You could be in silver, gold, red, orange, blue, black over at the Bears. It's going to be a big redraw. 12 noon on Friday. Friday, I feel like a yeah. <laughs> All right, let's send it over to Jeff Platt. He's going to be. All right, guys, we haven't really before. tried this before. How about a little walk and talk to sum up day 1A of the main event? One of the biggest chip stacks in the room belonged to that man. That would be Doug Polk. Supposedly, maybe misread the board when there were four <laughs> spades. That's, that's just what the rumor mill says. Is it true? It's true. Uh, so this gentleman had the nuts in seat seven, yeah. and Doug misread the board saying, ha, 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 I got you. And didn't have him. And, he, he had the and, nuts. and this guy was like, dude, he's got the nuts. And Doug was like, oh. And Doug ordered water. Yeah. Water! He water. May, Two waters. Sorry. He may or may not have been slurring some words. Uh, no, I'm sure he was fine. I'm sure he was fine. All right, let's keep it moving. We'll go this way, Paul. Right this way. Follow me. The walk and talk to sum up day 1A of the World Series of Poker main event. We're going to move through here. Let cocktails go. The cocktails are flowing. And let's move. Excuse me, guys. We got Angelina Riches here coming off a nice run in the 5K6 Max. How'd you do today? Um, it looks like we have about 115K, so, you know, we're starting Beautiful. strong. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, best of luck rest of the way. Uh, they're telling me to wrap it up and go quick, so let's go like speed mode. We'll just walk this way. Good to see Craig Varnell back at the World Series of Poker. We're moving. Okay, we got to go. So uh, back to you guys. Cool. <laughs> Waiting for us to talk all day. Wow, I, 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 I wish we got more Jeff Platt there. Let's, at let's the end. name every color in the rainbow. Back to Tony Dunst. And uh, what I believe is the final hand of the night Are here on our feature table. Yeah. They start over and over again. Right. I hate them to shut up. And they wake you up. And you're I hate it so bad. I have earplugs just for the captain. Huh? I have earplugs specifically for when the captain starts. Oh, and they start doing that. They Just let everyone know. We're we'll back tomorrow with more oh, coverage yeah. at 7 p.m. Pacific time, 10 p.m. <laughs> Eastern. Okay. Once again, we're going to cut out all the breaks to give you guys the best viewing experience possible. We're going to have, of course, different feature tables. Hopefully, some main event champs in the mix. Maybe some Negranu IV oh. Hellbeats. We really can't tell until the players are in their seats. It would be fun to maybe have someone like a Nick Schulman at the feature table. You know he's going to do commentary later on if he does not make a deep run in the main event. <laughs> she to go home a couple days. If you're, if you're just tuning in, you've missed the whole lot. You can always skip back and check out the earlier action. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. That was it. Oh, okay. We one more hand. We have too much to take of it. Oh, yeah. One hand. You said you wanted to go to sleep two hours ago. <laughs> One more volume. <laughs> One more volume. What are the other? One more. It sounds as though that was the end of the action. My name is Rem Parinkama. Donnie Peters will be alongside me again tomorrow. We missed the Tony Dunn story. I will text Tony and tell you guys the story tomorrow. Thanks so much for tuning in. Once again, 7 p.m. Pacific tomorrow, 10 p.m. Eastern on the 4th of July. Be careful with the fireworks and enjoy your hot dogs. We'll see you tomorrow night for coverage of day 1B of the main event.